Okay, got all of that. Armor. Yes! <clears throat> I was just typing in Discord, feeling a lot better. <laughs> Do I sound a lot better? <clears throat> yeah, no, last night was rough. That'll happen to me every now and then. And it'll just be some evenings. I remember it happening a lot when I was uh, raiding and playing World of Warcraft. Like, uh, <clears throat> there'd be some raid nights where just, you know, absolutely drenched in snot and just nothing I can do about it except like put, <laughs> put, um, uh, what do you call it? Bits of tissue up my nose. But yeah, no, we're doing good tonight. What's up, Turn? Conquer? Glad you guys couldn't drop by. Hype, indeed. Hello there. <sighs> but yeah, we already got everything launched and working. Pretty sure we're just ready to get going. So you guys enjoy the music. Just hang out for a little bit while we uh, get everybody joining. So, same thing that we're going to do tonight. I'm going to get another recording of a big giant loop, if I can. Uh, going to multiple planets and picking up multiple runs. And um, once we do that, I'm just going to play cargo all night. See if we can maybe get raided, get a bunch of people in there. Once we do that for a long, long time, um, uh, yeah. We're going to probably swap over at the very end of it to into the radius like I planned. So that'll be fun. Hopefully with, with into the radius, we can get the uh, level two or whatever um, uh, security check point, And then that way we can get the rifles from the store. That'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for dropping by, hanging out and doing the voodoo that you do. You guys are amazing. All right, BRB. Damn, forgot my timer. Oh well.
there. Looks like you're on incursions then. I have the uh, old lives. Permission status. We're gonna land at a mining area, you guys, and we're gonna grab some ground vehicles. <coughs> All right, so how is everybody doing today? Uh, I know I'm feeling a lot better. Oh wait, that one. Okay, <laughs> starting a little bit early tonight, but I think we're gonna be going pretty late. Make up for what we uh, didn't get to yesterday. Yeah, if there is, uh, PTU is wide open for anybody wanting to update it and uh, come and do some, what do you call it, cargo missions, so, get rocking. Okay, that's good. I don't know if they will let us replace I think we could just get rolling here. <clears throat> I'm gonna head to the chair. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And see it or fly by like get me footage and video of these fireworks and i'm gonna use <coughs> them, splice them all together in my new big intro all right all right how is everybody today so, uh, okay Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
All right, I think we can just go ahead and swap over. Okay, so. Ah, how is y'all's weekend going? Oh, did we start the recording again? Okay. All right, all right. Well, welcome to VR Citizen. Let's uh, let's just get rolling here, and get going into the juicy, juicy cargo missions here. Doing big boy cargo, the biggest of boys. We're gonna basically be trying to transport multiple missions all at once on a Hercules, and just go from planet to planet to planet, and uh, see how well that works. So. The idea being, we pick up individual missions that we're going to be grabbing on the way to and from certain areas and just start trying to make a big loop. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this all night. And if, uh, <clears throat> anybody from chat wants to join in and hang out, drop by and help move Cargo and Cube for me, they're more than welcome to. With that being said, thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. Let's get going. Uh, all right, all right. So we tried this... Hang on. <sighs> okay, why? My question is why is open track being so weird? Okay, minimize to tray. Yes, here we go. Minimize to tray on startup when enabled. Yes. Center on startup. Never translate the application. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's what we needed. Okay, cool. That should help. <coughs> All right, we need to get some water, and then we need to go kick some ass. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so, looks like we are thirsty. Ah, perfect. I think we're at Seraphim. So this is great. We're going to grab the Hercules and we're going to fly down to uh, Orison. And we are going to get ourselves Hi. the uh, TS2 no, jump drive. That way we don't take like 20 minutes in between location jumps. Highly recommend if you're in the cargo business. XL1, TS2. If you're looking to make money quickly, then you need to be jumping quickly. <sighs> okay. Drink, 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 drink. Ah, delicious. Excuse me. Hold this. Thank you. Another one. On the house. Good purchase. I know. I'm so good at buying. I'm glad you recognize my ability to buy things. Go, 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 go. <sighs> ah, delicious. Excuse me. Uh, it never works on the second one, only the first one. Alright, well, let's go. Okay, cargo gun. Check. No, don't. Uh oh. Huh. Well. <laughs> Boy. Aren't we just so good at this. Alright, there we go. Now drop it to the floor. Oh, our other one is sticking. Hang on. <sighs> 
Hang on. We got this. We can fix this. Uh, Darren Koopal. Stretch. Will do. Will do. Give me just a sec. No, it won't. It's just buggered, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, here we go. Holster. Okay. Yeah. All right. Double the trouble. Let's go. Wow. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just messing with uh, some equipment on the floor. Helmet on. To the hangers. Okay. We have everything we need. Except for a good jump drive. Let's go solve that problem now. Um, shouldn't I have a personal hanger? Hmm, maybe I need to spawn a ship here because I don't have one. Is that why? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The C2 is not here. Okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Please visit us again. I Welcome got an idea. I got an idea. Vehicle retrieval system. If we're gonna summon it, I have a crazy, crazy, crazy stupid idea. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon it here. It's gonna take Very ten minutes. Has been sent. We fly down with the cutlass. We grab the capital ship jump drive, and then we go bring it up here. Using the cargo at Your lift systems. Has been moved to our storage facility. Wait, it just said it moved to the storage facility? Oh, no, yeah, okay, here we go. Your insurance claim has been sent. Okay, expedite. Good, ten minutes. Please All right. Visit us again. Ten on the clock. Bye. Cool. Welcome to the ASOP. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Welcome. XL1, distance, distance measures in tanks, not distance. System. Hey man, if it's fast, it's fast. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, stored. So now that I think I have a ship here, I should be able to go in theory. <clears throat> and... No, okay, I still don't have a dock. Okay, um... Hmm. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Does this even do anything anymore? Your vehicle has Oh, been okay. To the I guess it spawns line. the hangar if you don't have a ship already here. Brilliant. Okay, that makes sense. <coughs> And then, boom. Chachi Sanchez, medium hanger. Perfect. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go take the Cutlass down to Orison. We're going to go get that TS-2. We're going to use the cargo elevators to grab it. And we're going to come up here when the Hercules is spawned. And then we are... Oh, yeah, it's on the pad already. Then we're going to just use the cargo elevator, I guess, to drop it down. Because we can't actually remove components out of ships manually yet. Yeah? We still have to use the ship menu. So let's just get it into the station inventory and go from there. <clears throat> it's not a horror game, right? No, no, no. Correct. One step. Make sure your ship has enough room for that TF2. I'm pretty sure you could fit a TS2 in the uh, Cutlass. There's no way. It's not that big. Like, yeah, the components definitely fit inside of the walls and areas of the uh, C2. Not going to be bigger than the uh, interior of a cutlass. I hope to God not. I'm about to be really, really eating my words here. <coughs> you can grab gun out. I know you can take external Yeah, external stuff. And, like, something on, like... Okay, so I don't think anything that has been made in the past year... 
and nothing that hasn't gotten like a gold standard pass, so. Hang on one sec. I feel like my FOV is like super high. Or no, super low compared to what it should be here. Maybe something got reset. Uh, graphics. Field of view 116. No, well, that appears to be good. Okay. <clears throat> For such a big thing they want to be able to do, you think there'd be at least one item in every ship that could swap out for testing? Well, the thing is that to do that, they have to do that to every single ship. And if they're doing that to every single ship, they might as well be doing gold pass as far as getting all the buttons and HUD. I think, honestly, have you seen all the new HUDs? I think they're there. It's like, have you seen the new uh, Inside Star Citizen? They have the um, uh, new MFDs, the new HUDs and stuff like that in the, um, uh, what do you call it, <clears throat> for the Drake um, uh, fighter, right? So if that's the case, then they probably have them for a whole bunch of other ships, which means that they're working on it for 4.0 and that it won't be here until then. So might be other systems that are bespoke on 4.0 for them to, you know, warrant it. So, yeah. At least that's what I hope and think. But yeah, basically, once everything gets a gold pass, then yes, all the components should be physicalized. They should be able to be removed. All the MFDs and the HUDs will be updated. So, that's basically the big thing. at the spaceport, that big blinking light. That's amazing, look at that. That's gotta be it, right? Oh, if so, that's fantastic. If it is, that is a huge quality of, I fucking know, that's insane. Like, I could see that from miles away. I could see that from literally miles away. Who'd have thought such a thing could exist? Yeah, and it's clearly, the rest of the struts are all lit up and blinking with the simultaneous red lights as well. Look, look, look. Flush. Flush. Perfect. Beautiful. Hey, trying to find the port at this place. Yep, yep. It's a big quality of life. Bro, can you just fucking... Get off my goddamn... Target status. Jesus. sec though I need to change something there's something slightly off with the head tracking the positioning on it
There we go. I was wondering why it was so far forward. Oh, it was probably because... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> also, I forgot to turn it back on. Okay, cool. That... Ah, that's much better. Okay, much further back in the seat. There we go. Oh, and there's the hangar. Let's get in there. Okay, so let's just turn this around. Due to inactivity, we have been forced to assign your landing zone to another customer. What? Landing complete. Engines offline. Alright, fine, take it. I figured out light tech at some point. It's just insane that they didn't think that they needed it and that that took them so long to add it. Like, that would be immediately like, oh, if I'm designing a spaceport that people are flying in from space, it should be well lit up like an airport. Like, it just kind of makes sense. What is this black line here? Ah. Um, oh yeah, we need to go buy the cargo. Right. Cargo, Chachi, Chachi's cargo, cargo for Chachi. Big for Drake starts at Caddy, or what's the other one? The new one? The, um, uh, what's the new ship? The... God damn it. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> Uh, the Ironclad, that's the one. Oh, damn it. Too many ships for me to memorize. It's just, you get one or two confused and then they're all just jumbled the rest of the day. Area 18 has the same thing as the last patch. Four lights that beam over the spaceport. I know that they had it for Lorville. And New Bab, no, yeah, Area 18, I remember they having it. And I remember Lorville. Well, Lorville is pretty easy. You just go, you know, into the middle of the city in front of the big gigantic building and the lights that say landing port here. It's as if they, you know, were designing cities that had functionality back then for their first landing zone. Okay, excuse me. If 
providing connections to all major platforms. Right, so that's Cloud View Center. All this the next shuttle is approaching the station. Providence platform. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle okay, brilliant. So let's go to the shops. Let's go buy that um, uh, TS2 jump drive. Then we pull it up and then we load it up, take it up, drop it down, and then clown around with cargo. I like it. I like it. Man, this shit, did they do like a pass on all the lights? This looks great. This looks like an actual city at night. Maybe it's because, oh, it's the skybox. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I normally have my clouds off, so like I'm getting not the full effect here, but yeah, look at the skybox. That really does make a difference. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. <sighs> okay, so... Uh, I was about to say, where are the shops here? But that's right, we go to Cousin Crow's. Hey, what's up, Smoke? How you doing, buddy? We're just getting some parts from the local store. Cousin Crows. Let's go. We need to get a TS2 jump drive. Yeah, how you been, man? You having a good day? Have you been to Cousin Crows yet? Uh, custom ship shop on Orison. Cool little place. Like, uh, aesthetics wise, CIG just fucking nails it every time, man. It's crazy. But just the gameplay, like, once the gameplay arrives at the level of the aesthetics, like, ah, oh, it's gonna be great. So let's see here. We need a TS2. Should probably, probably be a Lotus. Oh. A Sojourn. Do they have a TS2 out on display? We're gonna have to go for the A. There she is. That's my Kraken, baby. I got one of these ready and waiting. Let's hit the ship shop. Ah. Uh. Um, Cambio SRT. What? Utility beam, salvage and repair tool. SRT designed to connect and convert alloys and polymer. Wait, this is a salvage rifle? Whoa, whoa, whoa now. We're gonna check that out. I didn't even know about that. Okay, cool. Um, what were we wanting though? Yeah, ship stuff. Why did I even select that? That's crazy though. Uh, systems. Quantum drives. The Jaeger, good name. XL1 TS2, there we go. Boom. Bye. Good purchase. Sounds fuck, no AC installed. Oh, that's right, you were telling me about that. My buddy, uh, we were playing Baldur's Gate 3 the other night. He said that, uh, like, the power company knocked on us and was like, yo, we're gonna knock out the, uh, we're gonna swap out, like, a power pole. They said that we'll have it done in, like, four or five hours. I was like, seems like a short amount of time, and yeah. 
They they did not have it done in that time. <laughs> yeah, I got a 600i today. Hell yeah, dude. That's probably going to win the ship showdown contest. You're going to get a free skin with that. So, congrats, man. Hey, what's up, average player? Salvage rifle has been in the game. Same time they had the tractor beam. Where you been? Not seen nobody use it. They don't sell it at a salvage yard because apparently the salvage yard is deemed a place that you sell and pick up drugs. So, fuck me, right? For thinking that they, you know, didn't exist. Apparently I have to go to Cousin Crow's to get it because it's not at the freaking, you know, uh, industrial places like the refinery either. So you know what? Fuck you, Conqueror. <laughs> All right, back to the spaceport. The next shuttle is approaching the station. But yeah, congrats on the birthday, man. Right? It was your birthday, I believe. Did I remember you saying? How's the PTU hanging? It's good. It's good. They didn't have any crashes last night. I would have gone for like 8 to 12 hours. We're going to do that tonight. We're doing big, 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 long round trip cargoing. Anybody from chat that wants to jump in and hang out and move cubes, more than welcome to. Uh, but yeah. The uh, PTU itself is great. Glad I can help. <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing very well, so... It didn't crash at all last night. I had to just stop because sinuses and my nose was leaking like a sieve. Got 2953, best in show, gray market edition. Nice, nice. It's probably going to be a 2954 version too. Does that come with LTI? Uh, LTI is lifetime insurance. 10 years means just ten, regular 10 year. Version. Of any trash nice though, system. hell yeah. Yeah, LTI means that it was bought as a concept concept ship hull. But don't worry, I, th I think it, when it comes down to it, LTI LTI means it's collector's edition because you helped fund the game. There's no way they can make it functionally different than regular insurance. And when it says 10 years, that means 10 years of in-game time. So. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. It's not 10 years of, uh, like, you know, a decade from now. It's 10 years of play time in the game. So, literally, like, 20, 30 years. <laughs> Come on. All these have an elevator called. There we go. Ha! Nope. Got it. Really hoping the Reclaimer wins the ship showdown. It's been a while since it won. Oh, dude, if it does, and a lot of people have it nowadays, it's been making mad rounds since Salvage last year, so it makes sense. That would actually be great to have it with a new skin. Makes it the top four, yeah. I'm happy that my Cutlass has one of the best skins of all time in it, so. <clears throat> Not this one, my other one. Can't apply them in the PTU. I think they're broken. Somebody else's ship. Okay, okay, so...
All right, then. Let's uh, try to get back in there, then. That was odd. Just died. What's up, Star Killer? How you doing, man? Not much playing Delta Force. Hell yeah. Uh, you enjoying that? I have some buddies that are playing that right now. Pretty solid waiting for PU before jumping in. Nice. Yeah, uh, it, I was about to kind of jink myself. I was saying it's been feeling and handling great, uh, but we just kind of crashed the desktop there for a little bit. I think we should be able to get back in pretty quickly, though. It's still held on to our spot in the server. Working on a CCU chain for my ironclad needs two more links to get my ironclad about $195. Damn. That's crazy. It's, uh, what? It was like $500 ship, yeah? How much was it when it came out? Fifty one war bond. Okay, gotcha. Man, she's chugging near the thing for some reason. All right, lower. Okay. So move the gun that over and then move that over up yeah see plenty of room all right so really quickly no don't the battery how's it going anything weird stuff yeah we just crashed the desktop and I'm trying to grab this salvage gun but now my actual salvage or my actual tractor beams Okay, so that works. Okay, so that works. But yeah, what's up, Zero? Uh, drop. Can't even hit F on it. Can drag. Okay, cool. We got it. 
Alright, well, we got one of our rifles to work. And our TS2 drive in the cuddy. Really quickly, though, I want to see if we could just grab... The Cambio here. Alright, brilliant. Let's take that on board and we'll figure this out in a bit. Uh, hello, can I ask a question? Yes, yes. How are you doing? Men... Minx... E... Minx E? If... Your, your name is showing up in an odd color on my VR chat, and my VR chat is see-through. It's basically showing up as black on black, and it's hard to read. Black text on a black background. But yeah, what, uh, what questions you got? That's just your name. I could read your text just fine. Oh, is it because I can't equip? Dude, we can equip straight from the gravity gun, just like Mama used to make. All right. Dude, salvage rifle. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that makes me all hot. <laughs> So, it's about the pledges. When the game comes out, do we keep them forever? Like, my ship is... Yes, yes, that's the whole point. You're funding the game now. And any ship that you buy in-game, with in-game currency, will also be yours forever. That's why they have the insurance system. So, you buy a ship right now, it comes with however many years of insurance, right? That is in-game time. So, five years of insurance may take you 10 to 20 actual IRL years to tick down. As far as I'm aware, that is still the case. Having said that, there are some ships, whenever they come out uh, as a concept, if you give cash to the store and put new money in, then you can get it with LTI on it. LTI means that it comes with lifetime insurance. So, with lifetime insurance means that you'll never actually have to uh, rebuy your insurance. Hang on one sec, you guys. Insurance in the game, you will... For ships that you don't pledge, when the game comes out eventually, you'll have to buy insurance for ships that you buy with in-game currency, right? Or you basically lose that ship whenever, you know, it explodes. This is all with in-game money purchasing in-game ships. You have to buy in-game insurance for them. If you don't have insurance and it explodes, then you can't claim a ship again. That's the whole insurance process, right? If you're in, on your pledge, incorrect. Pledges will always have insurance in some form or fashion. They haven't stated this, but there's no way that they're going to give people who paid an Idris that just happens to run out of, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Insurance. Uh, a free Idris as a replacement. Like, so. If you are pledging a ship, I guarantee you that you will have your ship in full perpetuity when the game launches. Anything that you have purchased in-game is when it comes down to questionability as far as insurance or not, so. But I get, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people would riot if they lost their capital ships that they paid money for just because they had a lapse of insurance or they didn't buy it with LTI. Even if the time ticks down and you don't have LTI and you have a capital ship or a starter ship, you will be able to keep it if it is a pledged ship. You will always be able to summon them. Thank you, do. Thank you so much for following and doing the voodoo that you do, Minxie. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay, okay. We got the TS2 up and loaded. We have tested the salvage gun. We are ready to go back up to Seraphim, and hopefully we can drop the TS2 into the inventory at Seraphim. Then attach it to the actual Hercules through the ship menu. We'll see if that's bugged. In theory, this is going to work great. In my head, it looks this, this is going to be amazing. It's going to look sweet. Oh, we got to land the gear up still.
So you have your Cuddy Black pledge, and I'm loving it. Was scared I was gonna take it. No, 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 not at all. Like, if you have a pledge ship, you got your pledge ship. And I got a really, really sweet cutlass skin for mine. This is the 2019 Best in Show Edition skin. You should Google the 2020 Best in Show Cutlass. Just someone find a link for that and show it to him. <laughs> if you thought the Cutlass is fun now, wait till he sees that one. Unfortunately, you can't get that skin anymore. Limited time type of thing. However, if the current year's ship showdown has a Cutlass in the ranks and it wins, then uh, yeah, you will get access to that ship since you already bought a Cutlass. I want to get a skin for your cutlery. There's some pretty decent ones out there, but not like the 2020 best in show. Do we go over? Coming in hot. Three, two, one. Pop the guns, hit landing gear. Call land. Does it? And wait, what is that? Oh, damn it! I was like, why is my door not opening? Because I'm in the wrong spot. All right. Drop it down to the float. To the float. Been hearing that we are getting a new system next month, or is that a lie? I've only heard it from word of mouth. It's not that it, it, it's Pyro. Uh, Pyro has been in the works for years now, and we were supposed to have it years ago. Uh, but Pyro relies on server meshing. And we've done a couple of server meshing tests, and they're working on it very hard in the background. But once server meshing is ready, then they can basically mesh us seamlessly to a different server that houses a different system. They can't put two systems on one server. One system already takes up too much space on one server. So much so they had to take out a planet that belongs to a different system, Levski. And, uh, yeah. Just so that they can add new landing zones and content in the current one. Difference from blue and black. Blue is the cop. Cops and robbers. It has, uh, Wee Woo lights. It's meant to be chasing uh, people, and it's got, like, an interdiction, I think, or something. Anyways, it's got, like, uh, prison cell pods as well. All right. Select all. Move to warehouse. Down. I miss that old planet. Rulevsky was great. One of my favorite soundtracks, too, that I use in my videos a lot. Swap the cockpit canopy for the ships. Yes, the canopy for the blue is the, like, looks like out of RoboCop. I agree with you there. No, you're good. If you have a newish note, if you should, you, you just ask away, man. Ask in server chat. Anybody will help you there. Ask in stream chats. Everybody will help you there. Um, but yeah. Okay, so. Vehicles. All right, all right, all right. TS2 down. Let's get to partying, huh? Systems, come on, please show up. Oh, there it is. Amazing. Save and equip. TS2, we are ready to ride. Okay, so let's pull up the Hercules and let's get some cargo missions. We are at Seraphim right now, so let's in plan around that. The way the base was with the market and above ground pads. Yep, yep. 
Seeing what this game's community is really good every time I've been in chat. Oh, yeah, no. Star Citizen is the best community in any game ever. It's because the people who play it are hardcore dedicated fans who want to fund it. Every time you go to BlizzCon, all the Blizzard fans are there to shit on Blizzard. Every time you go to CitizenCon, everybody has paid, not only for that seat, but for the game that they see in front of them that is being showcased. So, it's a lot different than um, uh, a lot of other communities because of that dynamic. Um, where's my Hercules? Oh, it didn't scroll up enough? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm so confused. I'm in a medium. Okay, I know, 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 I know. Okay, I'm in a medium hangar right now, and only medium ships will show up on this panel. We need to go to the terminal and spawn the Hercules, which we claimed earlier. That is why. The only scene, the only one thing I've seen with this game's community, uh, yeah. I also have to ask, do you not get motion sick? Nope. I play a lot in VR, and I also like roller coasters and high G-forces, racing cars. Like, I'm really, really solid with all that stuff, so. Doesn't bother me none. Now, things will make me motion sick that are, you know, motion sick inducing, like, ah, see, here we go. See, here we go, Hercules, retrieve. Any minute now. Perfect, large hangar. That's how you swap hangars from medium to large. You have to spawn a large ship. Interesting. Let's ride. Oh, look, both my hangars are there. Let's ride. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I'm really, really good with, uh, VR, motion sickness in general, and just, you know, being able to play for a long time in it, so. I'm quite thankful for that, because a lot of no- I know a lot of people can't handle that much at a time, but I love it. It's what everything I've always dreamed about. Just being able to look and see exactly where you're looking, like you're there in the game using it, being it, playing your avatar. Yo, come on, man. There she goes. Okay, okay. <sighs> all right, all right. So, we're doing round trip cargo. So, we need to make our round trip. Let's get some missions. Ooh, only 80. Interesting. Oh, I guess they locked down all of them? Or did they decrease the number that there were? That's interesting. There was like 120 last time. Okay, so we're looking for, to load, we are at Seraphim. Collect from Seraphim. Collect from Seraphim. Ten. And then we are delivering to August Dunlop. That's down at Orison. No good. Collect from Tressler. Seraphim. Tressler delivering to Everest Harbor. That's a bit out of our way, unless we can pick up something else with it. Tell you what, if we go to Tressler first and have Everest Harbor be the end destination, that's not bad. Okay, so we're looking for Seraphim to Tressler. Seraphim, Salin, Salin. Everest Harbor. Collect from Everest Harbor. Deliver to Seraphim. This will be the last one that we do. Okay. So stems from Everest to Seraphim. Now we need from Ser Seraphim to Tressler. Seraphim to Ambitious Dream and Shallow Fields. Deacons. Seraphim to Ox Dunlow. Let's see here. Mike one, two. That we need from server. Seraphim to Ambitious Dream could be a nice stopover. 
do that real quick. Quick 9,000. Oh, yeah. Let's add these all up. 9,000, 15,000, 16,000. Nice, nice. 40,000 total. And we just spent like an hour doing a whole bunch of missions. Oh, this is going to be great. This is radical. We still need to find Seraphim to Everest. This is actually good. We're getting there. We need one Seraphim to... Um, uh, we need, we still need one Seraphim to Tressler. Seraphim Pyro from Everest. No, collect from Everest to Tressler. We're not going that way. Collect stims. Nope. Let's see here. Collect from to Seraphim. We will be back to Seraphim eventually. This might be doable. We are going to hit there. Okay, things might get a little bit tricky. We still need to get one. Okay, last one we have to pick up is going to be Seraphim to Tressler. That's going to basically complete our loop here. Seraphim, Everest, and Tressler. Looking for a big one. Pyro to... Seraphim, Seraphim to Dunlow. Magnus to Everest. From Tressler to Seraphim. Come on, man. There's got to be one. Breakers, shallow fields to Everest. Can you only rent the rock? Uh, can you not buy it in game? No, you could buy all the ships. Well, most of the ships in the game. The only ships that you can't buy are the ones that have just come out. That they're still trying to sell on the website fresh. Crew L4. Longest done low. Come on, there's got to be a Seraphim to Everest, right? Everest there. Collect copper, seraphim to ambitious dream. All right, you know what? We could do this. This will this will work as a starting point because we have to go to ambitious dream anyways to pick up stuff. And that's a good chunk of change. All right, so copper ore to seraphim, right? Or Seraphim to Ambitious Dream, Copper Ore. Then what else is going to Crew L1? Crew L1, we got to deliver 10 stims. And then, yep, okay, so 10 stims. And 90 copper. Let's go. Uh, you can buy it at Neil Deal. Yes, The Rock, correct, at uh, Lorville and Hurston. Zenith Flare, is that you? In my chat, <laughs> someone is asking about the rock as well and where it's purchasable. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Conquer. Okay, okay. Uh, right, so there's our cargo, rookie rank. No problem. Alright, we just grab everything, it looks like. Alright, so agricultural supplies, agricultural supplies. Hello there. Oh, copper ore. Copper ore. And stems. And then agricultural supplies. That's right, that's right. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
So this should be everything. All of our missions. So agri agri all the agricultural supplies are going to Everest Harbor. We're picking up more of those from Tressler at over New Babbage. We're delivering 90 in. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, so let's all break this down quick and easy. All the agricultural supplies are going to be going to Everest Harbor. So let's put those up at the front. You haven't seen this? Um, uh, this is the new cargo. This is the hauling missions. You rank them up and they're in the PTU right now. So I've gotten to uh, junior rank or member rank, I think. Yeah, <laughs> member. That's right. I laugh at that every time. So... As a member, I can do these bigger cargo missions, and I can look at the entire list of them, and I can basically pick up the ones that I want and need that are going to and from areas that I'm going to be at or near. And then from there, we put them all on our ship in organized little patches. That way we can grab them when we land at the appropriate places quickly and easily. And then we drop them off, pick up the other stuff that's there, and then we just basically loop cargo all night. And, uh, yeah, it's really fun because you're doing your own route here. You're not, like, going to a terminal and buying off a kiosk of commodities. Now, there is commodity trading that you could still do, but I like the fact that we need agricultural supplies. And, like, well, if I'm growing agri agricultural supplies there, I'll pick up this, uh, you know, this iron ore from this other job and drop this off there, you know. So it's really, really cool. And this is all, of course, you know, using the new hangers system, as well as the new cargo elevators, which are core to the new patch. So this is all in the PTU, not the PU. The PTU is testing all this stuff and making sure these missions and this elevator and this hangar work properly. So, so unique and cool, different each place. Exactly, exactly. Now, I, eventually, I imagine all of the missions will be linked with a big giant mission board and you'll be able to search through but right now I believe it's all personalized per player as far as you know they each see 120 different missions on their side I believe so because you know we have to test so they can't have like a bottleneck in testing alright so that's all of that okay okay next are stems and this is where having a second person able to start loading things will help you tremendously cut down on time also this is where you would pay to have an auto loader hit you with a fee to do it for you automatically over time now let's see here what is the contracts all right six contracts 14 14 28 39 47 53, uh, 69. Nice. Does that really add up to 69? <laughs> nice. That's a good payout on six missions. Let's get the rest of these stems separated here. So, yeah. Curling now. All right, copper ore. <sighs> 90 SCU. So it's 32, 32. Oh, wait, they're not 32 boxes. They're. Oh, okay. Well, doesn't matter. Okay, so 8 in each of these. So 8, 16. So 16 for two of them. Ah! see here that was 16 for two so 32 um, it's 
at 16. 32 for that. So that would be 64 for those. And then another 16 would be 70, 80. Plus 8, 88. Plus 2, 90. Perfect. It all counts out. Count your cubes, folks. Make sure none got left behind or broken from the elevator. Tractor beam certified. Leave your panties at the door, okay? In the pile next to the rest of the others. Hey man, it's a skill, okay? You either have it or you don't. And that skill is going to your local tractor beam gallery and getting certified. Last one. Let me just start loading. Cool. Alright, that's everything. Okay, so first we need... Agricultural is going to our middle stop. So, agriculture in the middle stems up front. So that's going to be the... Stims is going to be the first stop, I believe. Because, yeah, we're doing Stims 2, OM1, as well as the Iron Ore. So, this, along with the green agricultural supplies in the middle. We load up the back with the Iron Ore. And then, yeah, we should be able to swap everything quickly and easily. Hey, what's up, Sigillion? VR, how's VR, VR Citizen? It's going great, man. I'm digging these new cargo missions. I'm assuming you've had your, uh, your mouth full. Just scrumping down on them. They're delicious, aren't they? We got six right now. It adds up to 69,000 total payment. We're going to four or five different places, and we're just loading up in our Hercules in nice little piles. So, everything you've ever wanted. Now I'm just waiting on everything I want with official VR support. <laughs> Interesting gameplay, so for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was actually wondering, so you prefer, like, commodity trading, or do you like these? I like that I could just sit through and, like, you know, okay, I want this one, this one, and this one, and this one. I'm going to here, here, here. Like, you know, I form the loop out as I pick missions. Not like I have to pick these missions to form a loop. You know? Alright, agricultural supplies on the other side. They could give us a little bit more juice on the tractor beams. They are a bit weak now that they've changed all of that. But yeah, uh, real quickly, let me give you a shout out here. If those aren't aware, Master of Disaster for Cargo Trading himself, you guys check out Sigillion when you guys get a chance. Of course, that would never work. All right, why would it? Why Why would I? Why would it work? But yeah, you guys go drop by and follow him. He's an amazing streamer. Does a lot of cargo hauling and whatnot. Used to play a game called Trade Wars back in the 90s, so I enjoyed playing that in Star Citizen. I suppose, I'm supposed to do refueling, so these changes may motivate me towards that. Interesting, indeed. Uh, for multiple ways to start over, when that ship with no insurance goes boom, you need a backup plan. Yep. Uh, this type of logistics should be cool with org gameplay, like in Pyro, Big Orb, need to resupply the wharf effort. Imagine your Kraken is in need of supplies and refuel ships. Yep, yep. That's what I can't wait is for the players, like uh, Salty Mike was saying it pretty decently. Um, they're going to give the these the NPCs the ability to, you know, do refueling, and the NPCs run the salvage yards, and... The NPCs are the traffic control tower. Like, 
If they really want this MMO to work, they need to just let go of the banana and stop designing all these systems and just let the player do it. The players need to be running the salvage yards. The players need to be, you know, creating the missions and the cargo and stuff for need of that cargo, right? So, I get that, like, the mission system is bespoke and designed to help guide new players into doing things, but, like, I would much rather see us have more fun than the NPCs. The NPCs... Damn it. The NPCs get to have more fun than we do, it feels like. They design all this stuff that the NPCs do instead of us letting us do it dynamically. Fascinated by the economic developments in MMOs. True, true, for sure. I mean, that's what Tony Z wrote his um, uh, thesis on, isn't it? You know, that's why him and Chris Roberts go way back. <laughs> Dynamic economies in MMOs. <laughs> Boom. Building will be pretty gen- Yes, I agree. Having a home base and an org base. However, I get the feeling it's just going to be a home base that people are going to try to force into an org base because there will be no org base tools or org tools that have been put into the game by the time we get base building. I hope to God we have like an org overhaul, chat overhaul, community, com you know, all that type of functionality through Moby Glass, chat and whatnot integrated into the game through Spectrum before we get something with base building because it'll be a big, big, big waste of potential if not. That's just how I think about it. After server mission, I think base building might... I, I agree. It looks like they're gearing towards base building um, uh, after server meshing and pyro. Because now they have enough room for people to, you know, cl make a claim mistake unlawfully and lawfully and test that whole system. But I also do think it is going to be, you know, <laughs> mainly limited to personal spaces and not actual, um, uh, you know, org bases that people are going to want to try and build. But yeah, how you doing, Sigillion? What you been up to tonight? Have you been playing much of the BTU? Okay, those are pretty much good. <sighs> Just did some coding today. I'm building my own version of WordPress. Oh, hell yeah. Sounds like fun. Uh, not. I mean, I hate coding, so. But, you know, hell yeah, man. More power to you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! We need better coders like you. <laughs> All right, let's get the box. This happens on my cutty all the time, so I'm used to this at least. <sighs> but yeah, glad to hear it, man. We've been playing a lot of Path of Exile, waiting for the PTU to get into this decent of a state, so happy that it is where it is now, finally. It's pretty fun. Spend a few hours building search engine compatibility into it. Nice, nice. Linking all your databases and DIRs and all that. Oh, no, no, please. Come on, man. Work with me. Bro. Up. It feels like the tractor beam doesn't grab from the center of the object anymore. It, like... Like... It's hard to explain, but, like, it used to... When you grabbed an object, it would grab the physical center of the object, right? So if it was a cube stacked in a bunch of other cubes, and you grabbed it even at an angle, you lift it up, it would lift up, right? Now it feels like it's grabbing visually on the exterior surface from the middle. So if I'm at an angle, it's like grabbing right here instead of actually at the true center, you know? And I can't lift up and, like, pull it directly out of a slot anymore. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it makes sense. It's less gamified, but I don't like it, you know? If I'm going to be moving cargo in a game... I want it, those, you know, want this to not be so arduous. Maybe a little bit of quality of life with stacking and moving would be decent. But yeah, you're going to be messing with the uh, PTU tomorrow. 
If you're about to head to bed and I wake up and see you, if I'm up all night, then yeah, I'll ra give you a raid for sure. <laughs> But yeah, with uh, something that I could do like this, I could loop cargo runs all night. You know, this is this is the type of gameplay that I keep wanting CIG to make the asses in the seats type stuff. We had it earlier in the year with the um, uh, rewards that you had to do with Overdrive and you know all the events and missions for that that you could do as a group that you could grind out the reward for. Yes, you had to pay to get the reward, but still, like, that's the type of stuff that kept me in the chair for, like, 10, 12 hours at a time in the game. Same with, um, a really, really good capital ship gameplay with Xenothreat, you know? Like, coordinating out of an Idris, it's there for, like, 8 to 12 hours pirating that, or piloting that with that pirate, pi pirate wheel, so. PvPvE matches in Delta Force are wild. Uh, can't spell no more. It's fine. Nobody can spell right. The English language is a... Oh, no! No! Okay, we're fine. Easy. Right there. Perfect. Exactly where I wanted it. No more, no less. The English language is a... I don't even remember what I was going to say, but you get the point. Wired after that last match, wiped out several player teams. Hell yeah. Congrats. Uh, so that's a chicken dinner then? Or... Oh, last one. It doesn't have to be a battle royale for you to get a chicken dinner, All right? Everybody's a winner when they eat chicken dinner. Shoot, loot, and scoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that should be it. Brilliant. Agricultural supplies for two different missions. We have stems going to OM1. As well as this, picking up stuff from OM1, going to Tressler, grabbing the rest of these stems, no, grabbing the rest of the agricultural supplies from Tressler, and then taking all of this over to Hurston at Lorville to go to. Uh, what is the name of it? I always forget the one over Lorville. God damn it. A lot of loot. Nice. Hell yeah. Everest Harbor. Everest Harbor. Let's go. Okay. Let's get flying, shall we? Alright. Lights. Do we not have. Oh, engine. Camera. Ah, landing gear. And action. Okay, so, check all the cargo is there, good, close the door, get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur, let's go! 
All right, we got guns. Swap to that. All right, so first step of the journey. First leg is going to be to Ambitious Dream Station. Let's ride. F2, search AM, click Ambitious Dream, route. All right, can we actually see it from here? We need to face the sun. It's going to be that direction. Perfect. Deliver shipment. Let's ride. Give me a sec here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Much better. Ah, so, how are you guys doing? You guys enjoying your weekend so far? A little bit bright there. Let's rotate like that. Good, I'm enjoying the stream. Hell yeah, man. Very glad to hear that. Yeah, trying to grow the channel as big as possible, as well as I can without proper VR support, but, you know, putting in the groundwork now so that when a whole bunch of other people are able to actually play and stream in VR, I'm the one that everybody prefers to go to. Hopefully. My biggest fear is that they add actual VR support and then somebody else steals my thunder when I'm the VR citizen, but putting in the hard work now to prevent that. So far, though, if anybody needs any type of VR help, I'm the guy to go to, so... Everybody else unanimously recommends me up and down the board. So thank you guys for helping be a part of that and making that community possible. With that said, where is my hangar? There it is. Okay, get it nice and straight. Line it up, crosshair, right in the middle of the traffic control tower window. And we should just go nice and easy. Not moving or wiggling for a beautiful landing. Now we need to make sure we back up and get our cargo. Open up. Alright, so there's our landing bay. I love my landing camera that I have in VR. Okay, so if I'm smart, 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 we'll rotate a little bit here. And then... Right about there. I think that should be good, yeah? Love watching your stream because it's like seeing the future of SE. I know, I know. I'm decades ahead of my time. Like, everything, like, like I just imagine so many people are going to play like this in the future when, like, you know, VR is the next big thing. Like, the thing that, what, what amazes me is that this is the game besides a, if, besides a theoretical Half-Life 3, right? That somehow is able to both play on PC and in VR and showcase the new cool stuff in VR, as well as be a fun game that PC and desktop players can play, right? 
until that theoretical game in my head exists, this is the game of the future. One that both is perfect for VR and it works great as a game that a regular gamers can play, right? And it just makes sense in VR, but it's also incredible for players to play. And the reason why it's incredible for players to play normally is because it's designed. All the things that make VR great is what makes this game great. Physicalized cargo, actual dynamic motion rigging, like a full mo-capped character that's attached to a, you know, avatar with cameras that come out of the eyes instead of guns that shoot, you know, out of the center of your face type of thing. All of it that you need for VR, all of those things, are what makes Star Citizen unique as an FPS game slash flying game. So. Alright, we're picking up all the cargo. Transferring to that. Uh, Sid Point. Uh, there are very f there are a few VR games made from CryEngine. Already the Climb, PC VRX. Yes, yes. The Climb is fantastic. I actually own that. That's uh, actually the Climb VR in Crytek's CryEngine is the same VR that Star Citizen used to have back in the day. Uh, but it no longer does. Oh, no. We've messed... No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. Yes! Perfect, actually. We load the new stuff into the front because we left the space there. No, wait. Wrong gun. That's right. We left space at the front to load the new stuff. I just accidentally went to the wrong place, but this is great. This is perfect. We load the new stuff in the front, and then we just go out the back and then put it in the other elevator in the other corner. But yeah, stuff like this, like manipulating my gun, mouse and keyboard, but like I can look and head track with it in VR, like no other game can do that this fluidly. Not even VR games, especially with a mouse and keyboard. And the fact that I don't have to, you know, use controllers to play this in VR, and I could just play it with a mouse and keyboard, it's amazing. Imagine if they um, uh, allow us to disable cargo grid gravity and literally be like, making my delivery now and dump this ship. I wonder if like, yeah, when you, well, that already happens, right? The Does the gravity grid still on when ships are disabled? I believe so, yeah? But I think that they should do that. I, they should totally do that. And, like, navigating a cargo bay with a bunch of loose fucking things should be dangerous, just like in The Expanse. With that big giant, um, uh, what do you call it? The big giant rotary drum ship that the, uh, Belters took over from the Mormons? Like that. Like, when they had that big stop wreck and all that cargo inside the drum started floating around and had a really, really bad time for people. And I am a VR fiend, near 20 hours into Into the Radius 2 now. Yep, we're going to be playing Into the Radius 2 after four or five more hours of VR Citizen and cargo re. But yeah, I plan to swap over to that later tonight, for sure. I want to get to security level 2 and check out the rifles, and then I think I'm going to hang it up for streaming that for now. Wait for a good update so that the uh, co-op is a lot better. Because here the co-op exists, and much like Star Citizen, that's about as far as it goes. So, really want that to be stable and enjoyable. Because car co-op into the Radius 2 sounds like a blast. Switch my 12 gigabyte GPU, by the way, on your advice. So much better. See? The, dude, I know. 8.8 gigabytes is okay, you know? Especially if you got really good, fast 8 gigabytes. But, like... For VR games, you need 12. 16, obviously, would be optimal, but, like, having 12, even if it's, like, DDR6 over DDR5 or whatever, like, GDDR, you know? Like, having the extra leg... Leg leg room? Legs to to run? Legs, leg power? Horsepower? Having the extra room to run with that 4 gigabytes of video DRAM is incredible for VR, yes. Run everything in 50... 480 by 2752 and it's smooth as fuck. Oh, dude, beautiful. I'm glad that I could help, man. Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do and dropping by and hanging out. Oh, 07 to you, buddy. Stay safe and fly right out there. But yeah, that makes me so happy that, yeah, my recommendations are... That means that I know what I'm talking about, and that makes me feel good, that I'm not just talking shit, you know? <laughs> 
Alright. We got all the stuff in the back. New stuff in the back. Old stuff in the front. Now, we finish our loop. No, okay, we get it by the door, and then we finish our loop. Actually, you know what? Let's pull the elevator up. Get two birds stoned at once here. Oh man, been playing the crap out of my older VR games this week because of it. I had to run things low on 2X and Epic. Now you're on Epic settings now. Hell yeah, man. Glad to hear it. Yeah, like it's, you'd be surprised. Like, it doesn't matter how good the 8 gigabytes is, just having that extra amount of room, the extra 4 gigabytes is just huge, for, especially for VR. Or I should say for VR in particular. Obviously, it depends on what you're doing and what you're running, but yeah. Like, 4K is where you're maxing out a lot of cards, you know? And if they're designed in a window to perform well for 4K, then that's how well they're going to perform. But outside of that window is where VR Realm starts to enter the conversation. And, uh... Yeah, just having, having more VRAM is, is going to be better more times than not for that particular purpose and application. It hasn't made changes to Pancake Gaming, but 4K textures in VR is a cakewalk now. See? There you go. <sighs> so, if anyone anyone watching, if Chachi says to try hardware, hardware setting adjustment after chat, <laughs> try his advice. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad that it worked. I'm happy that you're happy, and I'm more happy that you're playing VR games that you are otherwise wouldn't have been. That's my biggest goal is to just, you know, ideally, I want more people to enjoy and experience VR, and especially Star Citizen in VR, but just VR in general. And to that aim, if we get this community, this stream going really, really bigly, uh, one of the goals is to eventually make, like, some sort of VR arcade bar sim place that'll have permanent MechWarrior flight sim, you know, MechWarrior cockpit, like a Microsoft flight sim cockpit, the Star Citizen cockpit, it'll be a place that you just go... Drink some beers with a buddy, maybe take a family out for... Why is... There we go. You know, just a giant, general, great place to hang out and be cool. And do VR stuff. So, that's like the big grand idea that I have with VR Citizen, is actually build like a bar around it. And that way, more and more people can experience just how awesome and how much joy VR can bring you. And me just streaming, I've already sold, like, so many copies of Vorpex. A whole bunch of headsets have been purchased because of me. A lot of different joysticks. Like, you know, people are buying GPUs, specific G types of GPUs to upgrade properly. You know, so that they can play. Like, I'm very convincing at what I do if I need to move and sell something. So I think that could be... A very good part of the whole endeavor. Especially, hopefully, with, like, sponsorships for gear and equipment. Because this shit ain't cheap, yo. Main reason why I haven't really expanded and done anything... Dude, I have, like, no money. <laughs> and that's really, really expensive to, like, get, like, a VR bar. Like, you need... 4K VR rig ready... Computers. Then you need the headsets. Then... You need all the equipment on- that's just to get VR up and running for a person, right? If you're running a bar like this, you want other people to see it, right? So you're gonna need to get the sound and the video wired to external monitors, and you're gonna need to have lounge-type chairs and set up. You're gonna need to have, you know, a bartender in a bar, which in and of itself is a whole fucking crazy-ass endeavor. So, thought a lot into this, and it's gonna take a lot. <laughs> and that's where you guys come in. Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do, and all your support is appreciated throughout these years. <sighs> but yeah, so uh, how have you been enjoying Into the Radius 2, Sid?
Have you made it like all the way to the center? Like you like halfway through the map? My question I have is do the payouts get better when you get to security level two? Because I feel like I don't have enough time before it turns to nightfall to get all the bits and bobs just to pay for extra stuff to single shoot bullets. I can't imagine having automatic weapon fire and just draining bullets because I can't afford bullets right now, so. I need one point for two seconds. Hoping so too. Hmm. Gotcha. You need one point for sec two. That sucks. I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm fairly close. There should be at least one mission closer to it. Only complaint would be it feels really empty. Yeah. If I. It's empty ish, but like they have. Ideally, there's something for you to find every few meters if you're looking for it as far as like going to mission zones and then hitting the previously explored areas and looking for anomalies and um, uh, What do you call it? Artifacts within those anomaly fields oh, Okay, this is it last one We're all gone Okay, first leg of the journey. It's gonna be complete. All right, let's turn it in here. Hello there. All right, uh, Hercules is in the way. Right, right, right. Apparently our landing gear or ramp is... Oh, I think it's this. Yeah, I think this is getting too close. Interesting. been spamming as many at once as I could going yep exactly I'll grab all the missions and if I'm going into a region I'll try to grab as much as I can like time is money there each day that you have to go out you have to reload more ammo more shotgun shells that you're burning so I do love the um, uh, the sawed off though the over under feels great going at the going at like you know a group of enemies with that and the pistol like tucked against the wall and just like you know like aiming both sides type of thing feels very good toss some slugs yeah slugs are slugs are my lifesaver i can't buy them yet though i've burned through the box that i found thinking that i could buy them i only have the regular you know buckshot so very unfortunate <sighs> okay um really quickly so just turn this on up over Okay, down. Ask for the doors to open. Get that done on the way down. Drop the cargo elevator. Complete the mission. Be on our merry way. Beautiful first haul. I'm impressed at the night time. Uh, it feels really imposing and dark and heavy, much like the first version of Into the Radius did. Yes, yes. I haven't done much out at night. It seems that the enemies are harder or more spawn. All right, there we go. Drop the cargo. Blow the dome! And then... No, wait, that's the wrong cargo hanger. God damn it. <laughs> Walked out the front, not the back. But yeah, is there a better reason to go out at night? Is there better loot? Because I feel like wasting more resources dealing with enemies would be worse off. Highly recommend going and forming force at night just for the hell of it. Okay, okay. Just for the hell of it. Gotcha. Okay, and lower... Uh, rookie rank, medium solar contract will be completed after you. Copper, copper. Uh, oh, and we need... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on, we need a two and a four SCU of stims. Right, right, right. Let me grab that as well. And then... Okay, 90, copper. Check. Alright. Two and a four SCM...
Okay, one, four. One, two. Let's go. History accepted. Okay, ten stims to Ambitious Dream. Right, right, right. So we need both eights. We need both eights and the two in the actual bin here. Not just yet. We're not done just yet. Hang on now. Good thing we checked and made sure. And also, thank goodness the cargo terminal told us what missions we had. And was like, hey buddy, where's this other cargo? I noticed you. It's like Clippy. Ah! Clippy, no! Oh, cargo, no! No, no! Am I alive? Alright, perfect. Everything's going exactly according to plan. Come here. Alright, don't worry. I handle the cargo with greatest care. These stims are perfectly fine. Just... Just get a gun and rotate it to one side and collect the juice at the si at one... Uh, at the bottom. You'll be fine. Okay, up. It's like a wild night when <laughs> cargo attacks. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Okay. Don't mind the green puddles. It's just just flop around in it. It's, it's he that's healing in the future. All right. Select all. Moved warehouse. Stems. Two twos or one two and two fours. Check. All right. Next stop, Tressler. Above New Babbage. Let's get over to Microtech and then my guy needs to eat and drink. It looks like so. Let's get going on that. No head checking on the ladders. It's the most unfortunate part about this game. Come on, man. Put it away. Alright. Hangar door should already be open. Let's just fly out of here. towards the middle and just straight what okay looks like the door's closed I guess when I wasn't paying attention <sighs> and in gear Okay, perfect. Decouple. Flip. Throttle. And turn and burn, baby. Turn and burn. Okay, so next location, we need to head to Tressler. Okay. 
Tressler, Route. Oh my gosh, this map is so good. Those who are those of you who are new, you, you just don't understand how good it is right now, and how it's just always, always, always only going to get better. And it seems it seems that more and more CIG are listening to feedback. Everybody rioted in the PTU when they had to deal with the new drawer for the kiosk. Nobody complained about the drawer. No, nobody complained about the kiosk. Everybody complained about the drawer. And they got rid of the drawer. Now the kiosk just opens up the old inventory, which is literally perfect. It's the perfect compromise. I love it. Hang on one sec, though. I'm still having weird issues with head tracking. Like, every now and then it wants to just... be difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna recenter. This isn't recentering. It's so weird. What is up with it tonight? Okay, okay. So stop. I'm gonna recenter with the actual rift. Maybe because I had it on the floor. Whenever I started. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's better. Oh, found this latest patch crazy smooth. How has cargo been run? How cargo running been? I keep getting lost in all the new inventory fun. Um, we're going to try to do long distance, long duration cargo running tonight. So we're loading up on the first round leg trip. And uh, yeah, we got six missions that add up to 69,000 credits. We hit the first leg of the four leg journey. And yeah, we'll see what happens if we can make it all the way to the last spot in the round trip and then start another one. But yeah, so far so good. This is able to keep me in my seat and able to give me a lot of fun stuff to do. Uh, real quickly, guys, I'm going to grab me a snack since we got a long flight over to Microtech. Uh, thank you for doing the voodoo that you do and uh, stay safe and fly right out there. BRB. You guys go stretch and get some water if you need to.
find out. And we are here. All right, welcome to Tressler. Well, not yet. We will be there. <sighs> All right, heating up some hot dogs in my fancy new oven. Really digging that oven. Not bad. All right, why can't I not warp to this like it wants me to? Obstructed? How so? And see, now I'm all the way up here. What? And now I'm all the way to the side. Good to warp over there. But yeah, no, the I've had one crash of desktop tonight, but other than that, it's been really, really smooth. Last night I don't think we crashed at all. Alright, Tressler. Let's head over there, shall we? Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> I was about to say, the most common place for me to crash is when I'm warping to a space station. And when I'm doing a lot of head tracking stuff. And looks like we did both of those at once there. Because I needed to crick my neck. Okay. That's fine. I think we should still be in there. Crash the desktops, so we go straight back into the server. Exactly where we left off. But that's how it should be, no matter what you do, in my opinion. Ugh. Alright, re-enter. Yep, joining back in on the server. We should be above Tressler. Uh, hopefully we're not flying directly towards it because we left our autopilot on. So, how everybody, how's everybody's uh, weekend going so far? Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and having a great time. Alright, here we go. Now I don't have to stretch. Alright, cool. Stretch for time. Uh, what the fuck is this, man? Why is the head tracking being so weird? Yeah, like, look at this. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Okay, good old Tressler. Oh my gosh, the fucking sound. Why? The sound always bugs out, and it just gets so freaking soft you can't hear it. Ugh. Then you turn it all the way up, and then it blasts you whenever you reset the game. Is that that one here in front of me? Well, let me guess. It's all the way over there. Of course it would be. Alright, two notice the smoothness. Yep, yep. It is pretty smooth. Like, I mean, dare I say, if they were, you know, it's as if while they were waiting on cargo, because only the cargo teams could really fix that, they went and fixed and got a bunch of bugs and stability done in the past few weeks. In the meantime, but, you know, that might be just wishful thinking on my part and a placebo effect of just, you know, how good the new stability is from a, uh, what is it? It just, this would be the new baseline, right, as far as everybody... Gameplay flow and architecture wise, the cargo and personal hangers is how it should be from now on. So if there's a whole new foundation of game underneath that allows for this tech, then yeah, maybe they've been working really hard making sure that that foundation is smooth uh, with the servers. So, But who's to say? It is PTU. There will be a free flight when it goes live. Still, I think next week, it looks like it's going to go live next week after a weekend of open PTU, I would imagine, Segelian, yeah? Okay. Tressler, everybody. It is time. I think this stuff affects salvage, too. Yep. And then now I can't hear the doors open. What the hell, man? What is it with this game and sound? Like, it's got great sound when the sound wants to work properly at the right volumes. Okay, okay. So that stuff is going to Tressler? Where, where, what do we got here? I think we're picking up some stuff for sure. Okay, okay. So, hauling. No, we want... Oh, dear God. Please tell me. Oh, yes, we still have accepted offers. Thank God. Okay, deliver silicone to Seraphim. So we picked up the silicone from it. So that's going to be a long time. Okay, 11 to Everest. We need 82. Collect 82 from to Seraphim. Okay, so Tressler. Do we pick up anything at Tressler? Collect. Okay, okay. So we're picking up at Tressler five stems. Uh, we need to get more than that. I think we pick up a mission here and we go eat. I think, yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. We find something here locally that's taking us to Tress to... Okay, that's what we do. We find something here locally that's taking us from Tressler to Seraphim or Everest Harbor. Long Frontier, Tressler to Mike One, Shallow Frontier. Deliver 14 SCU to Tress, no, New Babbage, Tressler, Tressler, New Babbage, Scrapyard. Okay, here we go. Mike One, no, that doesn't help us. Collect, collect. From Crew L1, titanium and aluminum. 
Huh, that's weird. Pyro Gateway, Shallow Fields to Everest. Ah, here we go. Tin to Tressler, but that's the opposite way we need to go. We need to go from Tressler to Everest. Collect Machine. Collect from Tressler, deliver to Mike L1. We could technically do that. Collect from... No, no. No. Pyro to Everest. Tressler to New Babbage. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey Tiboy. Dude, thank you so much for the raid, man. Dude, welcome everybody to VR Citizen. Hope you guys are doing well. We're just doing some round trip cargo and stuff tonight. Secure Sun, we need Tressler to Everest Harbor. We might actually have to go to an in-between at that point. <laughs> Let's see here, collect waste. Let's see here. Okay, new Babbage. One of these will work. Shallow fields to Everest. Seraphim, what's up, everybody? Yes, yes. I think eventually this will be like you know, starting location, ending location, and then like list all the contracts like here of that, and then like. Payout size, you know, they need some drop down menus for sure on this. Also, though, I might just be wishful thinking here because thinking about the logistics, why would anything need to go from Microtech over to Tressler? You know, like Tressler, Microtech, uh, no, Tressler, Everest Harbor, Seraphim, Bajini Point, those are all hubs where stuff from the tiny planets are going into, right? There's not stuff going between these hubs, right? Those hubs are shipping to Pyro Gateway Centers. So I might have to go from Tressler to a Lagrange Point, then from Lagrange Point to Everest Harbor, which I might be able to swing, because I did see a Lagrange Point mission here. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Welcome. Uh, what is that song name? Oh, that? Oh, that's just a family guy. Um, I don't actually know the name of that song. It's an 80s song. And then another. <laughs> How do you feel about the payouts? Do they feel right? They feel okay for a single player, but if I want to cut down. Okay, here we go. Tressler to Mike L1. Then we do something from Mike L1. So we need Mike L1 now. Okay, so this is the missing link here. Tressler to Mike L1, and we find something from Mike L1 to Everest Harbor. Let's go to Mike L1 and see what they got. <clears throat> see here. Axel F. That's what it's right. It's from the Beverly Hills Cop movie. Correct. I was about to say, that's the, yeah, that's right. It's from Beverly Hills Cop. They had the sequel. It just came out on Netflix. Alright, so we pick up all this stuff. That's right. So there's our there's our agricultural supplies going to Hurston. And then here is our Corundium Raw to an OM point. Let's do it. Jeffrey Tiboy, SC in VR, my dream. I play in VR, but I can't do it. How will I play Skyrim VR? Whoa! Uh, play Skyrim VR with mods without problem. Nice, congrats, man. I'm glad that at least something works for you. My key goal is to bring the joy of VR to everybody, whether it be Star Citizen or just any game in general, because if you don't experience it like that, for example, like, it's just crazy. It feels like you're actually there and having to literally jump out of your seat because the floor is lava. My lord. 
All right, well, let's get moving these boxes. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid, Jeffrey. You guys be sure to drop by and give him a follow. Followed your tutorial, but it doesn't work for me. Unfortunately, Jeff. Uh, what didn't work about it? And did you try getting troubleshooting help on the Discord? What headset are you running? You know. Alright, stems. Check. Right there, I think. All, right, all the stems are going to be going to the same place here. Uh, three days of hard configuration. With pleasure for the raid. No problem, man. Fly dangerous, everyone. Going to run some some VR radius or Ghost of the Boar. Have a great night. Thank you so much, uh, Sid Point. Glad that my recommendations for 12 gigabytes helped out. Uh, getting everything running smooth running smoothly. You enjoy your VR Just Stay safe and fly right out there uh, Jojo it uh, Monday C2 uh, Hello, by the way, what's up creation? Unfortunately my Spanish in high school uh, is just about as good as my English in general, so. <laughs> I was about to say, yes, we got a 32-er out of this. Interesting indeed. All right, so I think we're going to put all the stems. One more. How do you feel about French? Uh, um... Definitely worse. <laughs> I do know that I have a lot of German and European fans because uh, I'm the VR guy and, well, VR is a worldwide type of uh, community as far as the fans and people who enjoy it, so yeah. Uh, that's why I posted text guides to all my tutorials so that people can translate if they need to and whatnot. And also why I, you know, run the Discord for all this troubleshooting because people with other languages help each other out too. So, translate what you say for Jojo. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Wait, 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 wait. Did Jeffrey, did Jojo say, because three days of hard configuration with pleasure for the ri Oh, oh, you translated what he said. Gotcha. Oh, probably because he has French viewers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out and dropping by, y'all. Okay, so we got the stems done. Let's load up the rest of the agricultural supplies. We know these are going to Everest. Hey, what's up, Akira Kuhn? How you doing? Yes, yeah, so I went on the Discord, but I'm French, so technical language is hard. Gotcha. There are a couple other French people and whatnot, but yes, if you can manage to, you know, use Google to translate and, you know, talk with others, especially, you know, if I'm not there, other people are definitely willing to help. And I think I do remember recalling you seeing you there, and I forget exactly what your issues were, but yeah, at least you gave it a good old try. You know, this is, it isn't going to work for everybody, but I get it to where it should, in theory, work for as many as possible, so. But yeah, how you doing, Akira-kun? Glad you could drop by, as always. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. 
What are you doing on your weekend? All right, Corundium, we're just gonna move up. Wanna get the rest of that stems first. Which I think I see over here. If I change my config to play in VR, then will this prevent me from playing normal version? You have to swap back and forth. So you have to be familiar enough with the configuration changes to be able to do that on the fly, or use me use the handy dandy VR Citizen auto installer program, which is still in beta and we're still working out the kinks to. We don't actually have anybody that can program well enough to fix it and get it better for wider release. But in theory, all that thing does is the manual set of tutorial steps from my video, all for you at the click of a button. So if you're having trouble, possibly look into that channel on the Discord and maybe look into that. You might get better results for whatever random reason. Okay, stems. But yes, you will have to change it back and forth between them to get it to play re uh, regularly. Thanks, you rules. No problem, man. You rule. Thank you so much for the raid. And uh, my dude is, like, getting really, really hungry here. So we're going to finish loading, and then we're going to go down to the food court, and we're going to go get a hot dog for my guy. Biggest thing is just, yeah, F VR, yeah, yeah. Just remember your VR FOV resolution setup numbers, and then just swap that. If it were me, you just save your, uh, my, your your, what do you call it, the attributes file from Star Citizen, your text file. You save that, and then you just swap them out, and then boom, whenever you start the game, it'll be using those numbers. So. I recommend for rate. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, this is corundium and stuff, so we want to start stacking this in the very, very back here. Come on. There, okay, cool. Stems are on top of each other. Now we just load the rest of this. And stack it all nice and neat. Go down to the food court, get ourselves a hot dog. I actually got a hot dog cooking as well. Gonna make a bit of fries and we're gonna eat that really quickly before we continue on our journey. I'm trying to stream a long, long, long time tonight. Get a nice big session. I tried to do a big session for Friday and have a Saturday off, but wouldn't you know it, my sinuses wouldn't play nice with me and my nose was running like a sieve. I had to run home crying to mama and end the stream early last night, so we're going to try to make up for lost time. And stick around, those are watching. We will be trying to get some Into the Radius 2 uh, VR game later this stream in possibly four or five hours. Yeah, around four hours or so. That'll put us at a six-hour mark for VR Citizen. That's a good time. We'll try to get as much uh, Into the Radius done before the controllers die. And then, uh, yeah, we'll figure out what to do from there. Maybe a little bit of Path of Exile to end the League out. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing well t this evening, this afternoon, this morning for some people. Some people are up late and going to bed. It's really hard keeping up with when and where everybody is when you got an international crowd and fan base, but... Pleased to have all of you here hanging out. Come on now. Are you seeing this shit? Really? From the end of my caterpillar? Or from the end of my Hercules? Is it a server crash? Hmm. That's not right. Okay, that one works. Battery? No, no, it's got a charge. The charge on the battery looks decent. Hello. Okay. Tractor beam certified. Okay, you guys. Just be cool, all right? Leave your panties in the, at the door with all the others in the pile. We know what we're doing with this. 
Okay, so what is going on though with the cargo? The beam is clearly working. The cargo is not beaming. Don't get the beans. Hmm. Oh, got it. All right, cool. Yes. Success. Success. All right. Brilliant. Why don't you go? Why don't you grow to pay with some brains in it? <laughs> okay. Brilliant. That there. I guess since we're in the cargo bay, we might as well do it from this side. Dude, these hangers, these persistence hangers are great. It's not kicking me out of here. I'm in my own little, like, ideally, yes, you would have to clear it for time in a real world place that had these size limitations. And, you know, you'd have to make sure that your spot is available and you'd only be there for the allotted time because there's, you know, hundreds of thousands of people going through this system and yada 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 but this is a video game and having a persistence hanger where hundreds of people can be at the same station doing this exact thing all at once all individually yes that's a very good game system to have and so Sigelian, i was wondering did you play the ptu at all did you uh, get to the bug with the hanger audio where you can hear other people in your hangar because they're all stacked on top of each other, right? So I thought that was a bad f flaw in game design, stacking all of the instances on top of each other, right? Because in my head, like instance, right? Like World of Warcraft dungeon instance. You, you and your five members go into a portal and then that dungeon is instance and you guys have the entire area to yourselves. Nobody else can enter or exit. It's instance separated from the server, but ran in multiplayer. Yeah, I have dual PC streams, so didn't have audio going to my headphones, so chat was getting the noise, but I wasn't. <laughs> Might I suggest... So, I also have dual st PC stream, right? And this... I don't know what audio... You, what machine you have, but I use GoXLR, right? Because I have to have my regular mic at the desktop, right? Headphones. Permanent headphones are now earbuds to make things easier between both desk and VR. And then I have this, which is routing. I can sh pick exactly what goes where. Like, okay, I want this to my headphones, this to line out, broadcast mix, and then I plug both computers into the deck and then I can have this board. Yeah, it's Go XLR. gotcha, okay, okay. So yeah, if you, if you weren't aware, if you set things up properly with your, um, uh, with your routing table, you can get everything exactly where you want it and need it. Especially between using that and OBS, having multi-audio tracks that you can save to Twitch. Like, this allows me where my music that you're hearing right now, that won't be on the VOD. But it's also routed from my gaming PC to the OBS PC so I can still control it. You know, yada, yada, yada. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. A lot of people will do OBS, or no, Discord, and their music on their streaming computer. But I don't have control over that because I'm in VR. I can only control and see my gaming PC. Put some more thought into that. Yes, yes, like, I I obviously have to inherently because of my VR setup and I have to, like I don't, I have the USB mic, the basically the, the index works as a USB. So it plugs into the computer and it has its own channels instead of it being like a wired mic or headset, you know, that I can plug into the Go XLR like, you know, into the back via an audio channel. So I have to route through Windows, you know, all sorts of different things to get to different places. And on top of this, if you really, really, really want to go crazy with your audio setup and make give yourself exactly what you want, I have this machine right here, which is the uh, PC panel. Let me actually... This bad boy... It's basically like a Go XLR before you even, you know, this is like a Go XLR, but for like just gamers, not for streamers, right? I mean, get the, it's a volume mixer, pure and simple enough, but it has a lot more actual uh, use out of it. There's a small one and a big one. Now, let me pull up the panel here. This is what makes, it'd be one thing if they just gave you a bunch of buttons and like a go, go at it, but the actual software, there we go. 
Okay. So, each knob does something differently. This knob right here, I have, for whatever is focused and I have clicked on, it will adjust that volume, right? This one is for my actual uh, VR audio. This one is set up for my, um, uh, like, OB, not OBS, but like Chrome and video. This button right here, I click it and I have set for music control to next track. On the button settings, I can select the knob and the knob is doing my chatty. Whenever you guys type and it makes the clicking noise, this is the program that that's adjusting, right? So right here, we click on this and it has focus volume for that. We click on this and it's doing the system from the Go XLR. So my system volume is on that knob, right? So it just gives you a whole bunch of extra control for your audio. You can save profiles and whatnot. Like I have stop music right here for this on the button, the knob itself, I can end up putting to a specific thing or focus device. You know, it's absolutely brilliant for giving you four extra knobs, five extra buttons and four, no, five extra buttons and knobs and four extra levers at your complete uh, customizable disposal. So highly, highly recommend using that in tandem with the Go XLR and the routing table. You should perfect your audio in no time. And note, I say in no time, it took me months and months to tweaking to get, no, I want it this way and I would rather have this much more, you know, volume on this. Listening to my playbacks and my VODs, you know, it has taken a long point to get to where I feel comfortable. And even then I'm always asking, is the mix good? You know. Good to know, thank you for the info. Yes, no problem, man. Glad to help. All right, I gotta finish loading this cargo and go get some hot dogs for my guy because he's about to pass out from food. He's got blinking 11% on the food bar. But this is perfect because I'm gonna go get me a hot dog as well and we could both eat hot dogs together. Chad, if you're looking to go get a drink, stretch, go to the bathroom, or get a snack, now would be the time. I like hot dogs, dude. I got this new fancy oven. I am really, I thought it would be dumb. I thought this oven was gonna be stupid and dumb. Uh, so I live with my mom, right? And we were on this food uh, delivery service that would like give you fresh groceries and stuff to your house. You would then, you know, cut the potatoes and like do all the food prep and stuff. And um, uh, like, you you know, wouldn't have to go to the grocery store. And it was great up until we were both sick and injured like a couple weeks ago. And we just, you know, let a whole bunch of food go to waste that we didn't want to do the pre prep work for, you know. So we're trying out a different service. It's called Tovala. If you look up Tovala on Google. I was very, very skeptical. She's like, yeah, it comes with this oven. I was like, well, wait, wait, an oven? Like a little toaster oven? Yeah, yeah, this toaster oven and you scan QR codes and it's got all this smart stuff. It's like, Ugh. not really liking the idea of that. Don't like smart anything in my kitchen. But, but, this is actually pretty neat. So, I was asking myself, are these guys an oven company? Are they a food company? Like, what are they, what are they actually selling here, right? Because they're going to be not as good at one as the other, right? They're either good at making ovens and are shitty at making food, or they're trying to um, uh, sell their food delivery service with some sort of, you know, bullshit tech thingy and yada yada. Big tractor cools more fits than the classic multi-tool. Classic multi-tool will only reach from... And I think this is the exact mark that they were going for as far as distances and what the numbers should be. I can stand right here and I can pick up boxes at the back of the elevator. And that is it. I can't go any further with this gun. With the big giant multi-tool though, I can go from the, right here all the way to my ship edge, roughly. So distance, exactly, and weight. You can't pick up big things with a small gun anymore, which also makes sense. Need to adjust my volume on the chat there, and that's a little bit loud. Uh, but yeah, so this um, uh, this new oven, right, has like a QR code scanner. You're supposed to be able to buy foods and stuff. We're going to the food court now, speaking of food. You're supposed to be able to scan frozen foods and stuff from your uh, local grocery store, and it'll like turn on the prep time, and you just put it in, and it'll preheat and do everything for you and beep when it's all done. And that's the same thing that it does for the food service, right, that you get. Hang on. Too many people talking at once. Anyway, so 
they send you this uh, food that comes in these little tins and stuff like that, like, you know, delicious mac and cheese, bits of Parmesan chicken that you assemble and, you know, put on the stuff yourself and whatnot, like, like a regular food prep service. But the kicker is that it comes with this little QR code that you scan, right? And then from cold, you literally just hit start and you put the food on the tray and then it heats up cold food, cold oven, everything in 15 to 25 minutes, depending on the meal. And you just come pull it out of the oven when you're done. And it is incredibly, incredibly simple and efficient. And it also is, works as a toaster oven. So I went and made some hot dogs. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Hot dogs are up here, that's right. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the store. We're at 9%. We've gotten a single digits there. Ugh. If you're not seeing something, you might want to check our spectrum selection. Okay. Hang on, we got to buy a couple of these here. Got a double dog. How's the PTU been treating you? Been very good, Dynamite Ninja. How's life been treating you? Well, I hope. We're gonna grab this double dog, you guys. I'm gonna go get some better drinks in the food court, and then I'm also... ...going to eat me a hot dog. Let me get down to the food court. I'm gonna go grab my bun and my food real quick, and yeah. We're going to just have a quick snack, and we're going to keep going on our missions tonight. No! You jinxed it! You jinxed it, Dynamic Ninja! Hello there. Oof. Wow. Woozer. We got some... Big issues there. Hang on here. That locked up hard. In fact, that has locked up everything that's running, I think. No, nope, Discord is still good. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. Google Chrome is good. Just end that. Drop the launcher. I'm gonna restart Steam VR, see if that'll help. Let's see here. Did I break it? Good. Played the play test. Hang on here. I gotta get back into the game and into the save. No, RSI is broken as well. Closed window. But yeah. Uh, good. I played last night. Eight different missions into a cat. Yep, we're trying to get back into... Where is... Need to load back in from Crash the Desktop before it cuts my place. We can launch VR later here. But yeah. <sighs> Hang on here, we gotta reload that. Okay, safe mode. That back to music. 
Well, that locked everything up hard, huh? The hell that's not right oh there we go all right cool all right change unavailable perfect all right we still got it all right one sec folks when an intel no hit exclamation here i'll do it no okay that's broken still okay hang on hit exclamation mark pc setup and that'll take you to my uh current system settings or current setup that I'm running also sorry about that side camera there we go okay oh, all right all right so what else is broken probably we should exit out of that and restart that okay so while that's loading oh I need to restart chatty that's what I was going for task manager okay where's my chatty program see it's not even listed here There it is. Okay. Hey, perfect. Still in the elevator. And we still got our missions. Brilliant. Hell yeah. Let's get to the food court here. I'm gonna go. Make me my hot dog real quick. Uh, PC said, uh, try new PC. I think that should be the one. Ah, perfect. right in front of the noodle bar okay okay so give me one sec here folks let me go heat up a bun turn on my chat program again and then we'll have to actually reset vr but yeah i think we got things up and running here all right brb let me go toast a bun
Okay. Actually, okay, we have an issue that we need to resolve. So I need to... I can't exit out to the main menu. I need to keep my missions that I have, but I need to restart the game to apply VR to it. So how do we do that? Do we just Alt F4? Does that work? Does anyone know? I think when you leave, you lose. No, we've, I, we've crashed to desktop twice and we still get our missions when we come back. We need to be able to go back to the same server. It'll keep it. As long as the server is up, it will keep our uh, progress. So we need to figure out a way to proc that. Or we need to figure a way to like, maybe do we like use the task manager to exit out? And see if I can get along to party. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you could join. I'm making food anyways right now. Cause yeah, um, uh, we're not set up in VR. We just went straight back in to keep our missions. Now we actually got to get VR up and running again. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go check on my food. I'm gonna BRB one sec. But yeah, I got everything up and running, it feels. What is this? All right, I don't even know what that is. All right, BRB.
Reswald, you there? Did you join the um, uh, server? Can you send me a friend request? Uh, let's see here. I need to actually pull up my VR chat program. Okay, still booting into the PTU. Okay, okay, brilliant. Then we will try this in a sec as soon as I am finished eating my food and we get all of these steps ready to do the actual swap. With that being said, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap to this and come over here ah, and say thank you all for doing the voodoo that you do. Ah, wait, hang on. Ah, ah, I can't be here without your support. And ways that you can support me is through Twitch Prime. And if you have a Twitch Prime to give to me, that means that you already have a tw Twitch account. No, sorry, an Amazon Prime account. And that means that you can enjoy certain series through Amazon Video for free, such as The Boys, or things like Invincible, or how about many of these others here that you could probably see on the screen if I had the forethought to make a graphic for them. But you know what? If you use your imagination, you can rule the world. Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do, and stay safe and fly right out there. I'm Chachi Sanchez, y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching this message. This pays for ads, Chachi Sanchez. Don't hit the skip button. <sighs> Brilliant, okay, okay. With that being said, I'm gonna eat a quick meal while we're waiting on Reswald to get in the game. If we can do this successfully, I can keep all of my missions and we can continue our progress. Which is, you know, the overall goal, yeah? <sighs> <sighs> but yeah. Joining the PTU, I love this setup. I've always wanted to do this. Dude, I, I know. Like, it, it makes perfect sense for me especially, but yeah. Like, I have, um, I did video. I just got my guy to sit in the chair, right? And then I had the camera angled. He's my, my character in game is the guy on my bench next to me, right? I moved the camera in front of it to where it would be level with my camera. Then I recorded like four or five minutes so people can be walking around behind me and it be a live action background. I did the same for the bar. I got the 890 jump bar, the bar at the Orison. No, at um, uh, New Babbage. But like, if I'm doing long streams and stuff and I gotta eat, I might as well eat, you know? Forgot my dipping sauce, one sec. All right, once we get the other guys in here loaded up and friendsed with me, then we can try to swap back into VR. In the meantime though, enjoy my hot dogs. I'm a Twitch Prime member. Shouldn't be getting ads. That skip button never works. Oh, well, go complain to Jeff Bezos. He'll fix it up for you. And if you can't get in contact with him, he's just busy. Keep trying.
<sighs> Delicious. I love a good hot dog. And you're right, Segalian, they're definitely not healthy for you, but they are delicious. And you can cook them quickly in a pinch. The bun technology needs to catch up with the double dog technology. That's all I'm going to say. C8R Pisces or Nursa, if you had to pick one. Might as well get a Nursa. Unless your deal is moving more than four, more than two people. And two crates at a time, you might as well get a Nursa. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Eaten. Byproducts of that. If with the Nursa, you can at least respawn and do other stuff and get from A to B quickly in, in a tight, small package. <clears throat> if that's the goal of getting that ship, right? You might as well have the extra ability to, you know, spawn yourself there. If your goal for that ship is to move tiny bits of cargo from your capital ship to certain areas without having to need a big giant ship or a smaller medium ship, that will work perfectly for that. And you want the extra room. If your job, if you think I'm gonna be using this more to ferry half a dozen people for a drop ship type mission, then needing it for a rescue mission, then that's basically what options you're weighing there. Do you want more room for cargo and people? Or do you want the ability to respawn at a drop rate of those other two? You answer those questions, then you know which ship you want. Hello there. Hmm. Hope that helps, Smoke. Accept the invite when you get back, Roger. Will do. Let me finish this dog and then I'll get into my comms. Make sure we don't go AFK. Hmm. All right, brilliant. Ah. Okay, Hello thank you there. for bearing with the mess. Man's gotta eat. Now it's a nice quick meal. Brought to you by Dave's Double Dogs. Inside each of us, there are two wolves, and both of them want a double dog. <laughs> Brought to you by Dave's Double Dogs. Okay, let's get going. Like, like, Trout, the game, or Twitch. <laughs> hang on one sec. Let me get my ears in. Excuse me. Okay, hang on. Why is this not... Lighting up. Come on, think of your secretary. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. So, res. All right. 
Oh, dude, Lamad, thank you so much for the follow, man. Uh, let's see here. You probably have an alt riding with you on the same server in case you're- Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a, not a bad idea. I do have an alt account, but having it on a separate computer that can run the game is the other kicker. Okay, so Rez. I got you added to friends. Okay, so go ahead and join my server. Let me know when you're in the server. Oh, yes, would be cool if other people could sit down and eat with you, like Trout the Game or through Twitch. It's full? Alright, then just keep trying, just keep trying. Oh. Did I drop my- I guess I ate my double dog. Oh yeah, Reswald, invite accepted. Okay, who's got some cruise lux? Is it just sodas? Surely somebody's got the good stuff. Want this noodle bar or that noodle bar? Okay, drink of water. Think back where they found them. It's not my job to pick up after you. And then a cruise pulse. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, let's make our way back to the hangars. <clears throat> Waiting on Reswald to join. Oh, there he is. He's in. We see him in. Did you uh, make it in the game game yet? Or are you just loading? I'll wait for you to fully be in the server before I try to swap out here. I'm in. Okay, let me get... Well, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm gonna Alt F4. Can hear you in game. So is the party sound chat works? Interesting. Oh, hang on, let me finish drinking. I'm gonna throw away this bottle here. Okay, bottle thrown away. I'm going to... Right click, task manager, and we're just gonna close it directly here. As if it had crashed to desktop. Then maybe, maybe if we're lucky, I don't even need you, but we'll see what happens here. Oh, those streamers that are chatting to a wall in towns. Hey, man, it's party chat only. It's not open comms. At least I hope to God it isn't. All right. Come on, man. What is going on? All right, fine. The uh, button is off. That's that's cool. What? All right, my task bar is like completely fudged. All the th icons. Are there are icons there that shouldn't be there. They're like ghosting. But we're just going to plow through and I have time to reset the computer. We're just going to get back in there. Unless Vorpex doesn't hook and we don't actually get VR back. But I have my doubts. Hey, did I leave my desktop camera on or did I turn that off? Plow it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go straight through.
You can see your Atmo shirt. Okay, give me a sec. I'll adjust that camera. Star Citizen supports VR. Uh, you can hit exclamation mark VR setup and you can go to my VR setup tutorials on my YouTube channel. That will get you up and running with third party programs. They will eventually support the game, but not yet. See, look, server change unavailable. All right, so we got it. We got it, you guys. If you use um, uh, control panel and force a uh, crash that way by deleting the EXE, then it will come back as if it had crashed and give you your missions, in theory. <clears throat> but yeah, the built the game is built around VR support in general, so it's actually got pretty good hooks for VR uh, While they're waiting to get the engine in a better place so that they can have better performance to actually add VR when the time comes so But yeah, once I get in there, I'll show you how well it works and it works pretty damn well I'd say way better than Elite Dangerous natively even the only thing that Elite Dangerous honestly has at star on Star Citizen is the MFD and button and ship control of the MFDs from your joystick and VR point of view. With Star Citizen, I still have to like F hold and look at the menus and mouse and keyboard and it's all very weird and awkward. With Elite Dangerous, I look right and I use like the D-pad on my joystick to actually mess with stuff in there. But yeah, all right, welcome to VR Citizen. Hang on here. Nope. Get that. Hang on here. I've been having some weird issues with head tracking all night. That doesn't feel right. Let me pull that up. Yes. Okay. So whatever reason, this is not syncing properly. UDP over network free track. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's start. Okay. That's good. All right. That. 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 All right. So, uh, I have my mouse control for gun, I have head tracking, and then I can do both of those at the same time, separately. I can aim down sight and also do it, too. So, yeah. Quest save. Yes, they did, because I, uh, alt f Um, it did the same thing that it would- it did normally. So, thank you so much, Rez, for the help. Okay, we have eaten, we have drinking, we have our- oh my god. We have our guns. Uh, we are ready to rumble. Let's continue on. Put our headphones up. What is going on? Yeah, gun wings. Like a Gundam wing. Okay, hang on here. I think I could get rid of this audio. If I kill myself, or maybe get rid of my gun at a locker. Can't use a terminal here. There we go. Menu didn't pop up. There it goes. Okay, cool. Grab the gun. Right, okay. I'm just gonna go to the hospital, kill myself, and then just grab all my shit. I don't have time for this. Hey, what's up, Pagan? How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> We're doing very, very good. How are things for you, man? Hope your evening's going well. Recovering from a migraine? Oof, unfortunate. Well, I hope you're... I hope you're having a better day than some people. <laughs> some people are just stuck in the floor, you know? Hello there. Alright, transfer, confirm. Alright. 
Bite Size Hobbit, thank, thank you so much for following and doing the bo voodoo that you do, man. And the Code Fodder, thank you so much as well. Oh, and I need to turn off the damn camera. Hang on, does this work? Actually, I should have set this up. Side camera. Did that turn it off? Tell me that that worked. That would be great if that button actually works. Yes, perfect. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, also, this fucking noise is still here? What the hell, man? Alright, well... What the hell? And then this isn't working either. Dude, so many things are breaking! Hmm, wonder what could be the BP- it's- when I had my med gun out, for some reason it's thinking that I need heals or something. Like, watch, I bet you if I go grab a med gun and put it in my hands, it'll stop the beeping. Or if we crash, thank god, I was about to say, if I could just have a crash and go back from desktop, that might fix all of our problems here. Okay, okay. Med gun bug, yep, yep. Alright, let's just get in there. Medical attachment to avoid that. Ah, gotcha. I was gonna call you the Canuck couple, but don't know if that was racist. Uh, Floridian, sir. <laughs> been subsumed you didn't even realize. Alright. Should be in the same server, can't change it. Alright, let's load back in there. Hopefully the beeping is gone. I'm gonna go take this chance to go to the bathroom and uh, turn on my fan real quick. As well as see what's up with my little thing here. This should be working, why is it not? Hang on. I think I do not see PC panel software. Yeah, why is it not? What is, there we go. What the hell, man? Okay, yeah. All right, it's good now. For some reason, though, there is an icon on my taskbar, which is really annoying. But at least I got the program and the thing to work. Why is everything so fudged? And now this is all funky too. All right, no beeping. We're good. Uh, I need to swap out of my medical gown. All right, let's get to the hangar. <laughs> Be a lot bigger than a case of the sniffles if that were the if that were so. All right, to the large hangar. <laughs> I'm 
put my wheel into a similar setup. What do you have there? It's really convenient. You have an under tray for keyboard and mouse. You got side area for hoe toss. You got your wheel and pedals. Like, what more can you want or need? Okay. Really quickly, you guys, I'm gonna just gonna restart my gaming computer. I think that should take care of issues here that I'm having throughout my desktop and whatnot. Um, uh, hopefully I'll still have the missions when I come back, but if not, we'll just start up a brand new circle loop. We're gonna be looping all night anyways, so not too much skin off our back. Hopefully if we do this quick enough, we'll be back in the jiffy. One sec. Yeah, exactly, Rez. Just reboot it. Might as well. Anytime there's fireworks in Star Citizen, get footage. Either you dancing in the cargo bay, or you doing flybys, or you just standing and looking at it from a port. Okay, all righty, all righty. Turn on that, turn on that. Icons are all lining up properly. Uh, Taskbar isn't acting like shit. 
Went to the bathroom, took a little break. Take a little thing. Smoke a little June bug, you know what I'm saying? The fuck is he saying? You know, that's what happens when you're the king, you know what I'm saying? You gotta live life by the fools, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right, Mr. King. Freaking <clears throat> Jack White or Jack White from the White Stripes as Elvis Presley and Walk Hard from the Dewey Cox story. Hang on one sec. Routing, yeah. No, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. So we swap that to that, and then that. Professor, you didn't have to rile him up like that. <laughs> what now? No, excuse me, what? I'm just saying, we gotta follow that. And... Well, sometimes you have to go all out when you're the king and you can't help it, you know? Because there's only one man who's a king. God picks him, hand plucks him. One night, God looked down at all the millions and millions, millions and millions of people, people. Man, And he decided which one was the best. And it was me. me. And he plucked me from all those millions and millions and millions, millions, millions of people, people man. Am I in? Yeah. Listen to this right now. Listen to this. There's two things you need to know. Uh -huh. I'm the king. And number two is look out, man. Oh, look at that. Come at you. You see that? It's called karate, man. And only two kinds of people know it. The Chinese, Chinese and the king. The king. But one of them is me. You're the king. I oh, won't see all the Memphis. I want a nice little bit of honey and a little bit of June bug. Yeah. 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 Oh, all right. right. Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Oh, come on, man. Come on. See you around now. Come around. Sit around. Look at him. 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 Look at do I not have music? There we go. Okay. Mixer. There we go. All right, cool, cool. Let's get back up and running here. VR. Launch Steam. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Technical difficulties happen sometimes. This menu always pops up if I don't have... I think one of my sensors is getting in the way. This always pops up when it's not, I think, being sensed, but it's clearly being tracked. And the controller is on, whatever. See, the thing is that if I hit exit, then it just pops back up. Well, I guess not. All right, never mind. Okay, that's up. Uh, Vorpex. RSI launcher. <clears throat> Minus that. And launch. Oh, okay. 11 p.m. Do you know where your VR citizen is? I think we're back up and running, you guys. Now, if we're lucky... If we're lucky, we'll still have our missions. But I highly doubt that, so... It's fine, though. We can start another loop. We're at Tressler. That's a good starting spot. Don't see the name on the screen anymore. All right. Yeah, we probably took too long. That's fine. Oh, server change unavailable. No way. No way. That was a good long time. Cheers. To a full loop. Let's hope we let's hopefully get back in there without too much trouble.
Am I in my hangar still? Oh my god, I'm still here. All right. Let's get going. Hello there. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. It even had my stuff on my gear equipment. All right. Yeah, we're good. Uh, missions still got them, baby. Then that means we are ready to just leave because we did all of our loading. Oh, dude, that's incredible that the crash recovery system is so good. And our instance hangar was set here all private for its, um, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, Sigillion, you're still there. I was gonna ask you. I started this question, but I didn't actually finish it. <clears throat> so, you know how there was the bug, right? With the uh, audio that you could hear from everybody else's hangar because they stacked all of the instance hangers on top of each other, right? And I said how in my head, instance means separated, you know, everybody goes in their own little bubbles that are all on the back end somewhere floating in the void, right? Yeah, bug, right? So I thought to myself, why the hell has CIG tried to reinvent the wheel and make all of these instances, you know, all crazy and stuff like this, right? Uh, and like stacking on top of them instead of like separating them out, right? That's exactly, that's what I understood as instanced. Exactly, exactly. So I asked my head, in my head, I, I think, like a player who's game chair developing, why would CIG develop it like this? Shouldn't we all be in the middle of the server space that is Stanton, like either like way at the bottom of it, as far as the sphere or box? Do you know if the Star Citizen engine builds it radially or in a cube? That's another question I have. Is it an XYZ or is it by radial coordinates? Anyways, either way, some place way in the corner of the universe, all of the servers instanced all by themselves, right? But instead they chose, it, it, it is very obvious that they chose to stack all of those bubbles on top of each other because we can hear each other, we can see other ships, and yada, 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 right? So, uh, giving all of that context, I ask you a question because I found my way to the answer eventually, but I want to see your opinion on what the actual answer is. But why do you think CIG would do it that way instead of, uh, or why would you, why would CIG do it the way they have done, stacking all the bubbles inside of the area here, instead of moving all the bubbles to the corner of the void out in the middle of nowhere in the servers? And then one sec, let me uh, fix this here. So I want to hear your opinion, then I'm going to tell you what mine is as far as why I think they had to go the way that they did. Meanwhile, at the Hall of the Super Best Friends contracts. Okay, so we have picked up everything. We need to go from Mike 1, Port Tressler to Mike 1, Shallow Frontier. Okay, so next stop, Shallow Frontier to Tressler. Web developer, there's a lot of overlap technology with the game development, but instancing is not something that we have in web dev, so I haven't the slightest idea what technology works. Despite the fact that it's been around forever, could spend some time researching it someday. Gotcha. Well, <clears throat> so here's where I basically, I, I was thinking through the thought process of why they would not have it instance like WoW dungeons and yada, yada, yada. And it comes down to the bottleneck. And the bottleneck is everybody, no matter what, will eventually need their bubble to be transported to where the hangar door is. Because the hangar door is what faces us and is the same exact thing that faces the actual outside PU universe. The doors open, we fly into the game. The doors open, we load into the game. So if they have to invent the technology to move a bubble in front of the doors anyways, they might as well negate all of that and make all the bubbles in front of the door, you know? They can't magically make more doors on a space station that there's only like two dozen doors uh, of, sea, of each size, you know, or whatever on every space station and every landing port, right? The doors are the bottlenecks, which is why all the instances are in a bubble right next to them. That's the reason why they had designed it the way they did. It took me a while to get there, but I understand it now. And from that point of view, it makes complete sense. 
But yeah, if the bottleneck is the players have to open the door and fly out of a space station and there's only like 20 hangars in a space station as far as the doors are concerned, then all of those bubbles need to overlap at the hangar doors because otherwise you're going to have to invent a technology for your bubbles in the void, had it been regular instance as we know it, to go and move to the doors. You might as well just have them all at the doors at the ready, you know? Oh my gosh, really? I need to get- I need to ban phrases so that they just stop yapping. Time for bed, have a good dream. Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, Rez. Did that not? There we go. <clears throat> Man. There's something weird with the head tracking going on now. Okay. I think I was in mod mode, couldn't get it for you. I thought I set you to just permanent mod. Oh, you need to be on your thing, in your console, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need more space station, like where capital ships made, where the dry dock stations where they would build Idris Krakens. Oh yeah, I agree, there needs to be a lot more, you know, functionality as far as places for players to go. It feels like we are maxed out with what we got, but also there's not that many people playing it, as far as an MMO numbers would be concerned. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, how? Doesn't matter. All right. <sighs> Doesn't matter. All right, Shallow Frontier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shallow Frontier. Mike L1, let's go. Yo, hello. Come on, man. Shallow Frontier Station route. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Wait, what? Collect shipment? Port Trestler? No! God damn it. Okay, god damn it. What the hell is going on? Why are my markers not showing up? Alright. Shallow Frontier Route. There to there. And the game broke. Alright, give me just a sec here. We will finish this loop, you guys.
Reading this for the... Hang on here. Yeah. No. Reading this further about instancing, CIG is using a dedicated instancing server, then it would make sense to put as many players on that server as possible, since it's a separate server. Exactly, yes. Normally. But remember is that, like... Okay, so uh, an instance also means a load bar in every MMO you've also ever played, right? So you load into the instance portal, then it loads and swaps out the textures on your RAM. CIG doesn't want to do any of that. Remember? So they can't use a separate server unless server meshing is in, and server meshing isn't in yet. So they've had to instant servers inside of a single cluster. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's different, their approach. Because I assume that they would server mesh us from bubbles out in the void, but all the bubbles are overlapping inside of the hangars, and they're not actually instanced in separate servers, because that means that server meshing would need to be online. It must have been meshed, but they don't. But meshing doesn't work yet, unless they're saying that it, you know, isn't ready, but it's in the game and working with instance hangers. That's the thing is that mini mesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it has to mesh either way to. Well, that's the thing. It's not really even meshing, because in between the exactly. Well, here's the thing: it's not even meshing because if everybody's bubble is at the hangar doors, then all they need to do is open the hangar doors on your side, texture-wise, and then you just go out. You know? So it's not even- you're, you're not even meshing. You're, everybody's already there, live on the server. Which also makes sense, because we can see all of the markers of everybody else in the game, while we're in our hangar. Thus proving it's not instanced and tucked away in its own little corner on the actual PU. How's the PTU? Good, good. It's doing decent so far. We're having a little issues here and there, but I think my VR and head tracking are wonking things out. I heard some people were talking about open track not working that well and being the issues. And sure enough, like, or track IR, not open track. My program, open track, is what does my head tracking. And it is sending to uh, free track enhanced 2.0. Mouse emulation. See, this is all... I can't change any of this. Alright. Okay. But yeah, it's doing good. Doing good. Alright, I think I got my marker up here. <clears throat> Anything world generally new or amazing? Uh, have you seen the cargo kiosks? And the, uh, freight elevators? There's a whole new way we interact with cargo. I'll show ya. We gotta get over to the place where we gotta drop off the load that we have now, though, so... Quick skip, hop, and jump, and we'll be there. Nope, haven't had a chance, been super busy the last few weeks. Ah, perfect, Tamarisk. Well then, follow along on our journey. We're doing a full cargo loop. We picked up a bunch of, uh, like, copper and aluminum from Seraphim, as well as meds and stims, as well as food supply, uh, green stuffs. We dropped off the tin and picked up more, uh, alloys at Crew L1, made our way to Tressler, uh, picked up more- dropped off meds, picked up other ore, and then we swapped out some more stuff for, um, uh, heading to Everest Harbor. Now with all of that crap, we are heading our way to drop the rest of it off to the place. I want to make million... Uh, I want to make seven million... Oh, hang on. They gave up retaliator modules for some region. What do you mean they gave up retaliator modules? So I want to make up seven million to buy a retaliator to mess with... Them. Oh, you mean they gave us. Okay, I thought this was like, gave up. Uh, but yeah, Tamarisk, as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of different types of commodities that we've lined up into different piles. Right, right. Meds, alloys, greens, food stuff. And we have a whole bunch of different missions that we're just constantly picking up and dropping off all over the verse. So that's number one, right? New cargo missions. In tandem, those work with the new cargo hangers and cargo elevators that also tie in with the new persistent and personalized hangers. So, let's all go do this at once.
All right, so when you call for a landing bay, it opens up as normal. You land as normal, but as soon as the hangar doors close, it transports you into your own private bubble. And therefore, you can just load, unload, stack crates, spawn ships, do everything as you need from the comfort of this hangar. Now, there's a big old elevator. The hangar floor turns into an elevator that moves up and down, and that's where you spawn your ships. As well as there's the new cargo freight hangers right there where you pull and move cargo to and from. So, let's get going and do that. Easy. World Shatter, I never said a Jesus patch. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely... Okay, so what I will say is that... Pyro is just going to be server meshing and then more of the same stuff we can do in Stanton in a different system, right? With different locale. That's nothing really big if you count, like, you know, different locations big. The way we interact with the game is completely fundamentally changed with these cargo patch and these instanced hangers. Instanced, I say in quotes, as we have discussed. Segelian. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Okay. No, just get... Oh, God damn it. Not a single person will use the ladder. They'd rather fall down a two-story chute. Okay, so we are at crew L1. We need to pick up cargo as well as drop it off. So what are we dropping off? Alright, so... Tressler and Seraphim to Everest. 85, ambitious crew L1 to Seraphim. Alright, we'll be doing that on the way back, I think. Agricultural supplies to Seraphim to Everest Harbor. Right, right, right. Let's collect stems from Everest, right? And then this one, agricultural supplies. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we here then? Ah, here we go. Collect from Tressler and deliver to Mike L1. And then do we have a Mike L1? Oh, yeah, we were going to pick up a Mike L1 to Tressler. Okay, okay. So if that's the case... I remember now. Okay, so Corundium... No, that's not the right one, is it? Tressler to Michael Wong. Yeah, okay, so Corundium, raw. Let's go. That's silicone. Silicone. Okay, so Corundium's up here at the other side. Right, right, the blue stuff. Or purple. I don't know, I'm colorblind. Where's the button? Button, button, who's got the button? Alright, Corundium, raw. We are unloading this stuff here. And there's no automatic loading and unloading anymore, tam Tamarisk. You have to do it by hand, with gravity guns. And the handheld tractor beam will only reach like 20 feet, and the big one will lift the heavy stuff and reach like 50 feet. Alright, so. Put it in there. Can actually probably get away with standing like right here. What about mining boom fuel? Uh, not sure about that. Quant? Uh, I've had a mission or two to deliver Quant. It is tagged as stolen if you don't deliver it. And you can deliver partial missions in case the cargo breaks or, you know, you don't get it because the elevator is broken or bugged or whatever. So they have partial turn-in credit missions now, which is really nice So it let you get rep.
<sighs> but yeah, welcome to the future. Invest in companies that have a free will scroll mouse tech. People are gonna be scrolling a lot. I kinda... No, that, not that one. That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on here. Hang on here. Oh, Pagan. There you go. Gotcha. Okay, hang on one sec. I got an idea. I got an idea. Keybinds. Mouse. Joystick. Okay, we need... Um, it would be... What? Let's see if we could do this. This will be crazy. Quick keys, interaction, and thought. MFDs. Moby glass. Throwable radial. Hello looting. Where would be? It would be FPS. Yeah, we need um, um, EVA. No, on foot. Throw. Interact. Weapon zeroing audio. We need uh, forwards and backwards with the tractor beam increased distance. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, increase there. Decrease. Got it. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Damn, I was trying to get my mouse scroll to replace with that button. Hang on, let me look to see what it is. Scanning module. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Cycle operator mode, that's clicking. Dynamic zoom, salvage convergence. Radar ping angle, yeah, okay, so none of that actually helps. Oh, whoa, whoa, flight, here we go, on foot. Okay, ADS, zoom, in and out. Yeah, none of that is the um, uh, multi-tool operation. Okay, hang on here. Joystick Hotos. No, 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 let's go back to mouse keyboard real quick. If I can figure this out, then I'm going to be a genius. Uh, let's see here, ground vehicle. No, 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 we need, so it's on foot. It's got to be. Right, so this technically at the very bottom, mouse wheel, default movement speed, yep, okay. Zoom in and out, mouse wheel, firearm attack, yep. Okay, tractor beam, increase and decrease, mouse wheel up and down. So, that it can only be mouse controls, yeah? I can't, like, tog a button to it. Okay, so tractor beam, increase and decrease is right there. So, joystick, hotos. <sighs> yeah, it just doesn't want to work then. It's definitely picking up the button inputs. Oops. No! Why? Why would they do this? 19 meters. Tick, click, 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 click. Oh my gosh. So it's a scroll. It literally can't be a zoom. It's not an axis. It's a button. It literally is a button and it wants you to hit it a million times. That is so dumb. Of all the things that they could bind to a button. Okay. Right. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have to just do it by hand. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I have to literally bump, 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 bump. It's not a hold. So the button bind works for the joystick, but the way that the bind actually interacts is not how you expect. And that's a problem. All right, well, let's just unload the rest of this stuff. That stable coin, I mean fresh mind. I'll have to log in and try. Uh, yeah, it'll be... Well, no, you can't really do that. The only unstable quant you can get is from mining, right? And the only way you can transport that is if you're in a prospector. Sign up for the giveaway, by the way. We're having one of those as, with LTI on it this month for those that want one. I mean, the button's rapid fire. Hum well, it's already acting how I normally do rapid fire on uh, certain other games and stuff. So I have a script that's always running. And whenever I hit scroll lock... Is it scroll lock? Yeah, so I hit scroll lock, right? And then whenever I... Whenever I scroll... Now it clicks my mouse button. And so this is when I need to like, you know, have like an auto clicker or something, I just scroll, right? But that works because look, even clicking, mo moving, scrolling forward only... Click, 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 click. Scrolling forward engages a click. Right? So using that idea... That's how they made their gravity gun work instead of a axis forward, axis backwards. It's literally a bunch of miniature clicks. Forward, 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 forward. Backward, 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 backward. So I have that that I have on a toggle that will let me, you know, auto-click on certain games that are stupid and think that I have time to click. And I don't have time to click. I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel and do a thousand clicks in a second instead. Which is, seems to be how the CIG dev thought of the best way to give a tractor beam forward and backward motion with the mouse scroll. I get it. I only get it because I use it to bypass other features that other games have, but I get it. I'm not saying I approve of it, but... <laughs> so yeah, for those that don't know or aren't aware, that's how your scroll button works. It's just hitting the forward button. It's hitting the forward sensor over and over and over and over. And it's got a back sensor, and that's how it determines if you're scrolling. It is not actually an axis. Whew. Steering wheel works on the same tech, by the way, when I was preparing mine. No, it, unless if it's, it depends on the steering wheel. If it has the, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, as far as like the force feedback motors and stuff, if they're hooked up and they have, uh, there's like the belt driven and gear driven. Oh, same type of sensor. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Because, yeah, so it's not an analog or whatever it would be to track range of motion, but it's just dot, 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 dot. That's really, that's so weird. Okay, we did it. After much, much delay, move, lower, corundium, corundium, wait, what? I'm assuming that that's all of them. And it's just bugging out that window. That was 87 SCU. The flywheel with holes. Oh, interesting. Uh, we delivered it. Doesn't seem to want to work. Okay. Oh, 80 out of 87 delivered. Okay. 
So now I need to find a little bit more cargo. Apparently. Oh, hey, look. What do you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. <laughs> I was like, did I leave some boxes? No, we did not. We just forgot them on our ship. If we had to go back to another station, I would have cried. Okay, I probably would have just turned it in. That's the that's where you want the partial submit button right there. That's not just a quality of life because the game is probably going to bug out and, you know, you're not going to be able to actually turn in everything, but that's a quality of life when everything's stable and you do something stupid like forget to fucking grab five containers from the station hangar bay. I have the little handheld, that's why I was like, why does this feel weird? It's fine, it works for what I need. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, those three are in. Last few bits of cargo, select, move to warehouse, down, check, 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 check your booty, check your looty, -na 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 -na. down, boom, complete, rookie, direct, solar, medium cargo, let's roll, oh wait, do we have stuff here to pick up? That's right, we're looking for here to Tressler now. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Offers. Hauling here to Tressler. 85 silicone to Tressler. Do it. All right, now we get over to Tressler and then back to Seraphim and we'll have completed the loop. Actually, I think we got to go to OM1 on the way to Seraphim, which is on the way. Come on, man. Big ol' 32 SUs. We like to see that. Makes my life easier. silicone. She'll be fine. That's sand. It's the worst that can happen. Okay, now into the ship. Let's see here, yeah, we should have enough room. Mm. 
No, please no. Thank you. Okay. Next. behind it. Okay, and... Okay, last one of these going to Everest Harbor. Alright, let's get to Everest Harbor and start dropping all this off. Then making the next rounds to where we need to go. Okay. All right. Landing gear off. Woof. Landing gear off. Oh. Okay. What wonderful. Somebody spilled some water down there, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, close up the ramp. Doors are wide open. Let's just roll backwards. We went in straight, we should go out straight, right? Thank God. Okay. Thank you. And please visit again. Wait, that's not right. There we go. Damn it. Wait, did we do this wrong? Silicone to Tressler? That silicone needs to go back to Tressler, not to Everest Harbor. 
All right, fine. We'll complete the loop. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the way back to Tressler. I thought I was picking up stuff to go to uh, Everest Harbor, but I guess I just picked up stuff to go to... I must have clicked on the wrong one. Like the new ship elevator I just tried out, you'll love it the first few times. After the 30th time of you needing to quickly get a fighter or something, yeah, it's gonna get painful. It's a long animation. <laughs> if the elevator started in the down position, that would definitely help starting the process up. Quantum display on. Shut down quantum drive. Scanning HUD. Deploy landing gear. Shut down. Interesting. Didn't know any of these actually worked. Oh, wow, a lot of them do. Enable E. What? Proximity flight assist. Sensors on. Exterior. Interesting. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Definitely probably slept on. Ah, oh, slept with my neck in the wrong position. A little bit stiff. And they, either way, we're going to cut out that. I'm going to be right back. Go to the bathroom and we're going to keep running tonight. <sighs> Hello there.
Alrighty, alrighty. On our way to Everest Harbor, completing this loop. They removed something from the inventory filters. Uh, how? What do you mean? How so? I don't know. Is something missing, or is there something you're expecting? Seeing containers now, but the layout looks the same. Uh, containers from your cargo kiosks show up in your local inventory, or containers, yeah, are part of your inventory now. So, like, commodities as well as missions. Does that answer your question? Clothing. Oh, okay. Well, you shouldn't have any clothing because it's a PTU. Doesn't spawn everything. Yeah, the order is probably different now. Okay, okay. Good old Tressler. Large hangar, let's ride. fly through the rings I'm gonna just flip decouple literally just gonna float through space here and now bring her in nice and straight for a good landing Line up crosshairs. Easy does it. Oh, wait. What? How did I get... Doesn't matter. I just looked left. How did that jerk me so far? Doesn't matter. Okay, we've made it. The loop is at the second to last point. Well, basically the last point we now need to go to the first point to complete the loop so okay this is gonna be everything going to Everest I believe yeah Okay, what all's going? Tressler, Seraphim, Everest, so medical, agricultural supplies to Everest. And then Seraphim delivery, so agricultural supplies to Everest. Okay, so all the green stuff from Everest is out of here. Okay, easy. I think I can move this silicone up here. Not try to be cooth here. <laughs> it's just farming supplies. Just throw it out of the ship. Oh, 
Okay, all agricultural supplies are now off the ship. Need to get them in the bin, drop them off, and then pick up whatever we gotta pick up here. Okay, okay. <sighs> Get my mouse keyboard here. What happened? Oh, dear lord. Woo! Okay. Alright. We're good. Okay. Almost done here. We gotta put this in the hole and then grab whatever we can grab from here that needs to go elsewhere. And then, once we hit, I think, Crew L1 and then Seraphim, we'll be done with the loop. Very, very good. Boom. Time. C2 is blocking? What? Oh, did I not make it in straight? Is that why? That's so crazy. It's that sensitive. Dude, Funky J, dude, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Everybody, go follow Funky J Rob if you haven't. Go check him out. Amazing. What a brilliant evening. How's you? How's your um, uh, <coughs> stream going? What'd you end up doing? Robot. Robot imp for life. <clears throat> but yeah, how you been, man? <sighs> we moved 10 boxes of titanium from one spaceport to another. It was incredibly fulfilling. We have loaded up on six to eight different missions and are just flying all over the place. We're picking up stuff from here, going there. We're grabbing places all over and just loading up into different piles into the Hercules. So right now we're dropping off two different agricultural supply missions. We've picked up a bunch of ore from another place. Like, it's getting crazy. 
We're going all out, doing a big long loop for a long while. Okay, okay, so that's the silicone, that's the stems, that's the other stuff. I actually forget what that was. It's starting to get hard to keep track. But yeah, glad you could drop by, man. Okay. Perfect. Select all. Move to warehouse. Check. Uh, I'm missing one SC. Oh, I know where it is. It's fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. That's right. up the cargo we need or it could just break all right get back in there nope it auto it should automatically put into the largest container possible because that's the container for the mission supposedly or well, the idea being is that we have these 332 SCU containers even though it doesn't say that, the system automatically upsizes to the largest ones available, or at least in theory it should, most of the time. It shouldn't give you a whole bunch of single mission boxes. Do it to me in one 10 SCU box. Yeah, that's the thing too, is that in theory it should, depending on the mission, like if you have a big boy mission, it should give you a bunch of 32 SUs. If you have a beginner mission, it should give you a bunch of single SUs. But also, the system accounts for, like, do you have... 10 SCU? Alright, give it to him in a single crate, you know. So, the, I think there's some conflicting, you know, priorities happening in the background that aren't giving the exact... The exact, uh, probably wanted, you know, yada yada. Desired outcome, that's the word I was looking for. What the hell is this shit? Tell you what I do like is being able to come back from a crash to desktop like that. Okay, and my missions are all still here. Alright, brilliant. Let's go. Alright, transfer into hangar. Good, very good. Alright, move these stems out.
Cool. Swap these out. Okay, select all, move to warehouse, down. Okay, complete, rookie, direct, small cargo. Brilliant. Now move these. We got two stops. We got crew L1, and then we got Seraphim Station. And that will have completed the loop. Brilliant. Come on, man. No! Server error! <gasps> that means all my cargo missions. No! Dude, I was eight missions deep with cargo. Almost completed my full loop around the system. No, but I got a bunch of useless cube now in my, in my C2. Oh, I was just about to land at Everest. Yep, yep. They are a lot like when you have to crane your head upwards to see a reclaimer. Streaming it in VR right now. Well, looking at a server error bar in VR, but you get the point. If you wanted to set it up yourself, I got VR and set up tutorials.
Hello there. They have gotten down to a few minutes sometimes. So yeah, definitely getting better. Before I take the plunge. <sighs> With VR, you set your own, um, uh, what do you call it? You set your own resolution and FOV through the sc.exe tributes. No, it's. <coughs> sc.exe attributes.txt file in your sc folders. You can get 8K resolution with that setup. You will need to use a, uh, what is it called? Virtual monitor to get it working. Because 4K monitor will only let you mouse click inside of those borders. And and we're back. And no. Congrats on Whoever else had a bunch of cargo, you now have worthless stolen cube. You can't sell or, or turn in. Oh, you could put the display. Ah, what headset you run in Yuka? Because if you got an index or better, it's amazing. If you run in an old Oculus Rift, then yeah, you're gonna have issues with text on MFDs being sub-pixel size. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. What do you try when you play them? Just looking at a virtual desktop, or are you p playing Bone Works, or Alex, or Super Hot, or something? Actually, VR. <sighs> Can't go to third person in the ship. Womp womp. Okay. Um, where are we at? We're at Everest Harbor, yeah? Okay, okay. So the quickest way to do all of this is going to just be put all of my shit in here save myself medically okay okay I know what we'll do
can't contact ATC, so just hovering over here. I was giving a little bit. The, uh, mission... All of the other servers, like, ATC... The only thing that's, like, up and running immediately with the new server is chat. The mission service, the air traffic controls, some of the elevators and doors, they don't work just yet. So give it a little bit of time. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, Sigillian, what's up? Did you lose your mission? Yes, we did. Sorry, didn't see your chat. I was busy talking to the server chat. But yeah, we lost all the progress. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new loop. Play a little bit. <sighs> Good to know. Yep, yep. It's not connected to the actual, uh, back end, unfortunately. Suffering so I don't have to. Yep, yep. Good us. So what we're gonna do, if we're gonna start a new loop, and we are here at Everest Harbor, we're just gonna save ourselves here, kill ourselves, and then regenerate all our food life. Then we're gonna go blow up our... Hercules that has all of this worthless cube that we can't sell or do anything that's marked with cargo that's marked as cargo And then uh, yeah, we're gonna just grab a new Hercules and we're gonna just start from step one Hello there. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. I just go straight to pad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We we're gonna do this. We were gonna kill ourselves, so that way we have all of our crap here. We're gonna go blow up our ship against the side of the station. Then we're gonna spawn another ship. Ten minutes, we'll be up and running. We'll spend that ten minutes picking up cargo missions and uh, doing all the stuff we need to prep. So, beautiful. Still in that Nursa trick. Oh, you mean respawning in your own hangar? Yeah, that's pretty convenient. Convenient workaround until we get a private actual hangar that we can buy somewhere in a city that we would land at, and it would be our actual private space. Until then, all of this shit is technically rented out property, if you think about it. Okay, so here's all the cargo from the previous mission. That's not gonna work. Oh, no, I don't have anything to pick that up All right, well, you know what that'll stay there Gonna try it on Everest good luck All right, we just fly this out of here and blow it up then we respawn another one and we'll Yeah, let's try it all again not much else we can do.
dude. Anytime you want to finish opening. That's not there's that's nowhere near opened, right? Yeah, of course. Why the hell not? Alright. Thank you. And please visit again. Okay. I don't think I can get fast enough unless I'm in like actual warp here. slingshot going here. Try to shoot the gap. Oh, it's closing. Nope. <laughs> All right, cool. That should take care of our cargo. Brilliant. All right, let's go respawn it and then let's go pick out some missions. Oh my gosh, they don't need 50 people overlapping with the same voice lines. Jesus Christ. They really need to sort out the med bays. Like, the fact that, like, six people are always using the comm in a space that small is insane. Welcome to the- welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Like, if I had to ask any question for, uh, Star Citizen Live, it would be, why is there... 20 people at a hospital the size of a daycare clinic arguing over the uh, microphone for the intercom. Like, why is that a thing? <laughs> I love the voice lines and the dialogue. It's great. Some of them are funny. There's the Where's Waldo bit, but like, holy shit. They play like 50 of them back to back to back. It's insane. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Hercules, respawn. Insurance claim has been set. All right, fine. Go again. back to it. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Wait, Vehicle's what? Selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. What? I just skipped my insurance claim. Okay then, let's uh, get our equipment and let's get going. Right back to it. Ah, this is apparently mine, I guess. Perfect. Everything's here. Wow, that was the quickest I've ever respawned to Hercules. Go me. Alright, so really quickly, I need to get that single piece of cargo up and out of the terminal so that I don't mix it up with other cargo missions that we're about to grab.
Okay, okay. How's everybody doing this evening, by the way? I hope you guys are okay and enjoying yourselves and having a good time. Okay, big old 32 SU crates of stim that I now own, it seems. Transferred hangar. Gun. Swap to tight view. <clears throat> Okay, move this. What the hell is this? Okay. I'll just put all of this in one spot in the corner where we can forget about it. And pretend it doesn't exist. Hey, Sigillion, you still there? If not, I got a question for chat as well. What was I gonna ask? Oh yeah. If, um, uh... How's your frame rate? Pretty good. Getting around like, you know, 40 to 50 FPS, which is enough for the VR headset to get interpolation running. So, averaging around 60 to 90, depending. But yeah, pretty decent. You know, not bad. In-game, though? Yeah, yeah, like 30 to 50, depending on where we're at. Uh, let's see here. Okay, okay. So, it is now time. We pick missions. So, we are at Everest Harbor. Hauling. So, we are gonna go where to first? Let's see here. 22. We need to go to, like... Thundering Express, her three, her two, no. Let's see here. Collect stems. Tisa, no. Agricultural supplies. Wait, wait, wait. From Seraph, from deliver to Arab Everest. So that's agricultural to Everest. We need stuff out of Everest. Collect from to HDCP. No, that's a. Port Trestler. Oh, let's see here. I felt like I had a noticeably worse frame rate on Orson. Everybody's frame rate is worse on Orison. Hello there. It just comes with the clouds and the gas giant territory. Everest to there. Collect Everest. Collect Everest. We're looking for like Everest to Seraphim or something to like Everest to an OM point. Colorts from Mark 1. Delivering. So, Mike L1. Microtech L1. To Tressler and to Everest. So that'll make us go. Okay, so this could be a good start here. If we could ideally find something from. Okay, what is this? Junior rank medium. 21K. Near the top. If we can find something from Everest, Everest to Tressler is what we're looking for. Her too. This will work. This will be on the way. Okay, okay. So we grab this. That's going to want us to go to Tressler. Oh no. This one. Okay, okay, so Roar Quartz from to her two. Okay. Then we're gonna want something from her two to Tressler. 
then if we can pick up as well from this tab. Let's see here. From Tressler back to Everest. Okay. That's fine. Hello there. Her L2, Everest to her L2. That won't work. Bajini Point. Do we want to... Actually, you know what? Here's a bet. What we, here's what we could do. Deliver agricultural supplies to Pyro Gateway. I like that. That'll get us out to somewhere we haven't been yet. Then maybe we can complete some loops here. So... This to her too. To Tressler to Everest. And then Everest to Pyro. Then Mike L1. Okay, so her L2. Okay, so we go to her L2. Then we go to Pyro Station. Then we go to Crew L1. I think. No, Mike L1. That's what that was. Alright. Transfer to Warehouse. get started here. Where's the button? Is it on this side? Hello there. Okay. Come on. <sighs> Come on, man. What's going on? You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> okay, then. Going to get everything out of here. I guess since we're in the hangar now, I'm trying to load it to the ramp, but no, we'll go from this direction. Enjoying 324? Yes, Rifle Jock. It's pretty good, man. Long time no see. How you been? Glad you could drop out and hang hang around. It's, yeah, no, the move the cargo is good. The only, the only thing now that is bad. They reverted the item key, item kiosks to the old inventory system. They got rid of the drawers. Um, the only thing that is bad now about this is the fact that when there is a server crash, 
Uh, it does pick up, and the server, you know, crash protection system kicks in, and it respawns a new, respools up a new system in yada, yada. But it doesn't keep our mission progress. So if you have a bunch of cube that you were doing for another mission that is now worthless and marked as stolen, and you can't turn it in. That's the only thing bad, I would say. Other than that, yeah, it's been great, man. I love it. Everything works so well now that it's... Uh, the only gripes I had were with the drawer. And now that they got rid of the drawer and did exactly what I wanted, which was give us the old menu back... Uh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. We just tried to do like a five to eight missions in a row. We did like four or five of them. Completed them, but we had a... We were loaded up with like three or four all at once and then the server crashed and so we just blew up our ship and now we're just trying again. You know, PTU stuff. But yeah, what you been up to? How you been lately? PTU been treating you nicely? Buy RMC at Everest. I think there's like a lot of changes to where you can buy everything. But it doesn't matter if you can buy it at Everest. I think the rate at which you can buy it has changed. How much it costs. So I don't think you're going to be able to make too much of a profit. Because you can only sell it for like 12k at a TDD. So... Dirt cheap now. Compared to ah, compared to live, most all the builds I feel have been better in the PTU. Just bug reporting a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll see if they swap over to the shit servers once we get to live. But yeah, the PTU is feeling pretty good, surprisingly. I mean, my crash to desktops. I'm assuming it's finicky stuff with my VR that are. Cracking, cracking the system out. A lot of people were reporting issues with track IR and whatnot, and that's what um, uh, Vortbeck slash Open Track hooks into. So it makes sense. I've been having a lot of weird issues with head tracking, but also probably should be starting my VR setup with my headset on, and that might help smooth things out instead of just launching it directly. Okay, agricultural supplies. Let's go. A lot of issues with my VR as well during some of the testing I did. I thought I had messed up my open track or something. Okay, okay, so it's not just you. Yeah, no, open track is like turning on and like, um, uh, like getting on top of my VR, my Star Citizen window, and it's just doing a lot of weird things that it normally shouldn't do or doesn't do. And then I'm constantly, tonight especially, it hasn't been agrarious as far as having to do this. That's just the window issue. Actually, right now it's fine, but I haven't actually gotten up to take a break or anything, but... Most of the evening, before I had to restart my computer before it locked up... Most of the evening... Um... Like, I'd have to reset my head tracking, it would get off-center and shit. And, like, I'd literally have to bring up the open track menu, start and start, start and stop, stop and start this pr the, the service. And I've never had to do that before, so... Vicious 85 Beans. How are you enjoying the new cargo update? It's great! The only thing that sucks, I was just telling Rifle Jock about this, the only thing that sucks is the progress for your missions doesn't save. 
in between a server crash. So they haven't tied that to the back end yet. That's the only bad thing. But other than that, I love it. We're loading up on like five to six missions at once. We're just making the round trip around Stanton. Can't wait till that incorporates to multi-system trips and stuff. I really hope the uh, menu mission board will get a lot better for doing these cargo missions. The only bad thing about doing these missions is if you're trying to pick up eight, you know, five to eight at a time, it sucks because you can't search for where you want to pick up or drop off and make things easy. You have to scroll through a big giant list of 120 different missions all at once, so. What's up, buddy? Glad you could drop by and hang out. Can that's essentially what I was running into. Notice, like, my VR headset sits on a stand at 45 degree angle. When I put on my headset, then the yawn pitch will roll funky. Uh, roll combo, y'all, be fine, super weird, and kind of gave up on that one point. Yeah, I've just been having to, um, uh, constantly pull up my open track um, a program that's in the running in the bottom corner in my taskbar and just start and stop the service. That's been fixing it for me, but obviously I've never had to do that before, so... You know, it is interesting. But yeah, Vicious, it's a, it's great fun. Have you checked it out? Played it yourself? It's open to everybody now. Got a little burned out. I think you're on 18 EVO. I was about to say, yeah, if you were playing the EVO builds, especially in VR, yeah, that could be a pretty damn rough. Oh my god. I've been having to reapply my bypass sometimes here and there, or restart my computer. Usually that'll fix it up if it's being a little bit wonky with the hooking process, but so far, hasn't been much changed. Jesus Christ. Bro, get up there. For fuck's sake. Been toying with the idea of maybe going back to working on our program and planning everything up. With all the reports and logs from other people. Play the game through streamers. My used refurbished hand-me-down laptop can't run anything more than Discord and Twitch. Can't afford anything at the moment because all my teeth surgically removed about a week ago. $5,800. Jesus. Um, uh, that's unfortunate, but glad that you're getting stuff fixed up, man. It's a high price to pay for, you know, pleasure bones, but yeah. I, uh, hope that my stream has given you a bit more perspective on what can and can be done with the game. Glad you could drop by, hang out, and watch with us, buddy. But yeah, no, uh, Rifle Jog. I was really hoping to get that program actually sewed up and, you know, fully operational, but again, you know, I don't have the chops to test it out and make sure that it does exactly what it you know it it seems to do exactly what it says it does but I haven't had somebody who knows coding good enough to tell me that it's ready for wide release so I'm not about to put it out in like a semi buggy state if there are known little weird issues here and there but if we can you know if we get somebody to say like it's good enough po post the tutorial video then I'm gonna do it but until then, it's, yeah, just going to be for private use only for those that want to try it out. Because at the end of the day, the manual setup tutorial is fine enough. Because that's basically just what it's doing for you. If you had a VR headset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get right on that. 
So I'm just growing them on trees out in my backyard. Let's see actual video. That's all I do is gameplay. I can't really react because I'm can't see my reaction since I have a headset on. So best to actually just play the damn game. <laughs> How bad is falling apart? Are we good here? I think we're good here. Okay. All right. So agricultural supplies check. Bunch of ore. Check. Let's go. That's where the voice text has gotten so much. I never used it, so I wouldn't know. It's probably AI trying to figure out exactly what you're trying to say, but doing worse at it than actual algorithmic, you know, based <laughs> systems they had beforehand. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Ugh. But yeah, you want a headset, there's a headset. Beggars can't be choosers. But, yes, the shipping to Japan will probably cost you as much as a headset. So, yeah, you might as well just buy a headset. See, look, this is what I'm talking about. I refreshed my... I, I have recentered my headset and this is what I get. It's just insane. And so, yeah, I've just been constantly having to do this. See, like, what is going on here? I haven't done anything. I've just been playing like normal. Okay, let's go. Well, then go for Ferraris. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. If it's classic, if it's a car, if somebody else used it, and it's expensive. Otherwise, it's just junk. <laughs> All right, so her L2, I believe, is the course of action. All right, Pyro, Everest. From Tressler. So we need to get to Tressler at some point. Her too. Mike L1. Alright. Her too. Pyro. Mike L1. Yeah. 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 Poor Morpheus has given up playing the game on his Twitch stream. He's now talking about movies. Jesus. Hey, what's up, Tech Zero? How you doing? Must be why so many people are joining me tonight. <laughs> a lot of people have been issues with the back and being extremely slow. See or note where I can't access my personal hangar because I AFK'd on the server earlier today. Well, that just seems stupid. Have you tried to uh, reset your um, uh, Asterisk, thank you. <laughs> Have you tried to reset your PTU character by doing just a character deletion or whatever through the uh, Star Citizen settings website? <sighs> but yeah, Tech Zero, glad you could drop by and hang out. How have you been, man? Basketball, Bill Jack, but I don't want to wait this patch. I don't know what you're trying to type, but maybe you should type it. I was about to say, whatever you think you're typing, you aren't. So, <laughs> if you could just, you know, manually do it.
Come on, give me... Where's my... There we go. Faithful Dream. Here we go. How's SE going? This is going very, very good. I think the Caterpillar be better if they put a tractor beam in each segment that you can cycle through instead of the weird, awkward angle. I think it would be better if the... Instead of having, like, four single-segmented cargo things, if the front one was a double long one so it can fit 32 SU containers, and if the, there was a tractor beam mounted, you know, thing on the front two pegs. The cutlass is supposed to have tractor beams on the front of it. You could even look at the things that are attached to the wings on the sides on the bottom. They say tractor beams on them. So, the same ones are designed into the front of the uh, caterpillar. So eventually there should be a way to do it, but they don't have it yet. But yeah, the Caterpillar needs a lot of work. It should be a lot more modular than it currently is. But I think that's all going to come after the Ironclad, when they get all that design and stuff worked out. Cat needs to have working doors. It needs to have working elevators that go up and down to the doors. Right now you can't move anything into or out of it properly without the tractor beam. Alright, line it up. Come on, man. Dude. Like, why? What is going on every single time, I swear? Do these doors just not open all the way anymore? Is that the thing? It sure doesn't look like it. All right. Line the crosshair up. Think of your secretary. Got to lurk. Got some mackerel. Sounds good, buddy. C2 is a tight squeeze. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate part of the design process. It's hanger clearance and tolerance sizes. Okay, you think they would nail that one from the get-go if they're going to base everything in their universe around the physical size limitations. Why would it let me do landing gear? Alright, hang on. For fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake! As you are said, I've done way too many resets, but going to test some long-term stuff now. If you wait long enough, uh, your hangar will work again. Gotcha. Called the Drake Super Freighter eight years ago. The Fatapillar, as some people call it. But yeah, thank you so much for the lurk, Zero. I appreciate it. Okay. I think we can power off and go get our cargo cube moving. That's where that line can think of your secretary. Yep, yep. Blazing saddles. Yep. A lurk. Uh, just people. Honestly, I don't even know. But other streamers have a command that you know makes lets the people in the chat feel special whenever they say, "I want to lurk," and I'm letting you know that I'm lurking, which means they have the stream running on in the background so that I get counted for an extra viewer in the number down below, which helps me get recognized. You know, it doesn't count if you like fully mute the stream. You'll have to like mute the tab if you want to, you know, keep it running and stuff. But yeah, you can, ju you don't have to tell anybody that you're lurking. You could just leave the stream running, but that's people want to apparently let other people know that they're doing it. And then it got to a point where other streamers had a command for it that literally does nothing except thank you for lurking type shit. And so, yeah, now other people will try to exclamation mark lurk in other chats so now I have to set up a lurk command. <laughs> That's basically what the chain of reaction is for this. And yes, Vicious Beans, Blazing Sandals is the quote. Right to head office. Tell them I said ow. Right to home office. Tell them I said ow. 
Got it! Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing here? To 89 to Faithful Dream. Alright, cool. So, ideally, we could pick up something here from the mission board that goes to Pyro Gateway. Let's see what we can find. Her 2 to her L3. Everest to Tressler. Collector. Why is this mission here? This is what I would have loved. All right, we're looking for Pyro Gateway. Pyro Gateway. Collect tin from Pyro to Everest. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more chatters feel bad they ran out of shit to say, but they want to let you know they're still watching. That's the thing, too. It's the way the stream doesn't get a complex thinking they're bad content. Yeah, yeah. It, it's basically, you know, it started out as somebody, hey, I'm letting you know I'm going to leave you running and, you know, support your channel. That way, they also, what it also comes down to is, all right, I'm lurking. It's a quick way to let, uh, you know, let's say that you were previously having a conversation like me and uh, Zero, right? He lurks, I know he's lurking, he knows I know he's lurking, and that way I don't continue talking to him when he's gone, right? So if you didn't lurk, and you were holding a conversation with somebody, then you just leave and, you know, go watch something, or someone's at the door, or, you know, your house is on fire, you know? I don't know that, and I just keep talking to you, and you're not even there type of thing, so. Oh, dude, thank you, D-Laws Fleet, 1984, I appreciate it, buddy. So, so, I know you've probably already left, but don't go too hard on the co <laughs> But yeah. Uh, Alright, so... We need to get something to Pyro. Tin from Pyro back to Everest. Uh, that's worth it. Fine, we'll grab that. We're going to Everest for Pyro Gateway... So there's something we could pick up. I guess we pick up missions at Pyro at this point. Collect from Everest. Deliver to her L2. Okay. So that's back to Everest. And now we need something from Pyro to Everest, basically. And then we need something from here to Pyro. Come on, man. There's got to be. All right, I need to figure out where all the missions are. I'm trying to find something else to go to Pyro with me here. There's nothing else to go to Pyro. Ambitious Crew L1... Terra Gateway, Everest to Terra Gateway, okay. That's still not really helping us. Arc L1 to Seraphim. We're just going all over the place here. We're not we're not focusing what we need to do here. Mike L1. To Tressler. Okay, this could be done on the way to Tressler. Honestly, I guess we just go to Pyro Gateway and drop this off. I don't think we're going to find anything 
to get there on the way. So let's just go. Catch some shut-eye. Dude, thank you so much. We'll leave the tablet running. I appreciate it, Rifle Jock. Be sure to plug in the battery. Don't let it drain. <laughs> oh, no! Morning from the UK. Uh, what do you think about the new mission payouts? It's better in my eyes, but some bigger missions are still time-consuming. This is the fast way to make money anymore, but it's chilled. It's a very nice, chill way. Here's what you do. is You make a lot more money if you stack, like, five to six missions in a row. And you take, like, two or three hours to do, like, okay, I'm grabbing four or five things here. Half of those are going to go here. The other half are going to go here. But I'm starting here and grabbing stuff to go here. You know, and you just do a big, giant loops. Every place you stop, you get stuff for more things on the way. And pick up things from, you know, you, you make your own loop instead of just doing single runs. Single runs, I think you're going to waste a lot of time and money. Yes. Hey, what's up, Southtown? Uh, it's going very good. But yeah, no, I think if you pick up a bunch of missions like we're doing right now, you'll end up having a lot better time. The key is figuring out where the new flow of materials and goods are. They said on Inside Star Citizen that ideally stuff comes from local farms and mines on moons. They go to uh, distribution centers. Those go to the uh, spaceports, then spaceports down to uh, landing zones and spaceports to other spaceports and pyro slash uh, jump point gateways. So there's like a flow of materials, and once you know where things are going and who's wanting what, you know, then you can properly know what missions are available and then go pick and plan your route accordingly. So I think it's very, very good. They ever fix the Tana series, or are they keeping that kid strapped to the radiator in the basement? Uh, for right now, there's a lot of other bigger things to deal with on... There's a lot of bigger issues that CIG have on their plate than the Tana series, but a lot of ships are going to need a rework for MFDs and a gold pass eventually, so it will happen. Don't you worry. Love how this patch is all about cargo and your giveaway a mining ship. Hey, man, okay? Industrial is industrial, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, how you doing, Southtown? Glad you could drop by. Yeah, it's on charge. Normally, I'm falling asleep to Eric Rosen on YouTube, so this is a nice change of pace. Glad I can help, man. <laughs> oh, God! Wrong pedal! Wrong pedal! Wrong pedal! Don't let me yell too much. Be sure to mute me or turn me down low. <laughs> Rifle. But yeah, Southtown, how you doing today? What? Did I not call for a gate? I thought I opened that bitch. Like an hour ago. Hello there. Okay, get lined up here. Just wait for it. Vicious Beans, dude, thank you so much for the voodoo that you do, and welcome to VR Citizen. I appreciate the follow, man. I hope every... Excuse me. I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Oh, I was trying to do a big, long stream last night, but I had big runny nose issues, and uh, I'm feeling a lot better today, so we're going to be just playing a lot tonight. We're going to do a few more hours... At least two or three more hours of VR Citizen. Get to around six to eight hour streams of that. And then we're going to try to do a little bit of Into the Radius room scale VR game. If you guys haven't seen or played that, we're playing the sequel, Into the Radius 2. So, very excited to get a little bit more time in that. Aside from the gaping holes in my gums, 100%. Hell yeah, man. Well... Hope that you heal up and uh, you feel better soon. I think we're good to go out here. Oh, there's no... I did Why do I even try? Wh Why? Why? Dude, literally, like, I'm going straight backwards. I've landed straight in. How do I clip the sides? It's insane. I refuse to use a backup camera, okay? I came straight in, I could come straight out. That's what your mom said. Okay, let's go. Flip, turn, and burn. Turn that on. Okay, okay. So we are going to Pyro now. Pyro Gateway. Drop off this stuff and we'll collect something to go to wherever we need from there. Pyro Gateway. Check, check. Is 
Ugh. Okay, uh, that. Well, I'm good. Just made my dinner extremely late, but finally got some good food. Have you eaten yet? Yeah, I had a couple of hot dogs. We had some double dog earlier. We did the old, uh, the whole thing with the, the food court and whatnot. Let me get warping here, and we'll do the, uh, Twitch Prime thing as well, since we, uh, are at a good breaking point here. But yeah, no, glad to hear it. I always do veto that way. It gives you a little bit veto that way. It just gives you a little bit more room. Yeah, yeah. I really should, but I'm stuck and obstinate. You're flying the equivalent to a fat space whale. I expect it to slam into things. The doors don't open wide enough. It's not my fault. Take it on over to scooters. You could buff it out. You mean it's the scoot? Wait, is scooters? He's that guy who has that fat lady cousin, and they work over at Cousin Crow's. I met them. They're over at Orison. <laughs> I imagine Scooter works at Cousin Crow's. That's that's my head. Catch a rat. It's telling me you have unclaimed cargo when you took everything. Yes, this this one. Yeah, no, no. That everybody gets that. Don't worry. You're not alone. You're not special. <laughs> the scooter's the shake shot? Oh, wait, wait, who? Well, I thought that scooter was from... Uh, what's it called? Is it not scooter? Uh, that's from, uh, who does Catch a Ride from the Borderlands game? Or am I thinking about something else? But yeah, South Town. <clears throat> Thank you for reminding me. Uh, you guys, we gotta pay the bills sometimes, and while we're warping uh, out to the Pyro Gateway jump point, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap over to this and come over here and say a few kind words. Thank you guys so much for all the support and doing the voodoo that you do. And one of the ways that you can give that support is through Twitch Prime. I appreciate all the awesome things that you can and will do here and now and into the future. You guys are so amazing. And th again, thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. And stay safe, fly right, and y'all have a good night. Don't try to hit the skip button. I know you're, I know you're trying. <clears throat> thank you for Twitch Prime. All right, back here and then back on that. <sighs> Scooter, Scooter works out at Brio's. Oh, Brio's, gotcha. Wicked Wookie makes YouTube content at Bricks. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Gamma Quadrant? A scooter from Stanton System on Brio. Okay, gotcha. Different scooter. Gotcha. Thank you, Vicious and Tech Zero. I appreciate it. Throw your Twitch Primes at the door by the others. <laughs> I'll get them on the way out. The best scooter. Gotcha, okay. Just making sure we're on the same page with the right scooter here. Man, why do NPCs have more fun at, um, uh, at salvage yards than we do? Like, I want to be able to actually do salvage at a salvage yard, you know? But I guess we gotta wait till Pyro to do that, so... I think we can see it, you guys. Oh, wow, we can. Man, that's impressive. What's cool is that one side is generating light, it looks like. And depending on which side you come into it at... Or the sun is hitting it on one side, it feels like, yeah. And the sun's over there. Wow, that's really cool. Alright then, well, to Pyro. Let's go. Let's go to Pyro. Just the gateway. Just the, just the tip. Just the tip. We'll salvage in the salvage yard. Sad's day, I know, right? Hello there. That'll that'll be the day. That'll be the day that I die. Nice to have a fleet of NPC ships towing old wrecks, the twelve-hour-old whatever, deposit them into actual junkyard or something. Dude, yeah, I know. Like if I could literally just fly over a junkyard or have people in chat do that, I would stay at the junkyard and just salvage all day. My idea is to have, like, a floating junkyard in space, you know, 
people just come and park, you know, can come out to the yard, rent out a uh, vulture, you know, just break a whole bunch of scrap that people tow and leave. People towing in ships and leaving it, paying me for it, or I pay them for it, pay people to, you know, or I, I don't pay anybody shit. They rent, they pay me to rent out a vulture, and then they fucking, you know, I get a cut of their hourly rate on cube. And then I also have a big warehouse set up in space for the cube with like an ironclad or the Kraken where we run it all out of. Chachi's Breaker Yard. It'll be great. We'll do a lot of things with the Kraken. That'll be one of them. For now, though, here we are at Pyro Gateway. Alright, large hangar. I'm gonna drop over here. Land the stuff. We're gonna find a mission from here over to Tressler, I think. And I th think that's gonna help us get a loop to go from Tressler back over to Everest Harbor. Instead, space magic disappears. You know, you gotta... If you're designing a whole new world from scratch, you're gonna have to break some magic eggs, okay? I'll put it that way. Also, we overshot that one a little bit. Come on, man. Back, 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 back. Okay. Yeah, see, what is this shit? These doors don't open all the way. Come on, man. Forgot some other two. Look at this shit. How am I supposed to freaking... Literally, it's like a zero tolerance now with this Hercules. I feel like Galaxy Quest when they're trying to take the ship out of the hangar and it like screeches everywhere. Okay, this will be good enough. It better be. Drake for life. It agreed, agreed. I actually have a Kraken, so if you guys want to hang out and do fun stuff out of there, just stick around. Enough said. Okay. Let's get down there and let's start moving and grooving. God damn it. Don't hit the ladder, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> the worst. Okay, okay, so where are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we going? Contracts. Everest Harbor. From Everest Harbor. Okay, 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 good, good, good. I go on. All right, agricultural supplies to Pyro. Okay, agriculture. Right. Right. Poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Not even supposed to be here, crewman number six. <laughs> yeah. Just another day on the farm in space. Mm <laughs> hmm. How far can this actually go? Pretty damn far. Nice. Okay, we'll just move all of these over. Dude, everybody's gonna break their goddamn mouse wheel scroll if they're a cargo player in this game. It's gonna get ridiculous. The amount of mouse scrolling I've done in the past few days alone is probably more mouse scrolling than I've done the entire year. <laughs> like, outside of when I play Path of Exile and I swap over mouse wheel scroll to click, you know, to like do fusing orbs or something. Yeah, no, this is nothing. Okay. 
Need one of those fancy amounts that has a notice and spin. It's not that. Like, I need to just hold a button and move it forward and backwards. I tried to bind it. Look, look, look. Watch this. Stop it from scrolling. Oh, no, that's interesting. Wait a minute. Is it queuing up mouse clicks? Now, that actually might be really interesting. I've just been scrolling. Oh, God damn it. All right, so scroll, 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 a whole bunch of scrolls, and let go. It is queuing. Oh my god! Oh no, that's fantastic. Oh well, that's great. Resign mouse wheel to a button with set increments. No, 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 no. it doesn't do that because the um, look. I'll show you. I set the mouse scroll to this little forward and backward button, right? And I'm holding down forward and backwards, right? Holding down, holding forwards, holding backwards, forward, backward, forward, backwards, forward, 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 forward. You can't hold it down. You have to individually tap. It's actually receiving every single individual tap on your mouse scroll. Yes, exactly. Oof. You have to. Yeah, it's bad. I, I have it bound right there, but you literally have to tap, 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 so you might as well fucking scroll. Which is the exact same, I was saying this earlier, that's the exact same process I used to. I hit my scroll lock button, and um, uh, it turns my mouse scroll. I have a, a what do you call it, a, a thing, a script that turns, when I hit scroll locked, it turns my uh, mouse wheel into a click. So I could just scroll to click a whole bunch of times. So, same type of principle, except CIG applied that to an actual mechanic in-game. Alright, select all, move to warehouse, go. Three, two, and a one. Beautiful. Okay, done. I think we're actually supposed to drop off stuff to her L2. Collect tin at Pyro to Everest. Right, okay, cool. Let's go grab our tin. What's up, Pagan? Move it up. With the ship tractor, yeah, it's attached to a tr it's attached to a ship. Of course, it would be. Bro. Is that a server crash? Or is it these? Are these in the. Do we really need to move every single box? We do. No? Hmm. Our go tractor may actually be a mainstay. I saw someone using the, uh, the Argo cargo for its actual intended use to move stuff cargo around the deck surprised at how nimble and small it was but how big it actually is Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. God 
damn it. Come on, man. Oh, have you tried it? It's stupid fast. Oh, no, I played, messed around with um, uh, the tractor beam on a vulture. Moving 30 TSU crates into the... Hercules. Ship tractor beams are crazy. I agree. Salvage gun doesn't work. Get one IAE next go round. Yeah. Might actually be a good idea to do that for the next giveaway if we hit that mark for our subscribers for next month when the actual cargo patch drops. See, so yeah, I haven't, haven't, you know, I'm thinking ahead. I'm not going to get the patch out this month. Are you crazy? Prospector's just fine for the meantime. Oh, dude, Synth! 26 so months! Dude, this whole time! Chachi07. Dude, you've been kicking ass in the background and all that support this whole time, man. I appreciate it. How you been, buddy? Glad you could hang out. 07 to you, man. Long time no see. This is a guy I know from my old WoW guild. In, uh, not vanilla, obviously, but... The, um, uh, the good days of, uh, what you call it? Man, I, oh, I, I just moved it. I just, <gasps> I moved it. I moved it. I moved it. Okay, we moved one. Oh, I think I know. These were on top of each other. I think that's what the problem was. All right, we got it. We're good. No! No, it won't work. Oh, ah! Got it. Okay, you just gotta jiggle the handle. It's like my grandma's toilet. All right, let's get out of here. Hope you're doing well, Touchy. Dude, I am, man. As you can see, we got quite the community that we're building up around here these days. Um, uh, things have been going really, really nicely. All we gotta do is just wait for Star Citizen and CIG to, you know, get off their asses and get the proper game in a proper state. But yeah. Hope that you've been well, man. <sighs> but yeah, what have you been getting down with lately? Any cool games been uh, catching your fancy? Wow, man, these things really do not want to move. Okay, there we go. All the way back and there. All right. Next. Hello there. But yeah. Thank you so much for all the support this whole time, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think we got it fixed. We just gotta spam the button and it will work. You gotta be careful selecting it to the actual grid itself. All right. Watch out, you guys, all right? Tractor beam certified, okay. Move aside. I know what I'm doing here. Put your panties at the door in a pile with the rest of them, okay? Look out, man. It's karate, okay? Only two types of people know that. The Chinese and the king. And one of them's me. You know what I'm saying? Smack a little thing, hick a little jumbo, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are having fun. Okay. Come here, you bitch. Alright, see? We just gotta jiggle the handle. And she moves! Just like- No! Got it. Boom, look at that. Look at those skills to pay the uh, bills. I love being able to head track with this. This is just so much fun. Okay, we line it up. And then I get behind it. And then just give it up. Come on, go up, up, up. It's so heavy. All right, there we go. Then we just walk. No, too high. 
Oh, too low. Oh, that's fine. It's just a box of tin. It's not like it's med supplies like we were earlier. However, we were doing the exact same thing with the med supplies. So! <clears throat> okay. Oh. For those that are here and are new to the channel, by the way, be sure to be uh, getting tickets or uh, getting points for the giveaway. We're running a giveaway all August here for a LTI prospector from MISC. So, uh, yeah, hit the exclamation mark prize or giveaway command and uh, check out the link. Be sure to get in on that. We'll be doing it for the next couple weeks here. Probably drawing it in the first week of next month. We um, uh, get these prizes due to all the beautiful support from all you beautiful VR citizens out there. When we hit our subscriber goals, that's basically when we unlock a monthly um, uh, giveaway. And so far, we've hit our goal like four, five, six months in a row. So... Twitch Prime gift subs, anonymous donations, any and all support into the channel goes back to making it go bigger, faster, harder, stronger. So, thank you all so much. And enjoy the giveaway. And with that said, with our last bit of cube here, let's get back to Everest Harbor. And let's start finishing this cargo loop up. So we go back to Everest, pick up stuff there, drop this stuff off. And then I think we go from Everest to, like, Mike L1 at that point. Alright. Let's see where we gotta go. I feel like we have... Way too little cargo for how many contracts we have. Yeah, we have four. What's going on here? Oh, I'm supposed to pick up. Okay, so that's ten to Everest. Okay, cultural supplies from Tressler to Everest. And quartz from Everest to Faithful Dream, her L2. Collect at Everest to her L2. And collect quartz at Mike L1, delivered to Everest. So I think we go to Mike 1, get this, deliver half of it to Tressler, go back to Everest, drop all of this stuff to Everest off. Then we pick this stuff up from Everest and drop off to her L2. I think that's the play, yeah? All right, so Mike L1, Shallow Frontier. Oh, dude! Anonymous gift sub to Pose Cognac. Enjoy, buddy. Thank you so much for that, you guys. You're absolutely wonderful. Ah. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, yeah. Shallow Dream? Ambitious Dream? Shallow Dream. No. Shallow Frontier. What? Do I need to be out of the station? Oh, we can't do a route in here. That's right. Okay, let's get up to the cockpit then. Indeed. Thank you so much, man. Whoever you are, for doing the voodoo that you do. I think we're like... That puts us at like, I think, 51, 52 subs. Like eight or nine away from next month's giveaway. So, absolutely wonderful. <sighs> okay, so let's get over to Everest then, huh? Alright, straight up. Then we just go straight back, right? Like, there should be no issue at all here. Okay, time to flush my shaders and see if it helps my frame rate. Yeah, that's usually a good, easy first step. Okay, I have a feeling that I'm off, but I lined up. Hey, all right, beautiful. All right, flip, turn, and burn, and we go to Shallow Frontier. 
next. Very good, sir. Shallow front. It's a shallow front, I tell you. Ooh, wow, that's a long way. But yeah, we're going there, then there, then back to there. Then to there, I think. Something with that. Oh, dude, Kadesh! And I'm finally here. I'm finally... I was literally just thinking about going to take a quick break while we warped. <laughs> no, I'm finally here to, for the raid, man. Welcome, everybody. Where's my marker? But yeah, Kadesh, how's your uh, stream been going? Ah, there we go. Let's head out this way. Meow. Get a warp going. But yeah, dude, thank you so much. Hola to you too. What's up, Fantasy? How you guys doing? How was the uh, stream? What were you doing? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to VR Citizen. I'm the uh, resident Star Citizen VR streamer, if you didn't know or were aware. And with all that being said, let me just pop over here. And those who are just joining... Uh, 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 have you heard of Twitch Prime? Well, if so, maybe you should drop one over to Kadesh. Give him the shout out that he deserves for being such an awesome streamer. And thank you guys for doing the voodoo that you do. And thank you, Kadesh, for the raid. Stay safe, fly right. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Y'all have a good night. This message brought to you by Twitch. Amazon Prime is a subsidiary. Talk to Jesse Beville, so if you have any complaints, blah, 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 blah. Oh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Handsome, no problem, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to remember to do that whenever I get raided. If I remember. But yeah, how was your stream, man? The skip ad button doesn't work. That's a shame. You should talk to Jeff Bezos about it. Same the every day is going to bed now. Well, thank you so much for dropping everybody by, man. I'll take good care of them. I'm about to take a quick break while we're uh, warping over to Microtech. So, you guys, uh, I hope you enjoy the stream, man. We'll be here for another few more hours playing this. So, stay safe and fly right out there, uh, Kadesh. All right. Oh, but yeah, BRB, one sec. It was beautiful teaching friends about 324. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, there's a lot of new ins and outs with the game, for sure. The entire gameplay flow has changed. For the better now that they got rid of the drawers and the kiosks give us the old menu. I'm really, really happy about where we're at. But yeah, later, buddy. Get some sleep. Get a good rest. I'll take care of everybody, but real quick, I gotta take care of myself. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. BRB.
Whew. Ah, perfect timing. <clears throat> Let's see here. If they make a Tarkov style where you drag it onto a body. Well, they already have that. The current inventory system and the old one both have the paper doll. It's just how quickly did you access the paper doll. And beforehand, you hit I. The new system, they wanted us to go up to a terminal, then put it into a drawer. Then we would be where we were at by hitting I. Now we just go up to a terminal, and we're at where we hit I before. So... Good compromise. <coughs> but <coughs> Peaky Toka. For the PTU, get the data.pk from your PU folder and then copy it over to your PTU folder and then re verify and it'll download what's missing. Quickest and easiest way. Or cut if you don't have enough actual hard drive space instead of copying. But yeah, welcome everybody. I hope you guys are having a good night. Evening, day, afternoon, whatever. Folder is called PTU. So what you should do, Peaky, is if you don't have a PTU folder in your Star Citizen directory, uh, go ahead and download, like start the download process for the new game, right? And it should create the directory. From there, stop it, pause it, copy the data.pk, it should be like the 120 gig or 100 gig file or zip drive that is in your Star Citizen PU folder. You move that, you know what, I'm just, I'll show you right here. Call for landing while we break down, escape. All right, this is what you should do. Yes, yes, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so screenshots. All right, so Star Citizen. Shut up. Uh, okay. Get rid of this. Okay, so you have your live folder, right? You go to data. No, not data. It is... Bin64? No. Ah, yeah, okay, here it is. Data.p4k, right here. This 110 gig file right here. You just copy it, okay? Or you copy it, okay? Or cut it, okay? Then you go to Star Citizen, and there should be a PTU folder, and you just paste it to here. And then you update it, and when you verify it through the launcher, it'll download all the missing files. That's all you need to do is just have a PTU folder. Name it PTU and copy it over, and then it'll get, do the rest.
Okay. But yeah, that should help you out. Okay, where is our hangar? There are a lot of different controls, or I could have just copy and pasted the current ones. Changes. Um, not really changes. You can copy and paste them, but they won't work. You'll have to, if you have a whole bunch of stuff like I do, you're going to have to save it to a profile, move that profile over, and then upload that profile. But here's the problem with the loading and uploading, right? It's better to use the console commands that you can Google and stuff to do this. Oh, uh, let's see here. So, save. Okay, so, you go... No, 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 no. Go to con key bindings, keyboard, mouse, all the way to host, toss, advanced customization, controller profiles. You could save your settings, right? But when you want to bind them, right? When you're uploading them, because I have, like, uh, VR right here. Or no, wait. I have, like, yeah, VR citizen and stuff. Whenever I pull them up, it'll be like mouse to mouse, keyboard to keyboard, joystick one to joystick one, joystick two to joystick two, joystick three to joystick four, five to five. So you have to know exactly which number each joystick is, unless you actually do it through the console, in which case it'll s pull all of the numbers from the actual f file itself, it, or some sort of different way than you do it through the menus, because the menus is garbage. So that's basically what, how I'll explain that for now. So yeah, just Google uh, Star Citizen Console Command Keybind Saving, and that should take you to a link from RSI's website on how to do it officially. And there'll be a whole bunch of commands that you can use to uh, help you save it to a thing and then use that to import. A lot better than the actual internal menus, which are difficult to figure out and use. It wouldn't be so bad if it said, you know, like, left Omni, right Omni, left throttle for X52, right for, you know, whatever, but it just says 1, 2, 3, 4, and you have no clue which freaking number your joysticks are unless you wrote them down or saved them. And even then, those can flop and switch on a whim because they're based off of the Windows ID, not the hardware ID. So... You bind keys found it. Yep, that's right. You in between the uh, brackets, you set it to like you know my v, my Star Citizen keybinds. Then you would copy that name whenever you export them. Dude, why can't these door open? What's going on, man? There she blows. All right, brilliant. Very good. Okay. Uh, that, yeah, let's go, let's go. Don't get on the ladder. And walk backwards. Dunk. All right, cool. Okay, okay, so, uh, just, oh no, elevator down, and, once it's down there, drag, 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 
up. Beautiful. Verify files. So through the launcher, there's a hit the cog. There should be like a settings wheel cog on the launcher. That should get you. All right. You know what? I have a feeling this might take too long. I think we'll get onto the ship and load. some issues pretty soon. A lot of this is all going to the same place, though, but I think we're gonna just stack all of our... Oof, it won't fit there, huh? Where will it start? Right there? Okay, quartz will go right there, then. Okay, let's grab it. Let's get to work. Can I... Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, I like it raw. Tum tilly o tilly a tilly o. Wait, what is it? Tum tilly o tilly a tilly a. Give me the mic so I can take it away. <laughs> Be cooler if we got a flatbed loader platform you can fill, and that platform goes into the ship. Um, they have dedicated-ish towing mini things like the SRV. No, the SRV is like a big tow. They have the Argo cargo, which is meant to move 32 SU crates around carging, you know, docking bays, and has a tractor beam built onto it. I use the uh, tractor beam built onto the Vulture, and it works quite nicely. So yeah. Any small ship with a tractor beam, it's going to be your go-to. If there's something like a small, you know, uh, what is it, like, 100i profile ship that has a cargo beam on the front, that's going to be the winner. Hell, if the um, Fury had a cargo tractor beam, that thing would be incredible. Hello there. Vulture has a me. Yeah, built into it on the left side. It's the one of the two different um, uh, attachments you can cycle through that stock on the left. The right one has both different types of uh, salvage heads. Simi, simi, yay, simi, yay, simi, yay. Ah, give me the mic so I could take it away. <laughs> I sent my- you know what, Pagan? You're gonna like this, then. Hang on, I'm gonna put this there. I'm gonna pull up something that I showed my friend. Bring this up, I gotta make sure the routing is correct here. Headphones and line out. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, let me, it's on Discord here. Okay, snacks. Just gotta scroll up here. Get rid of that, that, that. Hang on, I'm trying to find it. I sent it to my friend. Where is this? What? Hang on. Hang on, hang on.
What? Where? Hang on, I had this really, really funny video. I guess it's further up in my conversation with this guy. Hang on, I will find it at this point. I'm... Oh, here it is. I got it. Right here. <laughs> Alright, Pagan, here you go. Uh. Yeah, I like it raw. It's so good. Norman Bates. It's so good. I like it raw. He does a little pelvic thrust, watch. Maybe I like it raw. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. I'm going to post that in the music on the Discord channel. <laughs> That, I was looking for that. That's what I was looking for. This is the GoXLR mixer program that works with my GoXLR mixer. So, routes audio to and from where I want to. All right, here, yeah, I'll put that on the Discord. It's in the music section. I thought you would like that. Hello boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> from what is that? That is from Thundercats. That's Thundercats, right? Yeah, that's Mumra, right? I think so. I believe Thundercats. Need to update the new launcher for verifying. Uh, old one is grayed out. Uh, try that audio routine pro program, which was it. It's not a program. You have to buy the Go XLR in order to use it. It hooks in, it literally is Mike is mimicking my Go XLR panel. So, uh, you have to spend $600 to even have it work. You can't just, you wish you could just use the Go XLR software and route audio. The, the program, when I plug this thing in with the USB plug to a computer, it detects, uh, it basically installs the software and the software creates six different audio channels on your computer that you then set up like, you know, literally I want this, that, and that, you know, it is like system, game, volume, you know, for outgoing and all this stuff like that. And it's literally all right here, right? Let me show you. Let's see here. Uh, right click on that sounds. Okay. So this creates Literally, chat, game, music, sample, system, right? And system is everything that's, you know, normally used, right? That you want your default audios, your game, and all that crap like that, right? Then, you can literally set individual things like my music, okay? I want, I go to the settings through this, or through Windows itself, right? I hit Windows, <coughs> sound, yo. Windows, sound, setting, sound mixer options, okay? And you could go through here, right? And on this, like for, let's say, uh, Discord or Google Chrome, I have Google Chrome sent to sampler, right? Okay, you could use a mixture of this, this, and then this, basically. So when I'm playing a game, it's coming out on sampler. And line out is what you guys hear on the stream. My music is being played into a broadcast mix, and so it's going to a different channel, which is why the music doesn't show up on my VODs. But you guys can hear it, I can hear it on my headphones. And so, like, I have all these different things that let me set where I want to route my audio to and from different computers 
all plugged into one device. So. Mumra, the ever living. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Software, but it's a pain in the ass to config. Yep, yep. Going with that show, heard that in his voice. <laughs> voice meter. I was about to say, it's the same as voice meter, but voice meter, obviously, um, uh, it doesn't do it as easily as I showed you, and as neat as a visual package. You can get the same results in voice meter, as you probably know, but yes, you're right, it's a lot more pain in the ass to set it up. Feeling we are not gonna make it here. The amount of cargo room we're gonna need. I think we're gonna actually have to do this here. Oh, I don't think that's actually over enough. It's not. Nope. God damn it. Okay. Carefully. This one goes back. One. This one goes up. Dude, come on, man. There's got to be room for you up there. Okay, now this one over to here. Jesus titty fucking Christ. Okay. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> really needs to clean your eye. It is pretty good for a free program, I agree. So I've seen Thundercats. Yeah, didn't they have like uh, some sort of newer Netflix series? Or was that He Man? Was that he woman? <laughs> she Ra, she woman. I don't know. No, I think that's what it, it was. She Ra. Right? There's some sort of thing, some sort of continuation of a series from the '80s. Thundercats did have a recent one, but I believe they canceled it. Ah, okay, okay. Heck yeah. Well, good to know. Yeah, I heard that it, I heard nothing but good things about it. Unfortunate, but hey, at least I can catch up on it quickly since there won't be a billion seasons. Anyways. Uh, they had like what? Two or three at least, yeah? She-Raw reboot. Okay, okay, that's what it was. Ah, oh, the continuation, that's right. But that wasn't an 80s cartoon. That was a night that was my cartoon from the 90s. It's my childhood. I was born in 88, so yeah. And I hear nothing but amazing things from the new X-Men cartoon that it's really, really damn good. 
And yes, it literally left off right off where the uh, old series ended, so that's also pretty nice. Well, apparently, um, uh, you should check out the new X-Men, because it's just like the old X-Men. <laughs> Okay, we finish out this loop and we'll see what time it is and we're probably going to swap over to doing a bit of Into the Radius 2. See if we can get a couple of missions on that tonight. The Thundercats uh, reboot was done in 2011 and in 2012. One season. Oh, that's a shame. They remake Voltron while we were at it. <laughs> well, at least it's better than cartoons from like the 50s and the 60s. You have Hanna-Barbera who's like, let's make the same character but 50 different ways and times. <laughs> uh, you need one of those Argo loaders. Uh, I don't think you can get an Argo loader deep inside of a ship like an actual hand loading. Rifle could, but yes, I definitely need it to move stuff from the elevator to the middle of the bay in front of the actual, you know, ramp. Okay, boom, everything is nice and tucked away and separated into little chunks. Put the rest of this over here, and then we'll get moving. Voltron is done. They finished that a few years ago. DreamWorks did their take on it. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Never say never in Hollywood. Look at the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Come back with news. Only the newer launcher can do the verify the game. So, oh, I was about to say, do you not have the, the um, uh, wait, the old launcher should be able to. I just don't remember how you did it. It's in the menu somewhere deep in there. But now I believe, yes, it is. No, actually, it might not have been. I don't know. Oh, it's grayed out. Okay, then yes. Interesting. Yes, you did say that. Okay, I get you now. I fully comprehend what you are Discussing and telling me. Okay, that's really interesting, huh? Any reason to keep the old launcher? Eh, I don't know. Aesthetics? Maybe. The new launcher is actually pretty nice. I like it. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, how much food? And yeah, we're good. Food and water. Let's roll. Oh, all right. I think we're working from here to Tressler at this point. Yeah, that's the next stop. Current year UI. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mothy? How you doing, man? <sighs> Glad you could drop by and hang out. What have you been up to? Alright. Launch, elevator, door. I'm okay. Glad to hear it, man. Currently, we're getting by in a house. Went to Ikea, dropped enough money to start my VR journey there. <laughs> yep. Yep. Being a potato. Well, glad you could just lounge around with us, man. We're just doing uh, looping cargo missions, going from place to place. We've got four or five different locations worth of missions in our hangar, or in our cargo bay right now. <sighs> but yeah. 
You've been enjoying the PTU. You've been playing it much? Are you waiting for it to go live? Okay. So we gotta get to Tressler, I think, is the plan. Yeah, Shallow Frontiers to Tressler is the play. Be able to stack the boxes on the hangar and then just swoop in with the C2 and scoop them all up. PTU is installed. Hell yeah, man. Glad to hear it. All right, we are on the way. We're going to grab what we need to grab at Tressler. I'm going to take a quick break, go grab me a milkshake. And we're going to just keep rolling for another hour or two, I think. Largest hangar size? Uh, large. I don't have an extra large. I should have an extra large, but I spawn on Microtech. Microtech doesn't actually have an extra large hangar, it seems. But the ones at Orison and Area 18 and Lorville are extremely, extremely big, I hear. Too big for my taste, I think. Until I get my Kraken. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I own the Kraken, but since I spawn at Microtech, I only have just the regular large hangar, not the extra. Is going on? Where is this taking me? Why am I... Alright, whatever. Happy with a medium size. That's what she said. That's what you wish you said. Anyways... They assigned it to fit the C1. Yes, for sure, for sure. I know there are a lot of more people that are a lot more comfortable with the thresholds they gave. Where the... Okay, there it is. On the dark side. All right, looks like we'll get looks like we'll be getting that milkshake a little bit earlier. Boy, that's a hard lock, isn't it, huh? Both my monitors doing something. Uh, yeah, no, we're just visually locked. All right, I gotta reset the. Comp oh, wow, you guys can see something. I can see that. Click. Task manager. That's really interesting. Wow, I can see it on my streaming computer, but I got nothing visually on my monitors. All right, we're just going to reset the computer.
All right, perfect. <laughs> All right, BRB, one sec, folks. All right, cool. Yeah, that's going to restart. Then uh, we'll just get going again. I think we might lose all of our cargo missions. And if that's the case, I think we're going to swap over to Into the Radius early. So, hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, restarting, we'll just let that go. I'm going to go get me a milkshake. BRB. Anytime there's fireworks in Star Citizen, get footage. Either you dancing in the cargo bay, or you doing flybys, or you just standing and looking at it from a port. Like, where have you been? Give me footage, I'll go again. All right, thank goodness. Everything's back. Let's see if we can get in there and still keep our missions up. If we've got our missions up, we'll try to finish them. Oh. Hello. Delicious milkshake. Oh my gosh, dude, thank you so much for the raid. Just drinking a milkshake. 
<laughs> we were drinking a milkshake while we were uh, getting launching. We just had to restart the computer. Had a hard crash. Thank you so much, Pyrocentric. One sec here. Launching the game. Let me hop in the chair. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, yeah. That's delicious. All right. Dude, welcome, everybody. You guys be sure to go check them out. One sec here. Okay. Oh. All righty, all righty. Heck yeah. Can you guys hear me? Brilliant. Well, let me just take the time to uh, drop out of my busy schedule and say thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. Welcome to VR Citizen, and if you guys haven't given a follow to Pyrotechnic, be sure to do so. If you guys got a Twitch Prime, drop one his way when you got the time. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. Stay safe, fly right, and y'all have a good night. This message is brought to you by Twitch. Twitch Prime, you guys have a good one. Welcome, welcome, okay. Yeah, how's everybody? We just had a hard lock here. So we're just getting everything back up and running, hopefully. Oh dude, we're still in there. We still have our missions, you guys, hell yeah. Welcome. Uh, told the chat, you're the VR citizen, indeed. Indeed, we spend all of our time in VR. I mean, we have the setup for it, I literally don't even have monitors here, so I can't play it in, I can't play it not in VR. So yeah, it doesn't work at my desktop. <laughs> Hello there. Dude, thank you so much for the raid, man. How was your stream? What have you been doing all day? How was the PTU for you as well? I will show you guys <clears throat> how well the game works in VR as soon as we can hop in. Interesting. Let me uh, sort out my head tracking. Been having some weird head tracking with this patch. Okay. That seems to be good. Back into that. Back that. Hit that. And then I'll give you guys what I see. Welcome. Oh, let's see here. It was good, and no one was in PU, because new citizens were in the verse and was doing HRTs to level up my rep. Now you're net via HRTs. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I got all the way to ERTs a while back, and thank God they let us keep the reputation. Oh my gosh, it would have been awful if I had to regrind that. Now here it's even worse now, or at least it's really, really bad for, like, FPS grinding. Like, my lordy. Yeah, welcome, everybody. This is a VR citizen. As you can see, it works perfectly a lot better than you would expect uh, in VR we're doing cargo right now so you're about to see me do FPS stuff loading and unloading with a multi-tool with head tracking and FPS controls so particularly interesting if that oh, look at all this there's so many freaking markers I don't want or need any of those okay let's get to the fight deck on our large hangar but yeah congrats on getting to VHRTs man hell yeah dude oh lord oh man it's about to say that's a little bit too much I think I had my uh, what do you call autopilot still engaged there? All right. Okay, straight in. Straight as an arrow. I 
Thank you, your secretary. All right. It's fun, and I should have done them a while back, but it's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you're enjoying it. There's a lot of things to do and enjoy in the verse, so... Okay, okay, that's good. I need to... There we go. Alright, thing. Bing, bang, boom, hamburger time. Let's run. Okay, so for those that aren't aware, this is what it all looks like. I'm going to use FPS controls. So, I have my mouse, which works like normal. I have my head tracking, which works as you'd expect. And then I can do both at the same time, separately. So I can literally, like, aim down sight and then look left, right. I can move my head up, down, left, right on the rifle a little bit, you know. And my mouse aims completely separate outside of all of that. So it's actually pretty damn good. Bit laggy, but it's a uh, free fly. Oh, it's about to say, yeah, it is free fly. So it's a sweet 16 free fly, isn't it? It's even worse. Ugh, 16 years. Look, sweet 16 from concept, I think. Anyways. Alright, uh, let's see here. Drop the elevator down. I'm pretty sure we're just picking up cargo here. We don't have anything to drop off. All of it's going to, like, Everest. Agricultural supplies. Check, check. Move up. Got to experience new features due to the Sweet 16 free fly. <laughs> Jesus. New features that the game hasn't even... The game's not even out yet. We're having our... We're celebrating our Swix, Sweet 16. Dude, come on, man. Click. Uh, all right, there we go. Oh, dude, what the hell? Dude! Stop. Oh, I'm using my mouse scroll, and I have it turned off. Scroll lock, which was activating my script, which I was bragging about earlier, which basically clicks my mouse button a whole bunch. I have a script that I could turn on and off, which uh, lets me scroll my mouse wheel and gives a bunch of clicks. For uh, spamming whenever I need to. So yeah, that's why that wasn't working. <sighs> but yeah. So this is what I've been doing. This is what I've been doing all night. Just a uh, bit of cargo. <sighs> I, I dig it. The new missions are very fun. We basically have loaded up on. Yeah, we have like four or five different missions that we're doing right now. We're going from place to place. We're grabbing bits and bobs here. A whole bunch of stuff there. You know. Getting it all loaded up, and then we're delivering it to different places as we come and go. So, yeah, I love it. The next big stop, if we can make it to Everest Harbor, I think all of this shit is being dropped off there. I think some of it here, we're at Tressler. I need to double check my missions. There might be some loads that I need to drop off here at Tressler. Let us check. Let us pray. We will watch and pray. Uh, Everest Harbor. Everest Harbor. Uh, her L2 from Everest Harbor. And then deliver 48 of quartz to Tressler. Okay, so we got to drop off half of the quartz to Tressler. 48. Huh? That's 10. This is the 48? Yeah, this is the quartz back here, yeah? Quartz raw. Okay, so 48. 48 to this location. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody, do the dinosaur. All right, let's boogie. <laughs> Why don't you land the ship close to the cargo elevator? Sometimes, uh, the Hercules, like, it's so big, it, like, 
hit its hitbox overlaps with the cargo elevator and it'll tell me to move the fucking ship because it's too close even though I'm a mile away. So I just get it in the middle of the pad and I don't have any issues. Alright, how many did we need? Do we need 48? Forty-eight track to Tressler. Forty-eight to Tressler. Okay, so eight. That'd be, what, six of these boxes? Each of these boxes is eight, so that's eight, sixteen, four is thirty-two, five would be four. So yeah, six of these boxes. Let's roll. Uh, hit ex just hit exclamation mark prize or giveaway. Go directly to the website. You can hit, uh, figure out how many points you have and then just buy tickets directly. Uh, the fucking thing, the commands never work. I, I don't know why, but they refuse to work properly for anybody. I think if you, uh, you can't, what I seem to have figured out is that you can't buy max tickets if you've already entered the giveaway, I think. What we possibly pinned it down to. You can only enter max tickets if it's your first time entering. Then it'll dump all your points for tickets. Get that quartz raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Give me the mic so I can take it away. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. This would be... I think we need one more. There you go. Okay, make sure we don't have too much here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam, baby. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Deliver courts to Tressler, 48 SCU. Is this the wrong quartz? Do I have to get a specific type of quartz? Surely not. Hang on, let's go check. Like, did I have the wrong quartz pile that I grabbed from? I have 48 quartz here, though. It shouldn't matter, I wouldn't think. Quartz raw. Quartz raw. Okay, yeah, quartz is quartz. Is quartz. Alright, let's just try it. Let's just shove this quartz down this cargo elevator's throat here and see what happens. <laughs> and I pulled out my gun! Item. Alright, you know what? Select all. Move to warehouse. Drop it. Freight item validation, please retry. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know why. I think the front spot is stupid and we need to move it off. So get stuff further back on the pad here. It might help it. Need to restack? Yeah, we'll see here if that fixes it. If not, I'll restack to the back corner. Blocking the kiosk. Oh, here we go. Quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all of these are no good. 
Remove the items. Huh. Some is raw and some is not. Wait, what? Deliver quartz. Wait. No, I got them all from the same spot. They should all be raw. That's raw. 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 Yeah, that's all raw. My, the only thing I can think of is that it's like the wrong boxes. We're gonna test this here by moving them all over. Just really quickly, we're gonna just put them right here for now. We're gonna grab the ones in the middle of the ship and see if those ones work with this pad. Oh god. Ah, uh, shh. Nuts. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, okay. Um, no, no, no. Be cool, be cool. Be like Fonzie. What is Fonzie like? Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> uh, this is your life. It is now. Wonderful. Great. Can I just move myself forward with this? <laughs> Getting Idris flashbacks, Chachi, a little bit here. We can move it though. All right, let's just get it on the cargo ship then. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Why am I all slow? Walking all slow. Did I break my legs? No. Hmm. My run speed is slow. We're literally faster when we crouch. Alright, whatever. <sighs> okay, this kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Alright, I know a way to get around this here. As if we just relaunch the game after we crash it manually by going through the task manager. We'll still keep our missions up. So we'll do that. Ready, go.
Hello there. All right, perfect. <sighs> All right, brilliant, brilliant. Did I leave my phone in the other room? No. It's right here. Cool. 2.30. All right. We'll go for another hour and a half, a couple of hours, and then I'm going to swap over to some Into the Radius, I think. Ideally, that's what we do. <clears throat> That'll get us to around 4 a.m. or so. Okay. Huh. I still can't move fast. This is kind of shitty. Why is my heartbeat so high? And my water is getting really, really low too. Hang on, hang on. Okay, my heartbeat goes up. My heartbeat, my heartbeat skyrockets when I walk. What the hell, man? All right, something is definitely very wrong. We're gonna try to kill ourselves and get to a. Um, let's see here. Where are we? We're at Tressler. So yeah, we need to get all the way to a med bay here. I think it's faster to crawl. Indeed it is. All right, we're just going to crawl there. Uh, not sure what's going on, but we'll try to fix it by killing ourselves after we set a respawn point here. All right, the thing that I'd like to try and test is if we can move the quartz from the middle of the ship into the elevator. If that fixes that problem, then we know that we grabbed the wrong cubes for the, from the different mission. And that quartz isn't quartz. Unless... Yeah, it says quartz to Everest Harbor and quartz to Tressler. Pretty sure they both say raw on the side. I don't think they're refined. I don't think it's looking for refined. We'll find out in a sec. Either way, I gotta just, uh, huddle my way over there. Oh, is it this again? Dude, the med gun bug, no! Great. All right, we might have some big problems here. Hello there. 
Okay. You know what? I wonder if actually hitting the med bay fixes this. Or if we'll need to actually respawn ourselves. We'll see if we can do this. Boy, that sure is annoying. Let's get to room five. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that I just pulled it out, okay? Okay, room number five. Don't worry, we'll fix this. Alright, you know, I had it, I pulled it out, and I used it. Just like I did when I met your mom. Alright. <clears throat> Let's... Where's room five? Down over here. I'm gonna turn this down. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Everything about this sucks. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four. One, two. Should be... Three, four. Oh, five is at the very end. Okay, okay. Okay. Want to see what's dumb about uh, VR in the med beds? Medical care. Um. No injury detected. Okay. Damn. So this doesn't help me then. I can't redo anything if there's no. All right. Then we just gotta save ourselves and kill ourselves then. And we still don't have run speed active. Okay, you know what? We're just done with that. All right, let's get to the spawner. Transfer, check, and die. God damn it, it's still not going away. Pagan, is there any other way to get rid of this bug? Also, we still can't walk properly. God damn it. I think we might just be screwed here. We might have to give up. Go all the way back out. <clears throat> reset our character, and that means we'll lose our missions as well. So if that's the case, then I think at this point... We're probably going to try a little bit of Into the Radius. I think I've tested enough for tonight. We've got seven hours in the PU. <clears throat> so I think this is where we'll... Let me see if we can go in and out really quickly. See if that fixes it. If we can get back in and keep our missions, I'll try to finish out what we have. I at least want to find out if we can move the quartz from the middle of the ship and get it to accept in this terminal here. Or Star Citizen could just crash when going to the main mid- Oh, there we go. So you just gotta complain about it, then it'll work. Okay, let's see if we can get back in there. And indeed, it lets us swap our servers. I don't think we're gonna get back in there. Just avoid all- I never even knew about it. Didn't know there was something to avoid. Never had that hit me before until tonight. Alright, we'll see if we're still in the same server. If we're still in the same server, we got our cargo, then we're gonna try again, or keep going. If not, then I think we're gonna just swap over and do some Into the Radius 2. And if you guys haven't seen Into the Radius 2, or this first one, the sequel is just as good, if not better. Do some proper, actual VR games for a little bit. And then, yeah, we'll do that for a while, while my uh, batteries on my controllers drop down, and... Uh, 
then yeah. Probably do maybe a bit of Path of Exile and then head to bed. Tomorrow, or tonight, it's already 2, 3 a.m. for me, but later tonight, it's Sunday today already, uh, we're going to be doing the last episode of our Baldur's Gate 3 run, uh, finishing out Act 2. Uh, one of my co-op buddies is going to be visiting family, opening a restaurant, and be busy for the next couple of months, so we're probably not going to be able to get to that for a while. So if that suits your fancy, then check me out later here uh, this evening. Contract accepted. Media. Oh, shit. No way. No way. Oh, no, wait. I think that's just saying that it has failed. Accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just history now, and they are abandoned. We have a good amount of them that are completed. No, most of them are abandoned. Okay. <laughs> And also, my run bug has not fixed itself, so I don't have the ability to run anymore. So this has become uh, a big problem I'll have to reset the character to fix. If I can't run around, then I'm done playing. <laughs> like, if I'm walking everywhere, this is, this is officially the worst game ever. Also, look, 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 my heart rate goes up to a million whenever I just walk. Look at that. Looks like 190 just walking. Okay, something's wrong after I fucked around with that cargo. Alright, well, this thus ends the PTU testing portion of VR Citizen, you guys. Uh, thank you for dropping by, hanging out, coming along, and doing the voodoo that you do. I appreciate all of the support, all the uh, subs and uh, primes and bits, donations and whatnot. Um, yeah, you guys are amazing. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, with that being said, we're going to swap over to some Into the Radius 2. I uh, highly recommend you guys at least stick around for a little bit and watch some of that. See if uh, it suits your fancy. Proper actual VR game. With an inventory system so good that other games have copied it. Alright, disable four packs, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for doing the voodoo that you do. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Y'all stay safe and fly right. <clears throat> Y'all have a good night. Let's go to this screen. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I need to swap over to VR. <clears throat> so we do that. Going to change the name of the screen here, or stream. So full VR, I'll need to move the table. Hello there. Okay, change it to into the radius 2. VR boob. Okay, okay. So, let's see here. Uh, let's do into the radius two. Oh, wow, there's 200 people. Oh, no one's streaming it, just followers. Damn. Okay, now, I'm going to move some furniture around, and then we're going to get going here. Uh, you guys just sit tight.
Alrighty, everybody. Are we ready for some Into the Radius? This is basically like VR Stalker. And yeah, cheap Peaky Toka. Glad I can help, by the way. What the hell, man? Give me my thing. Okay, okay. Need to button my gloves before I forget. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna get that rolling. Okay, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Welcome, everybody. Let me do one more thing here. So I need to do actually two more things. Ah, wait, hang on. Exit game. Okay, so first of all, swap that over to system, save, check, and then live. Chat, position. Head. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's with the gloves. Uh, I sweat, uh, which wouldn't be a big deal if there wasn't button grips that are flush with the actual controller. So the sweat will pour into them and then it will cause it to grip permanently all the time when I'm not touching it. So the sweat just helps me not grip all the time, basically. I actually, it's too much grip if you think about it. I think this is good. I think I just hit that. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get rolling into the radius. Alright, you guys are gonna like this if you've never seen a proper VR game before. Johnny has 108 hours into this. Jesus, Johnny! No, 108 minutes. Okay, okay. Jesus, Johnny! Why aren't you in there more? Okay, let's get straight in. Hopefully, if we make good time, we'll be able to get to rank two and use rifles. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right. I think I have all my stuff in my uh, thingy. Let's go, let's go. Uh -oh. All right, so, welcome, wait, whoa. No. Oh, that's, okay, yeah, welcome to Into the Radius, everybody. So, you basically play Stalker, but in VR. Hang on. I know it opened, but let's get our rig. Make sure we have everything. All right, flashlight, check. Lighter, check. Okay, two mags, Makarov. Okay, extra mag in there, safety off. Laser pointer on, check. Okay, shotgun loaded with, I think we got buckshot. Right, right? Okay, so, let's see here. Stims, check. We have four buckshot shells, 30 rounds, 30 rounds. Extra stims. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Turn here. Okay, now that's equipped, it will hold. Okay, blue, three blue, one green, two red. Extra rounds. 
So let's see here. Okay. I think we need to, yeah, that's all trash, right? Yeah, those are all trash in the corner here. So we could throw that out later. And then we have a 30 round box, 30 round box for pistol ammo, 15 for slugs, crackers, num, Siggy. All right. Okay, okay. Four shells on the right, 15 in the box, two in the chamber. Two mags, eight each, eight in the gun, stems. All right, let's get going, shall we? Okay, so where are we heading first? I think we need to go. Back to the forest and finish that out. Let's see here, we need to place a sensor in the forest. No. Check the last sensor. Okay, okay. Delivery. Find the container with that. Artifact hunt on the peninsula. Progress on the forest. We need a torque cube, wrench, and a tin can. I think we found a bits of those. We put them in the other room. Okay, forest, eh? Peninsula we have two. Forest we have two. Alright, let's just go to the forest. Let's ride. Save. In base save, let's go. Dude, what the hell, man? Wow, that's pretty annoying. Okay, I can't drop my hand all the way. Like, wherever I point this is wherever I go, which is decent. It's better than wherever I look with my head. But I just gotta remember to keep this hand, like, up here. Okay, mag mag. Alright then, so we're going to the forest there. Yeah, I need a good long session, also need to get better at aiming. Well, that's gonna be a whole other problem for some people. More so than others. Is there anything actually here? I wouldn't think so, I would've found it earlier. Okay then, at this point... We just head down the road to the left, yeah? Get to the last sensor point. Okay, well... Let's get going, just down the road, yeah? Electrical. Alright, in, in level save, let's motor. Alright, we should have cleared most of this place out. So I think it should be relatively safe all the way up until the point. Also, relatively loot-free as well. So, if you guys have ever played a Stalker game, the name of the game is finding artifacts, going through anomaly fields, making money, buying better... Find better loot and fighting dudes. What the hell?
dude. Okay. So I said, can I rack a slide, please? If I actually... Dude. Okay, safety. Pull, dude. I need to rack the slide. Bro, why won't it rack the slide? Yes, just give me a sec. It's really being twitched tonight. Ah, okay, there we go. All right, safety off. Okay, and then use my laser pointer. Got him. Okay. Whew. Everything's fine. All right. God damn it. Reload. Okay. Rack the slide. I need to. There we go. All right. Cool. Oh, all right. Getting getting a little bit rusty, but we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Let's keep moving. We need to go up this road and then to the left. I think way after the bridge here. Yeah, okay, keep moving. Okay, just another day in the zone. Wow, it actually detects where my trigger is. Impressive. Okay, we're gonna pull up to right here. Drop a save. Okay, so left down the road. Oh, that's right, it's that one place that we didn't actually assault yet. Should in theory be like right over here. Indeed, I see some dudes. Oh shit. There's skitterers all over the place back there. I see them running around. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, one bullet left in there, but we don't have to rack the slide. Oh, oh, he moved. Son of a bitch. I think I hit him twice. Three out of eight, five left. I see those skitters over there. Here it comes. Yep, 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 yep. Wait for it. Oh, fuck me. We got problems. Gotta go. Go around the other side then. This will give us a chance to uh, reload. Okay. 
Oh, thank God. I was like, I lost a clip. Okay, okay. No, 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 no! Holster. Holster, okay. Save it. Oh, fuck me. Well, we gotta commit now. Oh, fuck, they're coming. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go! Empty, almost. Get the box a shot. Do save number three. Okay, then. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. 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 Okay. Keep topped off, keep topped off, stay cool. That's trash now. Dude, we actually haven't taken any hits yet, surprisingly. So, I'm actually good on stems. Alright. Save three. I like that. I like that. Good position so far. Right eye for right hand. Oh, no, we didn't get him. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, man. Can't believe that didn't hit him. No, wait. Okay, let's try to go around then.
Oh, he's covering me from the forest. I can't really... Got him. Whew. Nope. No. Hello there. No, where's my box of shells? Did I leave it on the ground? I did. Come on, man. Okay. Oh, this is decent enough. Save it. No, what the? Are you fucking kidding me? Are they gonna flank me? I can hear them moving. You guys hear that, right? Come on, man. These barely hit them. I need to get like slugs. That's what I need. Also, I need to make sure to drop into my box. Okay, well, let's just try to move up then and hit them. There's nothing better we could do than just try to insult it. Shots here. Got him. I'm left handed. <laughs> okay, let's reload everything. Almost there. We need to clear, clear out a couple more dudes. Then we got the objective and we're scot-free. There's one other thing we need to find here, but it's objects. We could technically get that whenever we come here. All right, save three. They're in the house, aren't they? Holy fuck, I don't like that.
Crow. There's another one there. Oh my gosh. I think I missed that shot. <sighs> Probably need to right hand shotgun aim when I'm just doing something like that. Okay. Oh shit, they know I'm here. Yeah, they're definitely inside the house there. Get in the house from here? I don't think so. I have to go around. Yeah. I had to see if that would work. Uh oh. It's my box of shells. Ah. Someone's coming. Okay. Any loot in here before we head out? Some right there. Ooh, that's a toy can I think we need. Perfect. Okay, what do we got? Here I come. Let's uh let's work quick, shall we? Step out. Oh, having some Bailey's Irish scream. Nice. I'm about to have to piss my pants myself here. Well, they're definitely surrounded us. Step out. Oh, that son of a bitch. She's in the room with me. Hang on. Now that I know that, not about to let that slide. I hate you too. Oh. I don't get it. Oh, you're about to. Okay. Oop. Well, that's one way. Just get a cat. You're hearing shorts reels. Oh, really? Hello there. Feel much better left handed. Okay, we gotta get a move on here.
God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Dude. Over here. Okay, calm down, calm down. I've lost a magazine somewhere. All right, we're reloading. I mean, can you play Tarkov in VR? Uh, I can. It's not, you know, as good as this, obviously. It's kind of a flat, kind of pancake mode, and the menus don't work properly enough for it, and yada, yada, yada. But in theory, yes, I could. One. hit him. I freaking hit him. Got him. Their bullet drop, I think a little bit, but probably not too much. I have a Makarov, all right? So I'm not gonna be getting too much done with this. Got him. Oof. Okay. I think that's all the enemies here. Okay, let's get our... whatever we need to get. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hear one more guy still running outside. We're out of bullets. Completely out, unless I have something up my sleeve. No, those are not the right type. Okay, unless we find something in here. We're kind of fucked. Fourth save. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Buckshot, that's nice. Put that in the trash. Reload that. Oh my lord! Woo! Mama, do we have... Does that fit? Does any of is there any of this for this? Hello there. Okay, FMJ nine by nineteen. We actually got like two of those boxes. Can that fit any of these? Okay, hang on here. would be right there. Okay, do I have a mag that fits this? Maybe. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Okay, so that doesn't go there. That's not that. Okay, so that doesn't fit either. And that one does not, too. Okay, okay. I need some sleep. Can I fold the stock up on this thing? Okay. Okay. All right, then. We'll just set this like that. Because apparently we could shoot out the back. That'd be funny. Use it as ammo. Wrong hole. <laughs> We're trying, all right? We're trying. Ah! Oh, my God. Wait, that'd be a hilarious... Oh my god, what? Can I store... No <gasps> smokes left. A gun. That's like a third gun slot if I position it properly. That's interesting. I gotta figure out the exact no right left. position. Top left corner. Okay, top right corner. Dick gun. All right, perfect. I need some sleep. Oh, dude. Look what we got here. Okay. Dude, hell yeah, man. Don't mind if I do. This is boring. Okay. Oh, no. This is boring. Hell yeah, man. No smokes left. It sucks for you, man. I just found the mother load. I need some sleep. Cracker. Okay, okay. We're doing good so far. We don't need to use another med pack. We just need I to need kill this sleep. one guy that's outside. We need to find whatever item we're here for, and then we need to get. So it's up, I think, over on the this trains.
Got him. No, my dick gun. Now I have to reset it. Okay, put that there, 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 there. All right, just put this there. Okay, okay. All enemies should be clear now. Save on three. Let's pick up the rest of the loot. Try not to drop our magazines. Okay, this house is good. Check this shack, then we get our object that we're here for. I hear it. Yep, there it is. Okay. It's somewhere right here. Probably on top of the uh, thing. Oh, thank the Lord, though. There is some supplies up here. Some crackers. Some ammo. And one blue med. No, don't you dare. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's great, but how does that help me get up to the object, which is on my map, saying it's over there? Check the goals. In progress. More info. Investigate the last potential source. Get rid of a kind of high number of hostiles. Check the last sensor. Are you guys seeing a sensor? Hmm. 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 It's... Okay, hang on. Before it gets too late in the day, save three. Is it in the muck? Do we go up through this side? I think this is what it wants us to do, is go up through here. Possibly. Nope. Ow. Okay, so we can't go through there. Goals. Check the last sensor. Yeah, it... Oh, well, we'll just let that kill us and skip it. Get right to the point and reload. God damn it. Okay, so there's a sensor somewhere around here that we're not getting. can't actually, we fall through those rocks. So whatever it is, it's not up there. I 
I think we just have a broken mission, which is really unfortunate because I was looking forward to getting to the security rank two and getting a rifle. But if this shit ain't working, this shit ain't working. I'm like... Right on top of where I need to be. Making sure that there's something I'm not missing here. Investigate the last potential source. Yeah, I mean, I got nothing, man. Night setting. Gonna have to get out of here. We hit the bridge already. We know that there's nothing over here. Well, we already checked a mission that wanted us to go over here, at least. This place is impossible to cross. There's no way. So we have to get around this way. This, so this isn't this one. This ain't it. Alright, safe house. We heal, sleep, maybe, just maybe if we're lucky, after we sleep we can actually complete the mission. If we go over there. Let's see what happens. But, uh, yeah. I was hoping that we could finish this out and just get the new rank. We do have a new gun, though, so that is nice. I do like the new gun. Six AM. Okay, still pretty low health. I say I'm gonna use my other red. I'm gonna save on four. We're gonna get back down there and see if we can figure out what the hell it wants out of us. everything's gonna change. Alright, alright. Fine, fine. God damn it. Alright, well, I don't know what we're supposed to be getting here, but now we gotta get to a safe house. Because all the stuff around here is about to reset and shit. It really kind of grinds my gears as we just cleared out everything. But maybe if we're lucky, this will reset the mission and let us complete it. So let's try one more time to sleep, sleep it off.
Oh, shit. Alright, sleep another day. Oh, is it already? Save on four. Oh shit, the zone did reset, didn't it? Ow, fuck. Ow. Give me give me your gun. Stop. Oh god damn it. Damn it. Yeah, this whole place reloaded. Alright, we're gonna go back all the way to three, I think. Okay, so if this mission is bugged, then we might as well just give up and, uh, head back. I don't know what it wants out of me. Forest. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Maybe it'll let us complete it. No, it didn't give us the noise. Maybe if we like jump on top of this? I don't know. Are we looking for a specific object in the buildings, maybe? Did I miss that? Well, pretty sure I was good about getting everything I could find. We'll do a sweep of everything else again. We can't get in these cargo containers. Go all the way in and around. Like, yeah, we already checked all this stuff. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed. Wait a minute. There was, technically, an attic in that first house. I do remember that. Hang on. Let's go over there and see what we can find. And then if there's nothing in here, then I'm just going to be chalking it up to a bugged mission. And indeed, we can't even get up to an attic area in here. So I'm just going to call this a bugged mission, yeah? Well, that's unfortunate. Even though we killed all these guys here, I don't think that actually gives us XP. Completing missions does. Maybe, just maybe, there's something... around here that we can get. Missed. Some smokes. Bit of money. Well, all in all, that felt like a big waste of resources. I mean, maybe we go up here and it, you know, triggers the mission for some reason, but I doubt it.
Okay. Doesn't really help us. Oh, shit. A wrench. And a med. Ooh. Saiga? It's big, whatever it is. Okay. Well, I can't find anything that we need mission-wise, so I think we're just gonna have to abandon it and uh, go do something else. Oh my god, it's dark. Alright, we gotta get back. Alright then, well... We just go back. If we hug the edge of the forest, we should be safe. Wow, it is really, really dark and spooky out here. Okay, here we go. I was about to say, the edge of the forest is right there. Okay, cool. So let's just go along the edge. Okay, well, let's get back, check our other missions. Maybe we got something to turn in now that we got the wrench in the toy box. We just gotta go all the way around the entire forest here. At least we know how to get back easily enough. It is really dark and creepy out here. Jeebus. towards anomalies. Thank you. Alright, and we are at the car wreck site. Brilliant. Just keep moving here. We've got two more sprints and I think we'll be at the exit. Down through the pit. And then all the way back through here. Dodging bits and bobs. Bob and weave, bob and weave. close here. Come on, man. Catch your fucking breath and let's run. There's the guy. Okay. Let's get back home. 
Oof. Man. What a day. That's unfortunate that the mission didn't work. Would have loved to get to rank two with that. I think that would have done it. Okay, so. We've got the wrench. As well as a toy box of some sort. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, turn that off. Huh, indeed, this isn't even working. Load, no, 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 I think we're gonna save it. On four. Then reload, we might have just bricked our save. If that's the case, then I think we're done with with uh, Into the Radius. Oh, here we go. Okay, missions. Yeah, terminate that one. Special items procured during the mission. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Hang on. All right, so really quickly, we need... Toy block. Check. Anomalous cube. Check, an anomalous wrench. Check. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Very good. We can at least complete something. Okay, five security points. Okay. How many points do I where does it where do I see my points? Is that here in the actual thing? Uh um, it still gives me security grade one. Yeah, we're still just security grade one. Where does it tell me how many more points I need? Oh my lord, wait, 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 no, that's the time. Is there no way to tell what level I am? Or how many more points I need? There's a light on this thing? Interesting. Uh, artifact hunt. <clears throat> okay, well, you know what? Really quickly. We need to figure out what magazine goes with this gun. And if we have one. Okay, we have one. We'll take two. So what is that? Does that take nine by nineteen? Okay, well that's good then. Get three of these. And then more buckshot. Because we're out. And then we got our new gun that we can mess with, and, uh, yeah, maybe we can go finish, we could go try to blitz, try to go blitz one mission, uh, over at the peninsula, and then, yeah, I guess we'll just get out of here after that. Okay, well, let's organize ourselves, shall we? Okay, okay. Where'd my pistol go? A 
I lost my pistol. God damn it. Boy, I really, really, really hate this game sometimes. Should we go to like three? Let's check three and see if we have our pistol there. How far back we are. I must have grabbed it and dropped it somewhere. Shotgun. And that's how easy it is to drop something. Okay, well, we've lost our pistol. There's our magazine. The only thing I can think of to do is to try to load back into number two and just do the entire thing over again. Which I really would rather not do because it definitely didn't seem to want to count, but maybe this will fix everything. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Top off here. Got him. All right, we got some fucks that are still running around on the roof. Bro, just grab. Three. 
we clear out these enemies right here and then we just try to see if we can get the objective. If we can't, then I guess we'll just swap over. I might just call it here and get to bed. I've been streaming for eight hours already. Okay, we're good. We can try to hit the thing, which is somewhere right here, apparently. made of scissors, those bastards. There's one more over here. You don't, you fucking nerd. Get your ass back here. Missing a gun and a mag. It's not good, fellas. Alright, I dropped my shotgun somewhere, so that's unfortunate. Made save three between the two trains. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Load three. Oof, good eye, Conquer. Between these two trains are on the other side. Ah, thank you. Good eye. Ow! Are you kidding me? Dude, some of them are there. 
God damn it. No. Oh, Try this a little bit longer, but I still don't think I'm gonna be able to. Um, uh, what do you call it? Kirakun, what are you talking about? I think he's long gone. Dude, I hit him in the face. Ah, okay. Definitely shot him in the face there. Alright, we go around, grab our shotgun, reload it. No, wait. Oh, we dropped our box on the floor over here. That's right. Well, now I don't know where my box of bullets is. Load three. Okay. We're going to try to just complete this mission. And if we can't, then I think we're going to just skip. And uh, I'm going to call it an evening. And I'll be back tomorrow, for sure. Ah, that's right, the box was on the ground in here. with that every time. Okay. Got him. Moving shot on the head. Okay, this house is clean. All right, let's see if we can actually turn in the thing. And if not, then we'll have to come back to this later. Yeah, I don't know what it wants from me out of this. There's, it's either got to be somewhere that I'm missing in this area. Or I'm just blind. It's not there. We've checked everything in here. Okay, grab all of this stuff. Alright, so quickly, while we're here. Okay. 
Okay, that's everything in here. Cracker. Yum. Extra mag. Don't forget your new submachine. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going through all of the other areas here first. want us to jump that. There's no way we make that gap, right? Yeah, no. Another box. I feel like it should be in this house, but we're just missing it somewhere. Or at one of these houses. Yes, yes. up all the loot. Save. Alright, nothing there. Oh, hello. And didn't I find a wrench up on the hill over yonder? Let's get there and then let's head out. God. Fucking damn it. Well, this is kind of big, isn't it? What am I supposed to do with this? Do I seriously gotta hold on to this? That's what she said. <laughs> okay, god damn it. Alright, well, I still need to. Okay, put that there. Alright, hang on here. There's a couple of things we need to do. Alright, we know what we got. Thank God I found it. I want to get to that thing on that roof. And then we got to go to that other area. And then we're out of here. Perfect. Okay, oh God, no. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, we got it. It's huge. 
But we found it. Alright, get back to work. Okay. Yeah, King, get back to work. But I'm almost off. <laughs> no time for playtime. Alright, we get back in here. Grab the few things that are around this area. I'm missing a magazine. There it is. Okay. Like this cracker. Nom. Grab this. Okay. Found a good amount of magazines. And a weapon. Oh yeah, and the wrench. That we need to complete the other quest. We got both items. We got both quests. This might literally get us into the next rank, I hope. Okay, we blitz all the way over to the exit. Let's go. Ooh, run. Ooh, okay, brilliant, dude. We found the thing. Hell yeah, man. Uh, now I now want to know what it looks like for later missions, too. I knew I wasn't crazy. Oh. Got you, bass. All right, all right. I wish they would not leave their equipment in the field all willy-nilly, but hey. I'm gonna keep grabbing and dropping those, and I really don't wanna. I know this is dumb, but I'm gonna run. And I keep gripping accidentally. Oh, what? Can I not? Really? No! I was about to say, don't kill me! Okay. No. Ah, box of shells. Yeah. There we go. I was about to say, I have another box here. Okay, drop this, for fuck's sake. Okay, consolidate. Trash. Good shells. Grab, grab. Alright, let's go. Whew. Alright, well, we found the... Th oh, fuck yeah. Okay, that up there, red, swamp, blue, 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 green, blue. Okay, flashlight. Okay, beautiful. Oh shoot. Nice. We got a lot of bits and bobs for little tiny bits of ammo here and there. Very good, very good. Okay, save it. Let's motor. Man, I didn't even know this was here. I probably ran right by this at the in the night. Okay, let's just go. Oh God! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. Oh no! My gun! Get back here. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get this back. 
We got the mission objective. We just need to survive. Be some bits and bobs over here. Nope. Okay. Boy, this thing is big and inconvenient, isn't it? Can I, like, trigger and turn it back on? Nope. It's just a big, giant thing. Okay. Just nice and smooth. There shouldn't be any big surprises. We could turn in both missions and hope to God this will give us our security point to get to level two. And if we get level two, then we're heading to the peninsula and farting around with a rifle and our new submachine gun. Almost home for you guys. All right, there's our guy. that you have to hold on to it. I don't like gripping things through a load sequence. But hey. Oh god. I guess when they have a toggle grip feature, it makes sense. Alright. Beautiful. We did it. We got it, you guys. Hell yeah, man. Success. Success. Alright. Put this boot up. Missions. Complete. Place acquired items into the tray. Done. Boom. Supply credits. Check. Did that level me up? No. Um, really quickly. Grab the spoon. Grab the block. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Item search complete. Block. Uh, not this one. Spoon. And... No, yeah, wrench. Keep the spoon. Grab the block. Or the box. Okay. Check. Okay, security points five. That gave me five security points? The other one? Did that give me any security points? How do I figure out how many total security points do I have? Okay. Portal anomalies are highly intriguing. Explorers must investigate some of them. Deliver the broken sensor from the specified locations. Deliver distorted objects you find while destroying the radius. What is the item search in forest? You need teacup, wrench, and tin can. So I don't think we have any of those. Uh, what we do have is a 
block. Okay, so forest. Peninsula, forest. And then all this stuff we can basically turn in at our l leisure. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I don't think we got security level 2, you guys. So let's go to the peninsula after we eat. Reload and get all of our cool stuff. We need to get some magazines for our machine gun. Two. And then we're gonna need a lot more of these now. Two. And then one extra box of that. Okay. Shouldn't need heals. We actually did pretty good that time. All right, let's go sort this. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to head to the peninsula and then try to see if we can finish this out and get to rank two. I want to get a rival. Okay. Okay, one there, one there. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. So, does this go here? Okay. What type of ammo? All right, all right, all right. Before we mess with any of that. Okay, okay. Lighter. One mag for that. Right, right, right. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pull out the chair. <sighs> We're gonna sort. Favorite part of this game, huh? Alright. We equip that. Okay, okay. So. Magazines. That's 7.62 by 39. I recognize those. Nine by thirty-nine. Yeah. God damn, was that a full box? Almost. Okay. Wow, dude, we're getting a decent amount. Okay. We actually are stacking up quite a decent amount of ammo across all these mags that we're finding. Whew. Oh, 
okay. Don't have any for that yet. Three different pistols. <laughs> okay. FMJ. Buckshot. Okay, okay. So extra mag for Makarov. No, I don't want that. Okay, two boxes. Dude. Two boxes of these. One full or the half empty box of this. Okay, so now we have our fresh rounds. Right, right, right. These. Okay, okay. So first off, we need to grab something. Okay, more trash. We'll just start to empty all of these here. Okay, good, good, good. This. Is that not? Okay, so that goes there, but this does not. Okay. Oh no. Okay, got it. Oh. No, god damn it. Don't grab that. No, come on, man. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Okay, so, what are you? You are just... A bunch of these guys, then, yeah? Eight FMJ. All right, so put that right there for now. Consolidate these. Okay, okay. Put that there. More. It's a good thing we haven't had to buy any of these rounds yet, because I don't think we can. Okay, FMJ. Seven six two by thirty nine. Check. Trash. Buck. Buck. Oh, no. Buck. Check. Okay, so extra Makarov, and then that uses the same bullets as that, which are FMJ by 30. Can I get a box? There we go. Okay. Okay, that's empty mag. Empty mag. Put that one right there. Oh, what's up, Snarf? Oh, good morning to you, too. All right, Makarov. Check, and then what is this guy? I don't think I have... Are those? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, so... Are you another Makarov magazine? <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Check. Just being intrigued. That looks interesting. Oh, yeah, no. It's, if you never played the original Into the Radius, it's a great VR game. Highly recommend. Okay. Buckshot. Okay, we got our two boxes of 9x18. What does this take? Does this take 9x18? Oh, thank God. Oh God, how many does it take? Please tell me no more. Okay, 30 rounds. Jesus. Uh, okay, we'll keep that up there. We sell that. This is 11 extra. How many do we have? 13 total. We'll hold on to that for extras. Meds. Okay, Siggies. Okay, full box. Okay. <sighs> Don't smoke, kids. It's not cool. Man, is it relaxing in the right circumstances. Even virtually, I will say. <sighs> it really helps take the edge off. Um. Okay, full crackers. Alright, that's our half-empty pack. Crackers. Full. More trash. Okay, what else? I think we're good, finally. Okay. Ah! Ah! Hello there. Okay. Nope. Oh. Anybody speak Russian? Okay, yep. That has indeed activated... Okay. Full auto there. Nope, that's the wrong button. Okay. We're gonna go back to our load here, but I just want to figure out exactly how to operate this weapon, so I'm not doing that in the field. Oh my god, that's so much ammo. That's so expensive. Holy shit. I'm not made of bullets. Wow, and we're spent. Okay. Single shot. Okay, so... Racked. It actually, wow, if you do left hand and overhand, he racks it with the, that's so cool. And yeah, if you do it right handed, 
So wait, wait, but yeah, no, because you'd have to. There is no way to. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Oh, that's so. F that's good. That's really good animation modeling. Okay. 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 All right. I think I'm satisfied. Um, load it so we don't have to pay for all of that. Wait, did I save it? 2.59. What time is it? Four foot. I did not save it. 3.55. 4.24. 4.45. Oh my god. <sighs> I forgot to save it before I wasted all of that ammo. Alright. Well, there goes two boxes. For literally no reason. Shit. That's like a whole mission worth of ammo right there. And I just bought those two. Well, go me, you guys. We're so good at this. <sighs> Wonderful. Wunderbar. Alright, trash. Nope. Single fire. We are racked, I believe. Yep, okay, we got one in. Safety. Okay, that's good. We'll buy two boxes on the way out when we go sell all this junk. Okay, I think that's it. It's two boxes of ammo. Sell the shit. Oh yeah, this flashlight we could sell. I think we're good for the next mission then. Oh. I could stand to lose some of this stuff at the same time. No. <laughs> okay, so we're going fully auto. Can I use I need two weapon slots on my for my shoulder rigs. Is that a thing? Let's see if it is. I think that only just allows you a secondary weapon on your opposite shoulder of your backpack rig. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, hang on now. That's interesting positioning. So this is the current one we have right now. So that would be pistol, machine gun. With these double stacking. I'm not sure if I like that better than our current layout. I want something ideally like... This. Shoulder. Wait, that's left rigs. Okay, we want right hand rigs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. For a thousand points, we get that upgrade, if we want to call it that. How much? We have six thousand. How much are these going to be? Three thousand five hundred for that. What's the rifle when we get two? Saiga. Level three. Level two, three, two. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got access to that for level two, and we got access to that for level two. But not the actual big boy AK. All of that's bigger level three. Okay, so this is what we get for lef with level two. I'm assuming that this magazine works with both of those units. Okay. Oh yeah, how much is it? Because that's going to be the thing we buy. It doesn't have a price on it. What the hell, man? Oh, I guess it only shows a price if you can buy it. Alright. Well, I have no clue how much that's going to be. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We need to buy ammo.
той. Damn it. Yes, bye. Okay. <sighs> um, so let's see here. I don't want to go out with two SMG mags. It's just going to be insanely wasteful. So I think that means that we... Go Makarov, do the old mac and cheese. Okay, okay. Alright, oh yeah, we need to go sell all this stuff. Sell. Okay, half full ammo. Ammo that we're using. Oh, and we gotta grab, we gotta take our spoon that we left, put it in with the shelf with all the other cool stuff. Okay, so this is from the forest as well. So, spoon from forest, check. Okay, throw away the trash, we save it, and then we get back out there to the peninsula, and hopefully the next mission that we complete gets us to level two. I wish it would tell us how the much fucking shit we need to level up, but that is really nowhere uh, in the menus. <sighs> oh no. Make sure we didn't throw away anything that we don't actually need. Okay, I think we're good here. Only 164 for all that trash, but still, trash is trash. I don't like that we... I thought that I grabbed two mags. Or two boxes worth of mags. I guess I just emptied one. Oh, no, I put them right there. God damn it. Okay, well, I'll just put that back. Okay, I think we're good then. Oh. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, you guys. Get me a snack. We're going to sleep. And then we're going to roll out of here. Oh, this is my old left-handed rig. That's right, that's right. Oh, shit. That's right. I ejected a bunch of rounds, and I thought I was going to reload. Holy shit, I was like, what is all this doing on the floor? Still, we did waste a lot of ammo just shooting randomly, figuring out how the machine gun works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Six AM. Oh, okay. Gonna put ourselves right over here, and I'm gonna be right back, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. Gonna take a quick break. I suggest you guys do the same. We'll try to do a couple more missions in this one area that we're going to, and hopefully that turns us up to security level two. Thank you for watching and doing the voodoo that you do.
Okay. Are we ready to get back into the radius? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Save. In. Alright. Safety on. Two max for the Makarov, 30 in the chamber for that. We need to remember to swap it over to single. Oh, shot when we go out. <clears throat> Alright, Snarf, you there? You ready? Have you ever seen Into the Radius 1 or 2 played? Okay. Just kind of shoot through the grass. I must not have been aiming right. Okay. Mulligan. All right, let's try that again. Keep topped off, shall we? Relight my sig. Top right corner, I declare. Alright, alright, doing good, doing good. So basically, we're just going around the area looking for anomalies. It's basic. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Ow! Bro, hey, flashlight. bitch. I think we save it. <clears throat> no sense in using it just yet. But yeah, basically imagine Stalker in VR. Go through anomaly fields and we search for Oh fuck. Ow, fuck. It's 
Not bad. Constantly. Using. <clears throat> using our med packs here. I'm trying not to get hit. The hell? Why is everything all black and white? We gotta run. Everything's about to change. My fucking thing was activated. I didn't realize. We're gonna just barely make it, I think. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The whole zone's gonna change. Come on, come on, come on. Back to the facility. Woo! Oh, that's with all these beeping sounds in the game. Star Citizen and now this one. <laughs> Hey, what can I say? I like a good beep. Alright. So what that signified is that all of the zone is resetting, and it's changing, and gonna respawn stuff. So that's kind of good, because we could go reloot that. However, that means that we gotta come in here. Okay, 6 a.m. Okay, let's try it again. All right, all right, so. Okay, one in the chamber. Okay, that's good. Um, God damn it, come on, man. Um, should we bring... We did just kind of burn three stems. God damn it, dude. I don't want your company. Leave me alone. Alright, that. Green. We'll take everything. Okay, 16 left. I mean, we're pretty much ready to roll here. We could leave the flashlight, I guess. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, then. So, let's try again here. Same song, different dance. Let's go. That's not... Okay, we got it. Starting to get used to all the spawn points. I think we're good here. Okay, we got Buck. Buck, baby. Then one extra shot. Trash up there in the top corner. Okay. Oh, a block. So put anomalous stuff. That's ammo we found. So mission block, mission anomalies we'll put there. Ah. 
Those little guys are worth credits. And you'll recognize them by the little hissy noise they make. Here we go, here we go. Was that a green? No, that's a red. We'll swap out those. Put all the blues there. Okay. Flashlight. I love the inventory system in this game. It's so good that it, a lot of other VR games have copied it. <laughs> With good reason. Oh, dude, I've gotten so many blues. I'm getting loaded. It's actually really good. <clears throat> We've been... Well, we burned a lot of money testing out the machine gun earlier, so that's as nice. Not bad so far. Alright, so right now we're just exploring making money. We're not really heading to our objective just yet. But we will. Right now, though, a bit of exploration. Don't hurt nobody, especially since we're making money. Getting all these little credity poofy balls. Interesting, bit of discoloration right there. Knew it. That's bait right there. That's what that is. You gotta be careful in the zone here. You gotta know what you're doing, man. <clears throat> I am a veteran stalker. Okay. See him. No, that's the wrong one. I don't want to waste that. <coughs> we'll go around here. Keep low. Oh god, there's two of them. Ow, fuck me. Oh, God. Oh, what? Okay, now that was unfortunate, hitting that anomaly. <clears throat> okay. All right, well, I know what I'm looking for here. Got it. I 
see him. He sees me. Dude, really? Where the fuck did they go? Definitely did not kill them. Okay, doing good, doing good. Keep moving, keep moving. And by keep moving, I mean, oh no. Keep reloading. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> no, did I drop my gun? No, I didn't, okay. Oh my gosh, he's all the way over there across the fucking bank. There's two of them. Dude, that's no fair. Okay, anomaly find over there. All right, well, let's... First things first. <sighs> okay, I don't think they're gonna come push me all the way from over there. I don't think they have that far of an aggro radius. So I think we're okay. For now. Let's make sure there's nothing around here and then let's get up over the ridge here where they want us to go. Make sure there's nothing to loot. <coughs> Okay. 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 I need like a knife. I wish I could. Okay. Alright. Mission objective complete. 
Very good, very good. Anything else around here? Back out the way we came, I believe. Ooh, 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 ooh. However, <sighs> that's money right there, so we put this with the trash. Top right. Ow, fucking hell. I think we'll go red. Okay, that doesn't give me a whole lot, does it? I think we swap out, honestly. It's gonna be a better idea in the long run. Okay. Trash. Okay, okay, doing good, doing good. Save it. Okay, so just straightforward, huh? What does it want? What are we looking for? Artifact hunt, peninsula. We deliver that when we got it. Peninsula, find the missing sensor. And then, broken sensor. Look, for, is it want me to look for two of them? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Peninsula. Use the map to navigate to the possible locations. Okay. All right, then. All right. Let's go. Whew. Might have to take a cigarette break myself. Say no, my lighter. All right. Go along the beach. I don't get it. I think they're right above me. God damn it. I was on safety on that. Alright, alright, alright. I think this is the time where we grab our <clears throat> fancy fancy ass weapon here. Okay, okay. So one in the chamber. Single fire. Let's go. Alright, so they're right over this ridge. Sucks. I'm way more accurate with a fucking Makarov. All 
Uh, glad I didn't buy this. This is very glad. This is making me very happy about my not purchasing this. Also, why are we all the way back there? Hang on. Shouldn't we have a save? Shotgun was way better. Well, we're okay, whatever. Pretty sure I lost a magazine here. One, two. Yeah, I'm definitely dropped a mag. Okay, here, we'll just reload. <clears throat> That'll happen. It was probably in my little side pocket here. Okay, I think I like it for that. Oh, shit. Wish I had a laser pointer on this thing. I don't think it'll fit. <gasps> it, it would. It would. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't think I can change it in raid. No, I don't think I can. I don't think it's gonna let me. Where the fuck's... Where's my gun? Dude, did we just lose the gun? Oh, what the hell? Oh, can that fit in the pistol slot? Isn't that nice? Dude, I need you to grab the gun. How is the Makarov? I guess chest shots really fucking suck. Ugh, okay, well. I need to put the laser on. I, I should have looked on the side to see if that thing had a rail. I would have freaking thrown my I would have bought a new laser for it. Shit. Powerful. Okay, so we can't assault like that. Not without the shotgun. Alright, we're just gonna have to pick them off one by one. Especially getting that skitterer out of the picture.
should be one cop left. Okay. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Whew. Okay, okay, quickly. That trash is up there. Extra box. Okay, that's good. Quickly reload. we actually pull any use a little bit okay health good all right save it to okay next Watch out. Oh, save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. We got it. Thank you, Johnny. Ah, I see it. Down through here. Save two. Woo, man. Oh, God. Ocean. Okay. Oh. It's two of them, I think, it feels like. Shot. Two in that mag. Good shot. Four in that one. <clears throat> I know we're safe scumming, but I really don't want to deal with this over and over. Should be one more. Got him. 
through the bush. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Let's go for a blue. Top off. And then let's hopefully loot everything we can here. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. That's trash. Alright, we got active ammo here. Plenty of. Okay, new box. Good thing we brought three out. That was a really good fight. We did very well tactically. Hello there. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. That, 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 that. And save number two. No. Alright. Red, and that's not bad. Oop. I don't really need this buckshot anymore, do I? Since I'm running all, uh, what you call it. Also, I think we swap out the laser on the Makarov or buy a new laser for this gun. And, uh, yeah. Then we, uh, put, since we found out that we could put the machine gun on our hip, we can bring out shotgun and machine gun and then just spray fire if we plan to use a bunch of ammo. If we plan to do it like that. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna put this over here. That up in that corner. Like deja vu. I think I might have dropped this. Feels like a weird spot for it to be, though, right in the middle of the hallway. But that does seem like me. Okay, nothing in here, nothing in there. Thank you. All right, we'll check behind this house in the shed. Nice, a green, that's huge. Thought I heard somebody. either an electrical guy yeah got you little bugger Num. No, my crackers. Are we full? Oh my god, we are full. Um, no. Um, trash. Okay. Got 
Got it. Oh. Okay. Okay, got that. Nothing on this dock. Check the last house. Finding a lot of bits and bobs for points here. Okay. Alright, behind the last house. Ooh! Trash can. Trash can cracker. Anything in the outhouse? Like a good scavenge. Perfect. Check what's in the hole. Hey, teacup. Teacup found in the what you call it? No, oh, what the? Ooh, baby. Okay, okay. We'll deal with all this later. Empty. Those there. Is that? I think we hit the jackpot here. Good. Very good. Okay. Alright, alright. Cool. Bits and bobs, MO wise. Not bad. A couple of magazines. No mission critical objective, though. However, it says it's not here. We need to go double check that it's there. Okay, so we've cleared out the area. I figure we would see it. Like, we would know if it was here, yeah? Okay, well, we gotta be quick. Oh, shit. Let him go through. Come on. Right, let's go down this way. We're gonna go through the bridge, get to the last... Ah, oh, fucking hell. Get to the last point. Cutting it close as far as nighttime goes. It's not going to be a fun trek back. 
I see it right there. Time for this. There it is, though. <laughs> I guess I got time for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, God damn it. And we fell through the map. Okay, bunch of skitters over there. Good to know. Alright, load that. So I say we... engage with the machine gun, then. Got all your little brothers. And your big brother, too. Where you at? Come on. Dude, that's so stupid that they... Ah, fucking hell. Actually... Once you are good at going through the motions, it feels- you feel really, really competent. Okay, we have to get our mission objective. We have to get the fuck out of here. There it is! Oh, perfect. That was bait right there. Did you guys see that? They're like, yeah, go and grab it! It's safe! Alright, we have to- carry this. Oh no. Oh my god. Don't fall in the ocean. Ugh. Alright, we got it. We're out of here. Let's go. We'll make it just before night truly falls. It'll probably be really dark or getting dark when we uh, get over the line. Well, 
Well, I say that as it just gets darker and darker. use one of these boats laying around. Alright, I think we got it here. Hopefully we get security level 2 with this. Huh. See, I'm doing it again. I, I keep grabbing. I keep, like, tucking my hand here and I keep grabbing my magazines. Doing good. As long as we don't get hit by any dumb surprises. Okay, straight over this ridge, and then we're home free. sure are annoying to find. They should really stop leaving the equipment all over the place. Oh, man. I really, really do not have time to go find one of those, do I? Ooh, cracker. Cracker ass. Cracker. See it. <laughs> oh no, wait. It's not one I gotta shoot, it's one I gotta just grab it. <sighs> oh, that was really deep in there. Alright, cool. Well, brilliant. That was actually easy to get. And then right. As darkness falls. Brilliant. Hell yeah, man. Okay, please. Please get a security level two. Please give me two. We got two missions, yeah? It's gotta be enough. All right, sensor beacon. It's fine. On behalf of humanity, we think of your hard work. Security points, five, okay. Then artifact hunt. Okay, real quickly. So that's forest. This is from the uh, peninsula. Okay. In case they have a mission to, like, find these three things, I'll have those three things ready instead of selling them for money. Because I've been selling a lot of those for money, and it's been nice money. Security points. Dude, how do we... What am I supposed to do here, man? Forest maintenance. Deliver a broken sensor from the one of the point locations. Bring an artifact from the specified anomaly cluster at the forest. Okay. Menu. Is there no way to check, like, your actual progress here? I feel like there should be. But there's nothing. Uh... 
Okay, then, well, let's just go dump the trash, and I guess, um... It's 6 a.m., folks. We've been streaming for ten and a half hours. I think we're gonna call it... ...a night. If I play this some more, I'll do it in the offline... ...mode. And we will try to actually... ...unlock the, uh, damn... what you call it? Rank 2, so I can actually play around with... ...the stuff. If we can get, like, the basic rifle, I'll be pretty happy. Or whatever the upgrade is. It's the uh, AK-74U? 74SU or something? Something like that? Alright, 1,000, 007. Okay, 8,000 credits. Yeah, alright, let's go back to the thing, organize, and then I think I'm gonna get up out of here. Uh, tonight, you guys, we're gonna have Baldur's Gate 3, if things go well, and that'll be our last session of that for a long while. So if you've been following along and watching, be sure to not miss that. If not, it'll be definitely Thursday evening... Uh, ...when we do it. But I believe we should have it all open and ready and scheduled to go uh, Saturday. Or Sunday. Okay. Okay, everything should be reloaded. Is there a way to tell? I don't think so. Okay, then I think we just need to empty all of our crap here. Okay, so two of these mags. Ugh, whatever these are for. These guys, it looks like. Okay. A flashlight that we can put on. Oh, we need to go buy a laser pointer. Correct, correct. Okay. Oh, man. Extra lighter. <sighs> Okay, trash, extra Mac, Ugh, magazine, Ugh. we no longer need Buck, but also, okay, so here's what we do, I think. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna bother doing that. I'm just gonna go buy another laser, yeah? Because that's just a flashlight up there. Okay, so I'm gonna go buy a laser and uh, a couple of boxes of ammo. By a couple, I mean one. Hello there. Laser pointer, yeah? Yeah. We don't have room for that yet. Wait, can we get a different pistol? We'll get that pistol sometime. No, whoops. Whoops, god damn it. Well, okay, maybe. Can we do anything cool? No, we have mags for it. Ooh, actually. Actually. I think we have a bunch of mags for that. Okay, actually, actually. These are tracer rounds. Don't care much for that. Tracer rounds actually would be good for the magazine or for the uh, SMG. What we're gonna go is do over. Come over here. Okay, so we need security level two for that. Nothing attachment-wise that can fit this. So.
And I want to turn on the laser. Got it. What the hell, man? Flashlight, laser pointer. It's not really wanting to work, which is kind of unfortunate. Either way, we'll just grab all of these. Can I really... Got it. It's problem solving, you guys. Okay, one extra box, laser pointer, and this new pistol. Got it. Okay, laser pointer, check. New gun. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. Alright. Alright. Grab this. That. Okay. No! Okay. So, we need to Okay, that's off. Okay, fancy Mac. Then this. Wow, can I really adjust? Wow, that's actually really cool. I really don't want it there though, so that's unfortunate. Boy, this sure is difficult to... Got it. Okay, yes. On the very tip. Alright, laser pointer active. Okay, cool. Check. Alright, now we need to remove these. Please. Yes. Boy, this is going to be a lot more firepower into each little magazine. 18, 19, so... 8, 16, so 19 ammo in each? It's pretty damn good. Okay, racked. I sure cannot tell for the life of me if the safety is on or off. Because I cannot see it. Okay, then. <sighs> okay. Mac and cheeses. That's amazing. Okay. Honestly, we probably just need one backup mag for that. And if that's the case, then we'll just go ham here. Why the hell not, huh? Okay, uh, trash. Active ammo. Okay, get rid of the buck. We ain't using it. And then... Nope.
Oh, those are slugs? Those are slugs? We'll hold on to those, then. Okay, okay, very cool. Okay, so now... Red box... Okay. Trash. Blue box. Nice. 9 by 39 rounds. Those are going to be expensive. Okay, more buck. More bang for your buck. Okay, and actually, let's hold off. Put the slugs there. Put the buck up here. FMJ. Actually, we don't need buck anymore since we're not really using shoddy, yeah? Trash. Okay. Uh-huh. That all looks good. We did burn some meds, but we did find a green, so that's nice. Two blue. Two green. We could probably stand to go get some more green. Okay. Nice. Cool. Brilliant, man. Okay. We're gonna say... Actually... Let's go ahead and go to six. Alright, take a quick shower. Okay, perfect health. Perfect. Alright, can we do anything cool with this place yet? Or is this still just more of an armory? Okay, yeah, I don't think we can clean weapons just yet. And they don't have the gun range, so... Kinda limited on what we can do. Let's stock up on meds, get a bit more ammo. Red, 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 blue, blue, blue. Okay. Ooh. Probably should grab an extra one of these. Just in case. Okay, so, M.O. Four should do. Ooh. 4,500 for this. Oh, wow, look, you can put on the bandolier. Oh, that's sick. However, not my style. I think we're going to be happy with our pistol and gun approach here. But yeah, I think this is everything we need. Cost 830. Okay, very good, very good. Alright, laser pointer on this. I have, I'm feeling really, really good about this. I really... Save one. Graphics... No, is there a way to fucking track supply credits, playtime? Is there a way to, like, track how fucking much your progress is for your damn security level?
Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, all right, we got, oh, some pending missions? No. Oh, forest. Maintenance, artifact hunt, forest, a lot of shit in the forest. Sample delivery, find the container in the peninsula. Thinking with anomalies. Yeah, my feet are starting to get tired. I really don't want to go back out again. I think I'll do this in my free time, possibly, and see if we can get rank 2 unlocked. We might pick this up. I might get rank 2, and then wait for an update, and then we'll see if we can get some uh, co-op going for it. I really, really would like to start the Stalker series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do now, shrimpy? <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, this has been another great foray into the radius. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, again, I'll be back later this evening uh, with Baldur's Gate 3, the last session of that. So stick around, and then we'll probably get some VR Citizen when we're done with that. Maybe we'll just chill. Maybe we'll just chill, do some Path of Exile or something. Maybe we'll start some stalker games. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we uh, feel like doing. But yeah, you guys have been amazing. I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for all the gift subs from anonymous folks, all the bits, donations, doing all the voodoo that you do, Twitch Primes. You guys are amazing. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll check you next time. I'm Chachi. Uh, Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do. Until next time, as always, stay safe, fly right. I'm Chachi Sanchez, and y'all have a good night. Oof. Long stream for me. 6 a.m., I'm gonna get up out of here. See you guys tonight, hopefully. Later. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out and watching tonight. You guys are amazing. We are at 52 sub points. If we get eight more, then yeah, that'll get us for the giveaway for next month. And giveaway for next month, we'll do some sort of cargo-y thing to celebrate cargo. But yeah, probably one of those um, uh, movers. People to move cargo. That might be a good one. But yeah, uh, till tonight, you guys. Later.
Anytime there's fireworks in Star Citizen, get footage. Either you dancing in the cargo bay, or you doing flybys, or you just standing and looking at it from a port. Like wherever you can, get me footage, I'll go again. Okay, got all of that. Armor. 